PKA 674. Just the boys guest dropped off at the last minute. Taylor? This episode of PKA is brought to you by FaroDistro.com and, of course, Lock and Load. Wonderful product, wonderful sponsor. Hear more about them later. Kyle, you're looking healthy, looking like you're back to 100%. From what? My my illness? Your illness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am feeling better. Uh, not 100%, maybe, but like 95. Feel Your good. suffering is part of why I got that flu shot. I was like, I, it's... You, know, you know, you forget how horrible it is. I always say this. You, you think flu and you're like, yeah, flu sucks, but whatevs. You have flu and it's like, oh, my God. I forgot how miserable a human can get. There yeah, is the nice, like stomach flu weight like not all the flus of the stomach flu but even like when i was younger there was that secret bit of you that when you got the stomach flu it was kind of like you know this isn't all bad taylor emerges seven pounds lighter very briefly and then he you know he goes back up to because he rewards himself with pizza for getting it, better i can't recall ever keeping off the stomach flu weight loss like it's water like you said seven pounds yeah. eight pounds <laughs> and it, of course some of it's dehydrating so it doesn't really count but like it all comes back every time. Like yeah. I've lost weight on a cut, and I'm like, well, I'm like, I'm on top of my game right now, so I'm not gonna like gorge it back. But yeah. it comes back. It's not. Do you ever, fun. Uh, do you ever do much fasting? Ugh. I did um the juice fasting one time. Mm. But but yeah. like just a water fast, you know, just cutting out food for twenty. Well, it was like hours or so. celery smoothie, like smoothies that you would have a heart. Celeries and beets. Was all Us I water drank. fasters do we, we 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 draw a line, okay? If it, if there's any color in there, that's it. That's it. We no you, beetroot. You can have you. lemon. There's discussions about whether lemon water is okay and coffee is okay. Okay, like like I'm telling you, um, mm. I saw a like fundamentalists. <laughs> they're like fundamentalists. Yeah, we we're the fucking. We're not the United Methodists. That is not nearly right wing enough for us. We're serious yeah. about this. You're I the saw Westboro Dana White Church. did a did a 86 hour uh, water fast. Uh, he started Saturday night, and then he posted some pictures today. Who he looked ridiculous? Dana White. You know he's in very oh. good shape. I don't know if you. Uh, I know, I know. Dana White's. Uh, yes, old people. We we go through highs and lows, and he's having a high right now. Yeah, yeah, high T. Uh, yeah, right now for for Dan, he's peaking his, his physically. Um, he looks e exceptional. Looks very good. You know, he's in a he's in a a job where he's always surrounded by some of the best looking physiques on the planet, male and female, and. I, he fits right in, honestly. Like, like he, he looks really fucking good. What's impressive? God damn, he good does for him. look good. It's funny his face doesn't look as good as his body does. Like, how well, you can't. Still... Well, yeah. you know, do fucking chin ups with your nose. Like, you can't yeah. fix that, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just get. Let little... me rephrase it. Like, he, oh, he yeah. has a, a ripped six pack there, especially on the right. Like, picture on the right, you can really see all twelve of those things or six. I'm sorry, mm. and uh, but his face is still like chubby ish like mm. i don't know i mean you know he's an older fella he's 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 in yeah. his later 50s do you think he you should know? keep shaving Maybe. his chest i say just be yeah him, man yeah you would say that wouldn't you fucking bigfoot yeah i'm yeah. all about what he's doing here like putting that guard on there and buzzing everything down to you like, don't shave so, your chest so, bigot i i well i it depends who's gonna be looking at my chest right like if i'm gonna show everybody my chest i did shave it I would, my arms were shaved in those pictures of me. Everything's shaved. This is just your classic anti-Southern European bigotry coming out again. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have hair everywhere. Oh, it shouldn't be sprouting up all over your shoulders in your 30s suddenly. I, I like how Taylor tries, to pretend, Taylor tries to pretend he's a real Italian. It's not. No, never. I'm an, I'm an American mutt who just happens yeah. to be hairy. But that's a real thing is that my shoulders, like, it's it's happening. Like, <laughs> I read that Italians get super pissed if you say they're not real Italians. So I thought I'd fly it out there and see what happens. Oh, yeah, no. there, there are some people like that, but it's like, no, like, like if you're an American, you've been one for a while, you're kind of just a, a hodgepodge of everything. Probably yeah. just different percentages, but, right? Like, I, I'm probably so not as Irish as Kyle. Shoulder, uh, fuzz, you say? Yeah, like it, I probably starting in my mid late 20s, I'd like look at one shoulder and be like, that's a long long black hair you know sprouting mm. out of there then you know sometimes do a little shave they'll get rid of that now yeah. it's like they're starting to come in on the sides of the arm over here not Whoa. enough like a thicket but enough that like if i don't do something about this it you know i don't want to have robin williams body and that's what he had 
He killed They're massing at your it. southern border, and if you don't build a wall soon, I mean, the demographics of your whole upper body are going to no, change. No, southern border is long lost. Like, we, <laughs> <laughs> that's been years since puberty. We lost that battle at 13. He's losing Montana at this point. Yeah, like, that's why I have to be in. tactical with my pubic hair, because I can't just go scorched earth down there. I can't go turtle shell Dennis Reynolds lasering, yeah. because, because my the, thighs the and the surrounding area... Like I need to, I need to go into a black barber and have him fade me, like yeah. all like, <laughs> to, <laughs> to my. Did they square you up? Yeah, they square up. Looking ridiculous yeah. with this trapezoid. So that's yeah. is that a, a journey you encountered also, Woody? Getting hairier as I, you got older. Uh, not in the same way though. I have a birthmark on my shoulder. I don't know if you can even see. It. You can see it in the camera. Yeah. You see how it's, um. That is a birthmark that some guys get for having high testosterone. I got it when I was 17 and uh, um, it's, it grows hair out of it. So I have one shoulder that had, I, I shave it all the time. Uh, that would be fuzzy. Okay. Nice. Not That's too bad. Worst. And you Kyle, you're over there with like a, like a Spartan slave boy. Yeah. Um, I, I've just got like, you know, definitely not femboy boy le levels of, of hairlessness. Um, but it doesn't take much to get me just turtle smooth, you know, and the transition, I know what you're talking about. Like in my case, like, like I said, like, like when I took those pictures or whatever, uh, for, for the, the fitness thing, mm -hmm. I just nared everything, you know, I use nair. So I'm melting the hairs off of everywhere. I panicked with nair. I put it on there and I got to like six minutes and I was like, Kyle said no longer than 10. And so I like got in there and no longer than five. Up. Oh, well, either way, it didn't, it didn't like, it was just like a. Wait, did you beat Nair in like, like Wings I beat must the have, surgery? I must have beaten <laughs> Nair the way Wings beat the like surgery. Thick because hair it, overcame Nair. It will. It, it didn't it literally it didn't will. wipe all off. I thought I wasn't wiping hard enough. And it, it didn't, won't. Yeah. Um, so if anybody out there is like, I don't know, maybe you're getting hairless for, for whatever reason, maybe you're taking some pictures for your fitness or whatever. Uh, that Nair for men stuff, I don't know if it matters that it's for men, it probably just removes the fragrance but I would leave it on for like four to five minutes the first time and, and then wipe it all off, you know, like scrub it off with a towel or something in the shower. I wore gloves in the shower because I didn't want continuously rubbing my hands in acid. Are we just know, going <laughs> bald like a baby dick? Is that the goal? Uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes. Mm. Or, but, 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 you know, I would take it and like put it on like my chest, like a strip of it on my chest if I'm doing that, for example. But you don't want to burn a whole red strip of your chest by leaving it on too long. So I would leave it on for like four or five minutes and then wash it off. And it wouldn't all come off. But I'd be like, tomorrow it will, though. Next time it will. You know, you'd like, oh, I'd, OK. So you just do iterative refinement. On yeah. There. Yeah. I, I would rather do three light treatments than one that's borderline burning your skin off. How do you get and, your and scrotum? I, do you uh, sauce that I up? I tough too? it out. I sauce it up. I, 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 <laughs> I, I fucking I'm down there. Now, you don't want to get on your dick. So you got to be kind of careful. I put a condom on my dick. And then I I take the uh, the nair and I get the boys down there get them good, good and, and I watch that timer I set a timer for three minutes and ee, 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 I'm like it's time I got to like get that bomb. shit off my balls take that seriously why don't you get nair in your dick like I, it, yeah it's the same my skin. dick's not hairy but and it's not gonna it's hurt it right sensitive it but you acted it. like it's the know. most sensitive thing it's translucent skin I mean I can see the ve blood vessels and veins in there I don't want it there yeah but you can see that on your feet <laughs> I also don't nair my feet. I you should. Yeah, uh, maybe. I bet you do near your feet. You have your feet. I do near my feet. I do. I do near them. I do. Um, that or I run just a trimmer over them for real. Because when I put socks on, like the hair goes backwards and it's it start it's aches when you take them off. I'm sure you've had that on your lower legs. <laughs> I've had that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah trim uh, all that what, shit off. We probably talked about this a decade ago. But what's your preferred female pubic hairstyle? Uh, I like you enjoy a uh, a plethora of styles and, and variety, mm. as as they say, is the spice of life. So true. Um, so like some pubic hair is is great. None is great. The only mm. thing I'm not into is just a lot of long pubic hair. Like like if one of them's gonna pop off and like get in my mouth, I want it to be like when you're shaving, one of those little fragments spins away. You know, mm -hmm. one of those little. I don't yeah. want some big, long, curly Q motherfucker coming out of my mouth later like, on. Like a magician's scarf where you're just and, keep And pulling. one thing that I, one thing I frankly will not tolerate, like I won't even date a girl if she's got a hairy ass, like even a little. Mm. If there's any hair back there, w there will not be a second I'll, uh, date. 
There was a girl who just had an ugly butthole, and I and I ghosted her. Oh, how <laughs> ugly like she was kept, it? She first of all, very pretty girl. Like you would be like, oh, all right, that's a solid seven point two. That's a that's a pretty girl right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty girl, hairy butthole. Oh no, no, excuse me, ugly butthole. It looked like a poorly tied balloon animal. It was just. Just was it like an uneven there. butthole where like yeah, it wasn't a yeah, nice Yeah, there was stuff there was knot. like stuff hanging out, you know? There was like protrusion and oh, I wonder uh, maybe, what happened. That could have been a medical thing and you just what needed happened? to wait out the hemorrhoids. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, is that a high I mean, mileage hole we're talking about or right? have I Good just subreddit like, by the way. Exposed what a virgin I am to think that <laughs> like that those two things could be related. I don't know. Yeah, there was I, shit all over it and then she was screaming at me get out of the bathroom. Oh, that happened. <laughs> I remember, uh, I remember I saw this on a meme the other day. They're like, as she lowers her her ass down to your mouth and you stare, you staring at the bits of toilet paper on her ass as she lowers <laughs> down to your face. And the guy's like, <laughs> and I'm like, I did like, I, I also had a girl one time bend over and there were little bits of toilet paper back there. And I was, hey, let's uh, let's get in the hot tub before we, before we or, or like, mm. like, you know, like, like we had to trans because then she'll get in the hot tub, then we'll shower and then we can have sex. Like, like I had to find a way to shower her without just like going and getting baby wipes. I like, think dirty. America's missing out on this bidet thing. I know there was a bit yeah. of a craze during COVID when the toilet paper was uh, hard, uh, unstocked and stuff like that. But we have a bidet in my house. We've always had a bidet, but just recently we upgraded. And mm. it is amazing. First of all, the aim on this thing is outrageous. I'm like, is there a camera or something? Why is it always in the perfect spot? I don't know. Even if you tell it to like move around so you don't get like too much pressure on the one like it, it, painful problems like if you're like hey just scatter this thing ease up it's still all, nothing but hits just it, it's like nothing but net but different parts of the bottom of the net yeah. it's amazing <laughs> if you don't, and, uh, if you uh, don't pay for the subscription water. there's a there's a mobile game where kids can aim at your assholes <laughs> <from> the <phone. laughs> as soon as you that. raise the toilet seat which by the way happens by remote control uh the uh in toilet exhaust fan starts going so that mm. that's not an issue either like it and the the toilet I, it was fifteen hundred dollars a good toilet is like four or five hundred yeah so i really feel like more people could make this stretch on an, a, a household appliance it's triple but 20, triple still is it's triple but it's still within that like household um appliance kind of kind of range right? it's like skimp mm -hmm. on your dryer spend you know splurge on your toilet I mean, I won't know until it is 30 years old, but toilets last a long, long time. Yeah. How does it know um, it's you sitting down? Like, there's no way it's just like a universal butthole smell. aiming system. Like, oh, there is like, literally Hello, a Woody. boy and a girl button for when you tell it to wash you up. I don't know what it does to girls exactly. Like, what, what do we... <laughs> Is this you just, just press cleaning? that button? Maybe yeah, it's got all button. sorts of new features. I think I might like orgasm off you. scrotal massage or something. I don't know what happened. Starts giving you affirmations. Woody, you've been <laughs> shitting non stop recently. <laughs> I know I can't get uh, enough of the fucking bidet female setting. It's rocking my world in there. I didn't know that dude, pressure on the back of my nutsack can feel so good. Way do you just sit on it? You get like a warm, wet, warm water massage after you finished your business, and you're like, this is just the way this is. It be instantly going. warm. Yeah, pre pre warms it as soon as you like raise the toilet seat. Yeah, you can hear it. It shoots for like ten seconds, five seconds into the water. So you're like, ah, oh, it's getting that cold water out of the supply. <laughs> and in a second, it'll aim at me. I love What's that. What's it like to go from that 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 palace of a bathroom you've got to have? Have you had to use a public restroom? Oh yeah, yeah, lately? yeah. And just I, be I, like, this this is how people live. <laughs> One pot, and you call it living. <laughs> the idea that you so if you have a wet wipe i give you the thumbs up for maximum hygiene standards right you can do as well with a wet wipe as you can with a bidet but if you're just like in a public toilet and you have to use dry toilet paper i'm like i don't consider myself dining ready which i like to be at all times mm -hmm. uh, unless i've bidet or wet wiped you got to be dining ready on the open road on your, mm. <laughs> your All motorcycle times, always you never know when those lot lizards want to go for a, for, a, for a dip back there you know? at, at any picky. given moment I, you could go down on me and you'd be like woody a plus right now you could <laughs> right now you could blow me and you'd be you know smelling the sweet lilies you, you can yes. sense the water that goes up to your ass i don't think he's talking about sucking his dick uh and as far as public bathrooms go um i saw i know they've added to try to get around the, the nonsense of our world. They've added these gender neutral bathrooms. 
so mm. that anybody can go in there and nobody can complain about who goes in there, which makes a little bit of sense. You know, I'd, I I think the I third... want to complain. <laughs> <laughs> well, they found a way to complain. But the social media post I saw was this trans person being like, apparently cisgender men have discovered that they have a new shit shack to use to take their smelliest dumps. <laughs> and every time I go to a neutral gender like like toilet, it smells awful. It's disgusting. What is wrong with you? And I'm just like, you're complaining because the toilet stinks. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You we made you a special toilet and you're complaining because it smells. You thought they were going to make a smaller toilet that has a lock on the inside with one toilet and people weren't going to go in there and take shits? Like, that's a, that's a shitting bathroom. That's what I use yeah. toilets for. Yeah. It's my number yeah, I mean, one. I rarely I mean, you just guys hang probably out. thought Woody doesn't poop until just now, but it's it's not true. I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once every three months, just like everybody else. I would be concerned. I'm fine with them doing that, but I don't want the the guy's bathroom. It sh we shouldn't lose a toilet when they reset it. If it's like, all right, the men's bathroom has four real toilets and four urinals. The female bathroom has eight regular toilets. Let's steal one of the men's toilets. To make it three Wait, what, bathrooms, the, it should well, be. Well, the women's bathroom needs more urinals. For, for that was that's the first thing I would do. Throw three urinals in the women's room, just for you know the laughs, and yeah. then <laughs> for the trans. They women. can have our urinals just because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, they they can have one urinal, and then th that's the trade. It's like a three way trade in in NHL. <laughs> <laughs> we trade uh, a regular toilet to the trans bathroom. The women get. Or no, the women we'll take lose a changing table. We'll take a Taylor, changing table because you could. You ever fuck a girl on the changing table in one of those gender neutral bathrooms at the, at the airport? No. What yeah, do I do either. with my draft pick, Taylor? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> we can hold on to that. <laughs> it's, got, it's, it's trade bait. <laughs> uh, it, are those changing tables strong enough to have sex? Yeah. On? This is the ones that yeah. say koala on them. Yeah. I mean, if you can lay a, a, a child on there and change them, you can lay an adult on there and change them. What a, what a ghoulish I place to fuck! You're, like, how is everybody There's else? There's nothing ghoulish about that. You're, you're, you're basically taking the whole bathroom and you're saying, "Sorry, everyone who needs to go to the bathroom, I'm more important." She should it's, have two hands on the sink like any other woman. Like, it's yeah. the family bathroom. You do it in the parking garage in the back seat. Like, they have adults. cameras in there. Yeah. And I got ran away from the park. <laughs> you got ran away from the park. The cops weren't even called. It was the, the locals <laughs> who were sick of my shit. <laughs> we were right there on the tilt a world. I didn't mention the park. <laughs> You're like Dennis Reynolds flexing for the children. Yeah, I know Atlanta didn't want to conform to some sort of, or Georgia maybe in general, didn't want to conform to some sort of bathroom law a few years ago, and it lost them the All Star game of 2021 baseball All Star game. Uh, and they just said, ah, we'll make it right. You get it next year, which is such. It, I love the the, the two-facedness of every corporation and every group when, when when we have everything changes to Pride Month and we're all on board until it makes financial sense to do anything and everything else. It's it's I don't I don't understand how people can bite every time. Wait, so the they gave them back the All Star Game? Yeah, they're just like ah, actually you can have it now. Did they twenty twenty one with All Star bathroom rules? Or did I they seriously it? doubt it? Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. imagine so. North but Carolina I mean, did. I, I mm. bet Atlanta is a big baseball hub because they have the Braves and they have they're a big fan base, right? Not no, really. Oh, never mind. Not as big as you would think because they're basically the whole South. Like Florida doesn't count, and then so they've got the rest of the South. There's no baseball teams down here. Yeah, I guess Florida has two teams, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Like, where's the closest one? Maryland. For the um, um, Orioles comes to mind. DC. Orioles, maybe go into Chicago. I mean. I don't know. I'm, I've got a map in my head right now. Maybe I don't know what where the Texas uh, teams are based out of. Houston Astros. Houston. The, the, no, like Chicago's got to be closer than South Houston. Carolina, North Carolina. None of these. I can't think of their Baltimore, teams. DC. Yeah, DC and Baltimore. We mentioned. And St. Louis. Zach says Dallas, St. Louis. I don't. I think. I think yeah. St. Louis and Chicago are about the same, about equidistance from Atlanta, roughly. Chicago's close. definitely way further than St. Louis. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> Chicago's yeah. Chicago's about five hours because they're almost the same uh, longitude. Yeah, but they're different latitudes. We're just like we're mostly yeah. just straight south. <laughs> they're a little east of oh. us. Yeah, it's better phrasing that way. Yeah. Everyone's like, which one is fucking longitude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the way I learned it is my teacher in like third grade was like. Think fatitude, and I was like, I'll never forget because like latitude. 
fatitude. Like if a fat person oh, would have like you I go, the latitude. Jimmy Buffett fatitude. had that song, Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes. So mm. like when you go on vacation in the Caribbean south. or something. So yeah. Yeah, latitudes, attitudes, ah, latitudes, the north, the south. Like, look at this well, space around Atlanta. No one else really has this kind of population. Yeah, how are, around how are the Braves not popular? Yeah, I mean, look, they're not not popular, but you would think they would be an extremely popular team. You would think that, like, and, all the baseball fans and all those surrounding states would be, would, you know, Atlanta. Damn. Not really. Bastards. And Alabama. that's not really yeah. a super low, like, if you look in the top left around Seattle, it looks like they also have a huge amount of land. And I guess yeah, land so they much. do, but people don't live there. Those are some of the lowest populated states in America. But yeah. Idaho, they don't have any professional sports. And so look like, at Cali. Look at Cali hoarding phenomenon. all the fucking teams like always. They, they they just lost one. I saw I don't know all the particulars about what they're doing to the um the it's the A's, right? Yeah, Oakland's uh, going yeah. to Vegas, right? Well, the time they are, but okay. like not all at once. Like, like, I think they don't go there until, like, 2027 or something, maybe eight. But in the interim, they don't have anywhere to fucking play ball. So they're going to play in, like, a minor league stadium or some shit. It's the shittiest job in all baseball. Can you imagine if you're the guy signed to that team? They're like, hey, we don't have a stadium or a fan base anymore. You'll be playing in that minor league stadium across town, and no one will be showing up. Yeah, we'll still pay you. Don't worry. What the fuck? This is what I signed up for. How, how many road games do we play? <laughs> it sounds crazy to you, but for me, that's how um, Carolina's hockey team got here. So oh. Carolina's hockey team plays in Raleigh, but they played in another town. I think it was Greensboro for two years in some like random rink that barely had stands. I think it was shared with a minor league team, and then they came here. Yeah. Uh, in other hockey news, they did – I think we talked about a PKN, but for everyone, they they did charge that guy who – karate kicked the other hockey player in the neck and yeah. killed him and no in we we PK. didn't we we mentioned it initially on pkm but we didn't talk about the arrest i realized afterward yeah. manslaughter charges he's, he's been arrested hopefully they i don't know if they have charged him with manslaughter already or if, what i saw okay or if they're thinking about it i think we but, decided that's probably <clears throat> what he did yeah i very much I so no like it's like the the way he fell or didn't fall like it's a clear attempt to raise his leg to the upper body of another player. Like there are no similar examples. I've watched a lot of hockey and like people don't fall that way. You don't, even if he did catch his right inner edge and fall to the left, you would not fall and lift your leg into that fall. That's just not physically how you would. And if he was merely trying to prevent the player from gaining the zone, he would have tripped him. A standard. If you're called to be an expert witness and sort of do that thing like in JFK, where you point at the video and go back and to the <laughs> left, yes, back and to the left, you know they're proving the bullet came from in front of JFK and not behind. And, and oh, I could, I could do it, baby. I could do it. I'd be like, take a look at this stick here. Is it caught on anything? Did it pull him out of position? No, it did not. And then <laughs> we take a look at the right leg here. Look at the right inner edge. Does he catch an edge there? Do we see all the telltale signs of catching an edge, i.e. falling in the direction of his current physical movement via inertia? No, we do not see this. What do we see? We see an intentional raising of the left leg to the upper body of Adam Johnson and the subsequent death. And <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> like Here's You're what I think I saw, and the, I want to get this out. No, I'm the I, I don't think he tried to hurt the guy with the skate. A lot of people are acting like he did. I think he, even as I listen to Taylor, it's inferred, I think. That like he put his leg up there as a kicking motion. I think he threw his leg in the way like a turnstile just to slow him down. But and you would trip. like every other time that happens, you throw your leg at the shin pads, the feet of the person to trip them because that's the best way to trip someone and prevent them from gaining access. Like it's a much less effective approach to go. I'm going to make a kicking motion to this guy's sternum area. Like that just doesn't happen. So like he did mean, I don't think he went into it trying to kill him, but he did mean to kick him. Like that's not how you move what, your leg. Do you think they, do you think the he the goes guy down? was behind him. He didn't have an opportunity to kick the guy who's behind him. He could only throw his leg in his way. That's, that was the, that's what I, I thought that was the only is. play available. Yeah. He, he threw his leg at his upper body. Like if he wanted to, he could have sprawled out threw his legs behind him, just gotten a regular two minute trip. Like, there were other options if he was willing to take a penalty, which he clearly was. And he did something unbelievably reckless. And sorry, like you can't, 
you can't throw your bladed foot around like that up in the air. Like that's that's day one. If you don't play hockey and you're listening to this, like you need to know a day one hockey thing is keep your you keep your feet on the ice. You have blades on your foot. Where do your feet stay on the ice? Where does your stick stay on the ice? Like, because that's how kids get hurt in mini might and little league is not like getting cut by blades generally, they but they other. lift their They're, stick up and then they smack some other kid in the face uh, or the I, neck. Look, it it wasn't like negligence. That. It wasn't ignorance. It was at the very least, like some sort of carelessness and recklessness. Reckless. Yeah, that's, that's what we're talking about. This is a professional. It. This is a professional out there doing it. If a, if a kid did it in a, in a, in a high school game, it'd be a different discussion if you ask me be like yeah I mean, but this, this guy's been doing it his whole goddamn life like like he has been doing it since he was a child if he's made it to pr the pros even the the uk pros or whatever so uh i hope they try him it'll be an interesting trial i don't know mm -hmm. i miss when we had televised trials that johnny depp heather uh or mm -hmm. bed shitter lady thing was kind amber of interesting heard. amber heard but but i really want like daily live feed like the oj trial was when i was a kid this I happened in really England, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yes. Are they going to dress up like it's the 1600s? Oh, Don't get those they still wear powder hear ye, warlock? Hear ye, the <laughs> trial of the murderous bladester is in session. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then <laughs> three hours explaining ice hockey. Explain the ice hockey. Higher sport of ice hockey. What is it and what does it mean? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so, Taylor is expert witness. You need a pipe and like the Sir Sherlock Holmes hat. <laughs> Where do you acquire so much ice? <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just one. get one one Canadian guy up there as the expert witness, and then they can have a British guy translate him. It's any Canadian. <laughs> yeah, any, <laughs> you know, we don't all like English, hockey. Canadian I don't know English, what. And then they go back and translate. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of terminology in hockey that they, that wouldn't you wouldn't pick. They've up all got right those away. headsets on, like Nuremberg, like waiting for the translation <laughs> from just a straight Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah I enjoy those televised trials. It's arrested. I enjoy those televised trials immensely, especially when it's someone in the public eye or someone you know something about. I wish that Cain Velasquez trial was uh, yeah. was televised. You I know, wish the Trump refreshing. trials were televised. Yeah, that Maybe. would be fun. Maybe it could make it. I, I don't know that we don't. We I, I'm trying to avoid the civil war. Um, well, <laughs> so, so now so maybe keep that one off TV. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to avoid winning the civil war, Woody. Like, 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 mm. you know what I mean? Like, 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 like you'd know what I'm going to be at fine. long last. <laughs> I'm the only one here who knows what it's like to win the civil war. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, he does. He's old as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I think. I oh, you were saying that you want to not watch trials that are live, like for Trump, but you think oh, the Cain like Velasquez one would be fun. The Cain Velasquez one would be cool because. That's an interesting, it's a classic uh, sort of, what are you going to do about this kind of thing? So basically his his uh, his kid, it doesn't matter which one, it's like get, gets molested by some guy. He goes after the guy. He shoots bullets into the guy's car, misses the guy, hits the guy's, like someone else in the car. It doesn't matter. Someone who was and not molesting his son. Someone, a non-molester. He's like shot this man and maybe it caused nerve damage. The man might have lost some use of a hand and he's a carpenter. Like, like woe is me, all this shit. Yeah. I think Kane's out now. He was in jail for a long time, awaiting trial. I think not he might long. be out. Huh? Not that long. It felt like a long time to be sitting he was in jail. For a long time. The dude did like 14 months for murder. Did they scoop up the pedophile? Oh, it's not over. They got him? It hasn't begun. Yeah. Did, did they, um, they well, got no, the but, pedophile too, or did they just arrest him? I don't know. I'm. I'm. I don't know. Was it like confirmed that this guy was molesting his kid? I think he was a sex or... offender as well. Like, like I think, yeah. yeah oh, it was okay. One hundred percent. Like this guy molested the guy's kid. Well, hopefully, he got locked up. Save those those yeah, children. Trial begins in January. See, I'd love for that to be televised. I'd watch that shit. See, that's, that's the. What, what do you think is going to happen to him? Because he shot someone that had nothing to do with it and kind of ruined their life, seemingly, right? I think he's in trouble. Um, I think they're going to say, like, what, you know, hey, we all understand X, Y, Z, but he didn't even get the right guy. He didn't get the right guy. Look, look, if you're going to go John Wick, you got to get the Russians. Right, guys? I'd say that mm, to the jury. Yeah, they don't you got to practice. You got to be can't good be with bystanders. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why do you bring a gun is, is what everyone says, because... In case you don't know, Cain Velasquez, one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time in the UFC. <laughs> he is a terrifying man. Yeah, um, but the other guy was in a car. You can be the toughest guy in the world. You can't chase a car. 
Well, he he had his own car, so he could have followed them oh. to the, you know a place and. Yeah, okay, well shape. then I'm seeing the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could kill a man with his bare hands, no problem. He's gonna get in a lot of trouble. I think yeah. I, I get mixed because on one hand. I see like dads taking care of people that hurt their kids, the right. getting off scot free all the time. Yeah, but it's but the when right you, guy. you might, th- yeah, one, not the right guy. Good point. Two, like the kind of person that tends to get off scot free for big charges isn't a really tough guy with brown power tattooed on him. Yeah. Probably Who not. is like they on are the, the record West, shooting an innocent person. Well, like, that's what they're there. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the trial's point. Um, I saw that guy in Russia. Uh, he just got off. Um, he ha- he discovered that his best friend had been molesting his like eight year old daughter, and he forced his friend to dig his own grave, Ruined murdered him, yeah. threw him in the grave. I think he got off with like nothing, like community, like like literally like community service. Or I'm something. fine he with served that. Some time. He had been, yeah, like he, yeah, he just got out as the right. head of the, the parade, parade <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> like <laughs> getting a little bit of uh recognition. Oh, you're out heroism. now, now you can head right. He's, he's on his way to Ukraine now. That's probably yeah. why he got out so early. Yeah, if a dad murders, mm. not even murders, kills the you know, molester, molester of his child, everybody's got to rally behind that guy. See, you say that, but that's how you got Nightmare on Elm Street. That's the that's the plot of that film, Nightmare on Elm Street. Wait, Freddy Krueger molested kids or was molested? Killed and molested kids. Yeah, and then all the parents get together and they they burnt him alive in his little uh, subterranean shed slash shack at the the foundry, depending on which film you watch. And uh, you know, then he came back to get the siblings of the kids he had he had Damn. he had murder raped. I, I I think I've seen that first one of those, but yeah, I cannot yeah. believe that he no he you're making that up. He wasn't molesting kids. He was, was it? It's heavily implied. I, I no, I just saw a thing with Wes, Wes Craven the other day. Yeah, um, it was. Oh. It's heavily implied, but they did have to back off of it because of something that happened to the man. Movie. That's a really bad, bad guy. <laughs> that's, that's now, just, now I realize how stupid Taylor's plan is of getting rid of pedophiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because uh, this guy with his fucking sweater and his dream weaving <laughs> is, is going to get you anyway. Come back yeah, with no, a claw those, hand. Those parents were right. To burn that pedophile in that 80s movie. Oh, and I don't take, care. Taylor. I don't care who hears me say it. <laughs> I don't care what kind of risk I'm putting myself at. I'm not saying these things. Uh, That's yeah, fun I, to say something like totally fine and be like, I'm putting myself out there. Rape is bad. <laughs> I, I did uh, Harley's show last night. And of course, being the biggest Jew I know, uh, we talked about Israel quite a bit. I wanted to know where he was on the whole thing. Pro Palestine, pro Israel. I'm, he 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 refused to to take a side. Frankly, I was surprised. Did he? But no, of course not. <laughs> no, oh, I was gonna say. I, I, um, I find that Harley sometimes articulates his thoughts around this really well. So. He does. Yeah, I, he actually wasn't like um like like super on. You know, I, I I don't remember exactly what he said, but he wasn't super on the Israeli side. But I've been watching it this week. So the Israelis claimed, and have been claiming for a long time that there's this like command network of tunnels underneath the hospital. And they even showed like this CGI thing that they made, you know, based on, I guess, dreams or whatever. And it's it looks like a video game. You'd you, like go. It, it's that scene from Resident Evil where they show you the hive underneath the house, and it's mm-hmm. like wow, multiple levels, big chambers, a spider web, a network of tunnels down there, like ants. Yeah. And they, they so they raided that hospital. They went in. You know, they like they conquered enough land where like they own everything, and then they just Comet went in with pizza. men, took the took the hospital over. And I'm gonna be honest, there were more guns and weapons at my house than they found in that hospital. Which <gasps> look, they found guns and weapons in the hospital, but like not that not enough to not justify. a command center to and, destroy and the hospitals. Were that's the other thing. Yeah. Then they go outside, and they are within sight of the hospital. Like they're like that's the hospital. And it's maybe 350 feet away, 400 feet away, like a big parking lot away. And here's a tunnel, you know, here's a tunnel. And they've like blown up like the the shed that concealed the tunnel. But sure enough, there's a real deal like tunnel. It's not some hole somebody dug. It's like lined with uh, bricks and there's a steel ladder and conduit going down it. But it's like, all right, you got, you know, the entrance to like, I, I mean, that could be a well for all I know. You got to go down there. And sh- what happened to that hive city you were showing Dude, me before? Got WMDs under that under the children's wing. No, for mm-hmm. real? Yeah, for sure. Could it be anthrax? It could be. I probably actually Fuck. 
confirmed. <laughs> Could this tie them to back back in 9-11 when they were mailing it out to all those senators? Are these the real 9-11 hijackers? Yep, in I Palestine? think you're onto something. Yep. In the network in the in the hive. Gotta keep bombing. <laughs> one one more thousand. Dude, bombs. Israel's lying so this. hardcore on this shit that it's become a little frustrating and almost weird. Like when you tell a lie that you know is gonna get wildly disproven tomorrow, I don't understand the point of this lie. Maybe some people never hear the truth that follows it. I, I don't know. But it, it if you tell a lie, I expect it to be something you expect to get away with. I don't know how to even deal with the level of lying that Israel's reporting. Yeah. What's that old saying? A lie will make it twice around the world before the truth gets out of bed. Mm-hmm. Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden. Osama. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, I don't know. I'm baffled by it. I I am ill equipped to handle lying on a really massive over-the-top scale. I, I, I heard Chael Sonnen tell a story recently. Now, Chael Sonnen, my favorite trash talker and one of my favorite fighters of all time, is a wild liar, a super-duper crazy liar who says shit that you expect to be true, but isn't exactly. at all true. Okay, here, he told this story of when, how he won The Celebrity Apprentice. He said, this is how I won The Celebrity Apprentice. And Taylor, I'm going to quiz you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's like, this is how it went down. We were on this task and we were short on time. So knowing that I needed like a, a technical glitch, a little something to buy my team no more time, I got scissors and I cut the Ethernet cable to our computer. And then we had like a technical problem. My teammates, upon hearing this, were overjoyed and... Out of respect, they all voted to keep me, and I went on to win that season of The Ultimate Fighter. So, you know he's lying a little, right? Like, where in that do you think... Not The Ultimate Fighter, The uh, the Apprentice. He won mm -hmm. Celebrity Apprentice. Celebrity Apprentice. So, this is Celebrity Apprentice. I think I said it wrong this time. And he, he cut mm -hmm. the cord to his computer, bought his team a little extra time to complete the task... They found out that he was the one that indeed cut the cord. They all were impressed with his ingenuity, and mm -hmm. yeah, he was voted the winner of the entire thing. So what do you think really happened, Taylor? Uh, <clears throat> seems like he didn't get his shit done, and then he made up a story about cutting a cord because you wouldn't physically, at least I would not, if I were trying to pull that lie off, I would not physically sever the ethernet cord with scissors i would just unplug the modem and then text and say we lost internet how am i supposed to get this up or unplug the ethernet or mm -hmm. any list of things that are more plausible than man someone snuck in to our ultimate fighter headquarters and oh. snipped our cord so you think that he just unplugged the cord and didn't really cut it that's where the he diverged from the truth oh tell us what like, really the, the whole thing seems kind of fibby like, but yeah, I, I can't see him actually cutting the cord. That's silly. Here's what actually happened. He cut the cord. His teammate <laughs> found out and they immediately sold him out to Schwarzenegger who Trump. was running the show. Oh, was it Schwarzenegger? Yeah, yeah <laughs> after Trump did. And he got voted off that episode. He actually yeah. cut the cord. That's retarded. He cut it. Because That's here's like, how it worked, Taylor. So like, like, because they're going to fail. And what year was this? Gonna... How did, did he, like, like 2001? Did he know was... how the internet works? No, no, no. Like, 2017 that's he when needed a technical malfunction so he, he's trying to like abuse the rules the same way he would in any in wrestling <laughs> or in any other sport he's yeah. saying so you're telling me we have to show your project now yeah well the project's not done so that's a fail in what circumstance would i not have to show you the project now well i don't know maybe if there were like a technical mouth wait are you there tick, tick, tick. Are you there? <laughs> that's what he did he was like now we have a technical shoes. malfunction now we get more time and the, and schwarzenegger get is he's like ah this is not in the spirit of the game. This is not how a winner performs or a leader. He, this is, this right. is terrible what you've done. And he mm -hmm. like votes him off. And I'm thinking like Trump would have been like, it's amazing. It's amazing. The ingenuity. You, you read the <laughs> rules. You knew that you, you, by the letter of the law. Okay. <laughs> Just up to the edge. Not all the way. I love it. I love Trump it. Trump might have loved it. Yeah. That would have been but good. When I heard the story, I was like, is he overstating how much praise he got? Is he that? No, he didn't win Celebrity Apprentice. He said he won his season like four times as he told the story. He's the people's champ. He, he immediately got <laughs> voted off the island. Like, like he lost. And you could just look into it and be like, actually, season 17, uh, Joey Stevenson won. Well, yeah. What are you talking about? Rob Schneider or some shit. He yeah. lost. For his idea for adult diapers. Every, 
everyone on the show had like no respect for the devious way in which he tried to win and he got voted off in shame but he tells the story like they carried him out there on the on their shoulders as the winner and that is a level of lying that i'm not equipped for i would have assumed maybe he didn't actually cut it maybe he didn't i i don't know maybe I would have assumed they're not know. cutting too, because they that's cut, insane. Yeah. Like if you, if I came into this office I'm sitting in right now tomorrow, and I tried to turn my PC on, and then I went around the back of my desk here, and I see that all my cords are severed, I'm not <laughs> like, damn these infernal tech issues. <laughs> like, I'm, well, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm searching well, around my house with a gun, is, you know, for well, for the you, the miscreant who did it. I I love his move. I think it's 100 percent correct, and he should have been given the win, but because what he did was. <laughs> Look, the well, rules was he, was are he here. The, the best fighter. Look, the old, rules are rules, right? We've, we've got these rules here, and it's exactly what I said. He needed more time or he loses. He got more time, and you, you're like, why don't you just unplug it? Because they just said, hey, plug that back in. He's doing it in front of them. He doesn't give a fuck if everybody sees it. He's saying, now we have a technical malfunction. We can't send our project in. Keep working. Keep working. He can't spill some water like a not retarded just, person. <laughs> like, there's a hundred things you can do. That destroys something. Of Ruin the keyboard. Ruin, Ruin the keyboard. The keyboard? Yeah, and now now someone's running out and doing it, and come you on. can come on. There's like keyboards everywhere. He cut. I love what he did. It, they should have given him some like like. There's I Ethernet like, cords everywhere. I would argue more office. Ethernet cords than keyboards. I only have one Ethernet cord, but I got like five keyboards. You have you're fibbing. I got two in this room. I've got two in the other Ethernet, room. I got you one you in a have box. like you have like seventeen pieces of electronics that come with Ethernet cords. I throw those away. My. Uh, what do you? Uh-huh. I just got one cord. You know, I've got like a, I got a hundred foot cord that I take with me when I. I think I have places. more. Listen to Lying Kyle, Lying <laughs> Kyle <laughs> about his. <laughs> I have one or two extra keys. Cordless Kyle, cord. cordless Kyle over here, <laughs> <laughs> pretending uh, he doesn't have a lot of them. Despicable. Despicable. Yeah. One Ethernet. Yeah, you're right. The lies from. Yeah, the overseas the, are getting the lies that, that are over the top. I'm not prepared mm. to like exaggeration i can kind of dial back and get pretty close to where the truth is you want a good example another lie sure yeah so they got their uh they got their uh pr guy their propaganda guy down down in the hospital and he's like we think this is the room where they kept hostages look here a toilet with a curtain (gasps) oh and over here look at this this is the guards' duty list. This is where they're, they, you know, they 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 checked in. Like like this is where Muhammad would guard the guards, and then where Hakeem would guard the guards. And it's in it's an Arabic thing on the wall. And somebody's of paper like, and like a grid on the wall. And you know, I don't read Arabic, so I'm gonna take his motherfucker's word yeah. for it. I mean, he's showing it. They zoom in on the bitch, and everybody is it like their lunch speaks, break schedule. <laughs> anybody who can read Beautiful. Arabic goes. Like, like, no, that's the, that's just a calendar. That's just their like Monday. That's like Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> what are you it doing? wasn't a schedule at Damn. all. And and that's a, it's a, a great example, Kyle, because it ties into not only just an over the top lie that I wouldn't have expected them to make. I wouldn't have expected them to take a regular fucking calendar and tell me it was the, like the duty list, the times that different guards work, but it's so obviously disprovable, so falsifiable. And like they don't it, need to because there, there are, are hostages. There are a billion people who can look at that piece of paper and identify you as a liar. I'm not yeah. one of them, but there's multi-billions who speak this language, I think. I've seen and why people. would They're you try to get away with that lie? Yeah, that's that I, takes an incredible amount of boldness to just be like, yeah, we're going with this propaganda that falls apart on one second of critical analysis like they, uh, you have to be unbelievably of, bold that they, to do they that. did they did a thing also where they they showed they were dropping off medical supplies for the hospital and they're in these like big goofy crates that look empty and they they've taped a printout that says medical supplies in english to the side of them and i'm just like come on can y'all <laughs> suck at propaganda you've had so much time to get ready for this like like come on There's the other Russian- side's so much better there's a Russian word for this disrespectful lying. I wish I had recall of it, but it's like, Taylor, if I'm lying to you and I know I'm lying and you know, I'm lying and I know that, you know, I'm lying. Right. Mm-hmm. So this is all out in the open, but I tell this lie because the power and difference, the power difference is so much is so broad that you can't say shit. You're, you're going to have to sit there and pretend that I'm not lying to you as I sit here and pretend I'm not lying to you. And there's nothing you can do about it because I'm Putin and you're anyone else in Russia. Yeah. And Naglia Loesch. 
Is that what it's called? Is that the word? Disrespectful yeah. lie. Well, yeah. yeah, that's infuriating. The media, yeah. powerful parties do that all the time where they're like, we know we're lying to you and you know we're lying, but you can't do fuck about it. Mm-hmm. Like, you that's have no institutional authority. Doing... I've I... also seen this, and, and mm-hmm. this was, I watch a lot. Uh, so it's not that I'm watching it like like I, I'm multitasking like I'm in my room and I'm a, I'm on my I'm on the internet and CNN's playing and I'm fucking around on my phone and but it plays in the background a lot okay. and they were definitely on this narrative path specifically at CNN maybe 20 days ago of like whoa they're going too hard in the paint look at all the dead Palestinians he hadn't said a word about the October 7th stuff in a while it was really about Israel's overreaction. That should have been the banner. Israel overreacts, question mark, exclamation. Mm-hmm. And somebody put their hand to them. Somebody came over and looked over their shoulder at their, at their fucking PC screen and said, whoa, boys, uh, forget who you work for. Hear what team you're on? <laughs> wolf. Hey, Wolf, come here a minute, bitch. <laughs> yeah, heel, boy. You calm See down. On your hands and knees. Oh, Larry <laughs> King. <Yeah. laughs> you end up like that uh, that light-skinned fellow that we let do the mornings now? Yeah, yeah. what was his name again? Nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. We're going to send you to a different Don island. Lennon, yeah. <laughs> island of torture. Exactly. See, nobody Did he knows. Get totally Lennon fired? Anymore. He might have I been think, fully fired. I think he got yeah. skirted off the morning show. But they changed. All of a sudden, it was like, did you forget how awful October 7th was? Well, let me get a grandma on here to remind you. You want to see some crying babies? You want to see some dead children? It's just nothing but the awfulness that they did in there. And then when they do go back to Palestine, it's like, brave Israelis delve deep into terror country this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, Against October 7th all. is another thing that's like, coming. we all heard it. 40 decapitated babies. 40 babies decapitated with a machete. It was I'm picturing... 40 dead babies and one decapitated. Like, like it, it shifted. It was, it was, it, 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 it like mutated. It's as dropped it went all on. the way down to one dead baby and zero decapitations is the last I heard. And I'm like, I don't know. It, it like you went with 40 decapitated babies and I couldn't believe it. And I should have never believed it. Here's yeah. what I, mean, I think atrocity happens. propaganda at the beginning of conflicts, like. That's why it's hard to believe stuff because everyone is going to have a vested interest in making their opponent in it look as inhuman and mm-hmm. despicable as possible. And so, but I, when uh, stuff like that falls apart, it just makes you be like, oh, okay, they're lied. They lied about something like that. What the fuck else is being lied? I about? wish that was okay, more everything. true because I I do what you say happened. So, but my observation is a lot of people just saw the lie and never followed up, and that becomes the truth. That's true. And yeah, and they the people that promulgated that in the beginning, a lot of them, you're correct, are now never going to address it again. They just shot decapitated babies out into the ether and then when it gets disproven or debunked or walked down or whatever, there's just no addressing it ever again. Just now let that well, exist out in the ether. So what's so I, I said this to Harley last night. What I think happened and but nobody tells this story. Although when I go to like, I don't know there's some YouTubers who cover this who are Israeli and, and what it seems like happened is when that thing went off, there were two groups of people. Um, there was one group that was organized as fuck. Like it looked, it's like when you play in Tarkov and you can tell there's like, there were some chads and there were some rats. Okay. The chads showed up. They had fucking sights on their guns. They had fucking maps. They had GPS coordinates. They had cell phones of their own. And then there was also there were teams, right, with a plan. We're going to go to this kibbutz. You shoot the wait till a person comes up with their key card. You shoot them when the gate goes open. We go in together. Like there's a clear, coordinated extermination plan for kibbutzes, which is farming communities, by the way. I don't know. Thank you. I was going to ask. But uh, but then there were some rats running around, flip flops, AK, and a dream. And <laughs> they've got they got th- those guys were calling home all crazy, like Dad, I'm here. I'm in Israel. I, I killed 10 Jews with my bare hands. I'm calling you on a dirty Jews phone right now. Like that's a, that's a, I'm paraphrasing, but that's exactly what he said more or less, you know, and, mm. and that guy's not part of the team. Like, like, and, and th- by the way, that guy's dad is like, Oh, let me tell your mother. <laughs> it was like he was going <laughs> to touch it's so awful over there. Like both, you know what I mean? Like Jesus Christ, dude, um, you don't can't ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's every time you think like, all right, these are the baddies. I'm on the other side. Hmm. Oh wait a minute! These are the baddies too. I'm on the other side. It's it's hard to find a good guy yeah. in this conflict. A lot it's of people easy, are though. getting like 
very at least going by social media and trends like not in mainstream media like most people myself included like really don't like the like group punishment stuff where it's like collective punishment where it's like oh we have to punish all of these people and just indiscriminately take them all on because of this small subsect of them and that's world war ii so what you're saying is and Israel the civil war is killing and every war innocent ever Palestinians, and that's hard to get on board with. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where it's we like every war is like that. That gets won. Yeah, everybody complains about us not winning wars. You, you compl- Israel's about to win one. I mean, it's not a war to go in and just indiscriminately bomb civilian targets, like World War Two. I mean, mostly they. I mean, until like until England and and Berlin got got in their firebombing battle. Like they, there was an effort not to do that as much. Like uh, you, you don't want to do that. As soon as Churchill had justification, which is thin and somewhat fabricated, they didn't mean to hit London and kill those civilians. Really, um, they destroyed Dresden. That I, I used to work with. He's dead now, I'm sure, but he was like a seven or eight year old boy in Germany. He's like, I remember the bombings. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure <laughs> having your fuck. city fire bombed would be fucking terrible. But like. Yeah, like huge too. amounts of people are not cool with the collective punishment that's being put on. I'm yeah, okay I, with it, I guess. Yeah, you know, no, I, I, I think not. There's no way to. I don't think there's any way to to get at the bad guys without killing a bunch of poor innocent people. Um, and I, heard I mean, it said like there this, definitely uh, are. I, I, I was listening Ow. to this guy. He was a very good debater, and he was talking to someone and said, "Hey, collateral damage is just part of war. Like this happens. It's not something the Israelis want." So he asked this question. Let's say hypothetically that Hamas, Hamas, the bad guys you really want, they're in Israel instead of Palestine. So now they're in Israel. Would Israel change their tactic about how they went after them? Would they just bomb a hospital or a refugee camp and say, hey, sorry about those 300 Israelis, but there was a Hamas leader there. So what are you going to do? Would they take out like apartment buildings, hospitals, whatever they're taking out, mm-hmm. schools, and say, this school was fair game. Sorry, Israel. I know we're ruining our country, but there was a bad guy in that school. So fuck well, the whole of, building and all the innocents that come with it's it. It's hard to make an yeah. equivalency there, though, right? Because in one, if, like the case is in Palestine, where this didn't just flare up overnight, it's not like they're in, hey, some guys just ran into the school. Should we firebomb it? No, let's wait till tomorrow. Like, that they've been launching r- rockets for like years and years and years, right? Like they've they've always been using their schools and hospitals to sh- to house weaponry and to to stage attacks and stuff like that. The, it's, it, the equivalency would be like if they had all been in there. Israel doing that. If they had, there had always been a bad to neighborhood use Oxford of commas who is like, I'm not in control if Hamas puts a thing in this other room down there. Why are you killing me and the students? Yeah. Because Hamas is strong arming one of the buildings. I'm sorry, one of the rooms in this building. Uh, And like I said, it was really powerful, the argument to me for him to be like, you think Israel would do it differently if they were killing innocent Israelis? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They'd be sending fucking Israeli SEAL Team 6 into there and precision surgically taking out the bad guys. It would just be open season John Wicking bad guys every time they could. But no. They're only pal- Palestinians, subhuman rats, vermin, whatever. You can just go in there with a tank and blow out any building. Well, Hitler over there. And if, if if there's a chance of hitting one Hamas guy, you can kill as many Palestinians as you want. Yeah. We're still good guys. Dude, right? that, that story Kyle told, not even a story, when you told me, you're like, did you hear that Israel bombed a refugee camp? Like yeah. a whole camp because they said one guy was there. I was like, they got him. there is 100% chance Kyle's being hyperbolic here. No. No, there was a guy they were going for, and they bombed a refugee. Yeah, we blow there. we blow up weddings when there's one guy. Yeah, there. that's this, that's wrong too. That's bad. And I think that one was literally an accident. Well, at least I they told me it was. So what do I know? Yeah, you you, you want to minimize the number of civilians and people who are just trying to live their life getting caught in the crossfire and being killed. And there doesn't seem Rumsfeld. to be there doesn't seem to be any effort of that at all. I don't think Rumsfeld. I think Rumsfeld would be on the opposite side saying. Oh, that was what he said right back in the day. He's like, we're we're creating terrorists, you know, as you know, with every bomb. I think oh. he had a quote. Well, that, that that's true. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad it's not uh, us, you know, on the front lines necessarily getting hurt. I know a lot of U.S. personnel's gotten. Um. They keep talking about the traumatic brain injuries, which I think are being caused by either impacts or um, missile interceptions above their heads or uh, outside secure um, facilities but it's 
dozens now of U.S. personnel personnel with these traumatic brain injuries. And I've seen they've had it before with, with like similar incidents of um, like rocket attacks or missile attacks or whatever um, in the Middle East. There aren't that many personnel out there, but the the number of flare ups that we've had in the couple. I mean, we're having a little war with Iran right now, like U.S. Uh, versus Iran in Syria. Lots and lots of sites are being struck. And they, I think they shot down. Uh, someone shot down one of our Reaper drones last week. Reaper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard Reefer drones, and I'm like, Does, did it work? Did it get them all high? Everybody yeah. just needs to <laughs> chill out. <laughs> it's just land, man. Kill that guy. <laughs> it's just land until it's your land, you know? Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. Then when you're being told that you got to leave your house and, you know, you flee, and then the escape route gets bombed, it's like, yeah, this isn't this is not chill. I mean, <laughs> yo, me. I give down this, on the rhetoric. I give, this, I give this fucking two thumbs down. Let's <laughs> avoid the facts. All right, Taylor, let's avoid the facts for a that's while. What, that's where I. That's how I review it. I go one star. Would have put zero if I could. <laughs> that's how I review it. Yeah, like it's a, a fucking mess. With, um, I want to see some more future tech. That's that's what I'm in this uh, this game for. Uh, I want to see some trophy system use. I want to see that foam. That they use uh, to seal up the tunnels or whatever they keep, they keep, say they're sending in like robots or drones and then they're exploding and making foam to seal the tunnels up. I want to see that happen. I want to see some Terminator drones that like spider through and like and like kill people. Maybe I'd love to see that a spider drone the, with a weapon. Do you know what the foam is like afterwards, Kyle? So I have, I have no experience idea. with expanding foam, and uh, one of the use cases I've used it for that doesn't work is to keep mice out. So like in this house, maybe the wires were routed through like a two by four or something and mice can fit in the smallest holes. So you have to like hit it with great stuff. It doesn't work. The mice will chew the foam and get out. You have to put Mm -hmm. steel wool in there. I've learned anyway. um, But if a mouse can bite the foam, then it seems like someone could claw through and unfoam a tunnel in a day or two. Like three motivated men with a shovel can can wreck a lot of foam or is it tougher than that yeah that would be my question as well like like i i genuinely have no idea the the thing that seemed to make the most sense to me i remember they were pumping seawater into them you know because the ocean's right there and it's like oh that's how you do it uh back when i was a kid you know we had rats on the farm and they would get under those concrete um pads like big concrete pads and oh. we would use carbon monoxide exhaust from a from an old truck and i, I would <laughs> hook up yeah. We hook up, we'd plug up all the holes, but two, you'd have an entrance and an exit entrance on, you know, opposite sides of the big concrete pad. And we would pump the exhaust straight into it. And somebody would be over there tapping their foot on the gas. Rawr, rawr, rawr. And the rats would come stumbling out of the other side eventually so drunk that they couldn't like stay upright really. And we would just, you know, pop them with a pistol as they came out. Mm. Why wouldn't you just put like, a screen door yeah, over it a or screen something. door or something. That way you don't have to worry about picking up a bunch of rats. Yeah, I would just they, keep the rats right where they were. Yeah, well, they we want to get feed, them all. They feed the worms and they feed, they <laughs> go back into the atmosphere or whatever. No, we, you know, you want to mm-hmm. see them and we're getting something. So like, like part of it is we're going to drive them all out and get them. I want to see how many are oh, in So this was a day. You know, football wasn't on. And so <laughs> <laughs> you had to have something to do. I, that's, that's every day on, on like a farm. It's like, what do you want to do? We, we've done our chores. What would you what, There's like a, there's 30 open projects we could what work was, on. There, what was get, your worst chore that you dreaded more than anything? Um, Anything where my hands got beat up or rough or dried out. Fencing is particularly hard. I don't know if you've ever driven steel fence posts with this. You use this fence post driver thing you I hold have. on each side. It, it goes over the top, sort of like a, uh, it's hollow and it goes over the post and bing, 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 driving it. That's very hard work if the ground is hard and it is here. It's hard, compressed red clay. Mm-hmm. That's really hard work. That's I helped, that sucks. Uh, I helped my grandpa take a fence down like two weeks ago when me and my brothers went down there. It was this old fence that was like probably 500 yards like long and whatnot, and it had wire and everything. And I didn't fully – like the way you do that is, you know, you go through, you unhook the wires and everything. Then one person goes and you take the – These were like just metal posts for an electric fence that was previously keeping uh, cattle in. And you just get those those metal sticks, the posts, and you bend them back and forth until they'll come out and you pull them out. And I was uh, we had a tractor. That's how I do it. We use a tractor and we have a 
like three inch wide nylon rope. And we just wrap it around it so it self tightens. Chain will do the, the same. Only a couple of them were so bad that we needed to use the tractor, but the tractor was mostly like my brother was driving it next to me, and so I was going and like just picking up the metal pieces and throwing it into the the you know tractor bale or pull collector I, whatever. But I was in the job where like if you've ever spun up an old wire like an electrified wire like there's a little apparatus that you fold out and then stick in the ground and then you start it by wrapping it on these four spokes and then you just turn and crank it and crank it and of course it's like right next to the ground and so i was like in the worst back position for like an hour doing it and i remember like getting probably because i didn't wait i didn't look to see how long the fence was but after like 25 minutes of just like uh, uh, there's no crank on it so you're just physically spinning it like this with your hands i was like this is awful being a farmer would suck Mm. like my god grandpa how did you do this for so long this is the (laughs) easiest part of farming like you gotta turn it on son (laughs) (laughs) i've had some moments like that you know you we would have we try to hire people that know what they were doing um and you know They'd be doing something ass backwards. Digging holes is hard. You know, I would have thought though. that the track could is press cool. the steel in, right? Like it can. So I'm not I'm not talking about a four by four wooden fence post. Like that can be really hard to push in. But just the, why don't you use the front end loader to just scoop squish it in easy peasy? If the ground's not too hard, you absolutely do that. It, it's like on the if if this is the front end loader, like you come back on the back part of it. Mm-hmm. And if you use the lip, then it could slip off and you get this really scary wow, 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 wow thing. And you get hurt because, yeah. um, mm-hmm. you know, we're compressing and, and building up this tension down here. And then the bucket can suddenly drop by a foot and a half and kill you. Um, so you use the back of it and you can but you can absolutely mash them down into the ground like that on if it's wet, if it's soft. But there's places where dink. Ding, ding. Yeah. Drilling, drinking, digging a hole, anything where you're wet and like in a bad uh, position as well. Plumbing can be particularly awful. I remember when White Boy mm. stayed at my house, uh, his girlfriend um, Kelly borrowed my truck and went to back out of my driveway. And it's like you can go left, you can go right. It's kind of a roundabout type situation. She went right in the middle uh, where the mailbox was. She would have hit it if she hadn't <laughs> backed over my water line. You know where the meter is. <laughs> Good thinking. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and like, and I've been filming all day, so I come back from like sh- shooting, blow, doing a doing a FPS Russia video, and I need a shower. I'm beat, <laughs> but 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 water is pouring down my driveway because she's backed over it and like broke it and everything. So I gotta be like, Dad, can you can you bring me some PVC glue, a hacksaw, and a couple <laughs> couple <laughs> feet of pipe and. Bring all and your like, plumbing stuff, actually. Yeah, right, you could, get you put plumbing stuff, and and so now I'm like down in this hole. You know, luckily I like got proper tools for to do it. I, you know, there's actually a, instead of a hacksaw for PVC, there's a little ratchet like a snip, scissors, like a ratchet scissor thing. That's I got one. Beautiful, makes such nice cuts. Mm-hmm. But that kind of work is dreadful. You know, down wet, you're wet and muddy. It's like red mud everywhere, Dude. all over you while you're down in a hole plumbing. The best part of being old is the tool collection. I don't know what your problem is. What do you what do you got, crowd? Broken TV? I got all the tools for that. Did your plumbing break? Did someone run over a fire hydrant? What kind of solder I probably have all the tools you need for that. Like I, I it's uh I rarely have to run to the store mid project cuz I don't have the right router bit or whatever it is. I've been accumulating this shit for 40 years now. Yeah, that's how my dad's shop is. Like, it'll take a while to find it. I'll be honest; mm. uh, it is not well organized, but it's there. It's there somewhere. <laughs> I, I've often said, like, my probably my best tool is the toolbox because the shit's where it's supposed to be. Typically, I wish I was like that. My shit's everywhere. Sometimes I know where it is. I'll be, like, you know, ah, oh, yeah, back of the closet, the green box with the hole in the side. <laughs> you dig way, way back behind the old record player. Be careful because there's knives in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's where my, my Pez, that's where my Pez dispenser is. <laughs> the drawer is, next man. to my nightstand's like that, and every so often Jackie will go in there, and I'll be like, "Jackie, I, the jab stick was like in the front between the handles. Now I can't find it anywhere. It's six inches away, but because I can't, I can't find shit. <laughs> <laughs> so don't touch my drawer, dude. You, so, Kyle, you talking about having that back up through the yard? catastrophe reminded me i I bet probably like seven years ago i told this on by the way i didn't say a word 
You didn't say a word. You were a good man. You were on honorable. Are they still together? I'm curious. The white boy. I believe they are. I certainly hope they are. Good for them. Good for them. She was uh, really nice. uh, Basically, I think I was probably like 13, 14 or so. And we were coming from the rink. My mom was driving me. And it was me and I think my younger brother and Joel Quinville's son who played on a team with my brother. Joel Quinville at the time was the head coach of the St. Louis Blues. And so big like guy in the ho- the hockey community in St. Louis very like tight and so like the the professionals like Chris Pronger and Al McKinnis and Joel Quenville and all these guys would be down at the rink and their kids would be playing there and so like we knew them and the the Kachucks and we were dropping my mom was dropping in this Honda Odyssey I remember we were dropping him off at Joel Quinville's house, head coach of the Blues, after a practice, and it was rainy. It was shitty out. It was wet. And he was the coach of a professional hockey team. And so it was a very, very, very nice yard. Very Mm -hmm. nice house. Beautiful yard. And a very long, straight driveway. And my mom pulls up into it and lets him out. And he goes in. He's like, see you later. And I'm like, oh, see see you next time. And she starts backing out. And I remember like his driveway was big enough. She could have done a little whoop de doop and like come back out straight. But she started backing up and a hundred yard driveway, however long it was. And I think I think we got it about eight feet backward before (laughs) I felt the car go and just in the yard. And Mm -hmm. she is my mom just forging ahead, just driving two wheels like tilted in this guy's yard. And I'm like, mom, mom, you're in Joel Quinville's yard. You're in the coach of the blues yard. Get back on the the driveway. And she's like, it's fine, Taylor. It's fine. And I'm like, it's not fine. It's not (laughs) fine. So it's not (laughs) all. It's not fine. And so like all the way back, the full length of the driveway, there is just a solid rut, a ditch now of destroyed like yard right next to their driveway and my mom like it just didn't register with her at all how like shitty it was and so we i'm just like i'm mortified i'm like oh my god i'm gonna have to talk to you know someone else during practice and like deal with this this is really embarrassing this guy's a big hullabaloo in the hockey world and then she just backed out i looked in horror at like a decimated yard and then she just (laughs) drove away and then i got back i and my dad my dad was there and like i waited and my mom went to go do something else and i was like dad Mom drove through Joel Quinville's yard and he was like, What? <laughs> like, I just, he was like, What? And I'm like, She started backing up and then she was just in the yard and then she just went all the way through the yard. And he was like, Oh my God. Like, I saw that look. I choose of, like, to believe that's what led to the divorce. I, I would have went back. I think it was. Like, <laughs> like, like, I mean, it doesn't work out. But, <laughs> but yeah, he, my dad was He's so I, I, could on that see, for a while. I could see in his eyes and face because he, like, he would golf with like, Al McKinnis and Joel Quinville and like these guys. And he was like, Oh my God. Oh, uh, he's like, did, do they know it was you who dropped them off? <laughs> like, yes, yes, they know. He's like, Oh my God. They probably just, were all like watching through the, the blinds as you did it. Like, Oh no, she'll stop. She'll, uh, Oh, Oh God. Blasted. Honey, that, honey, isn't that, isn't that the Kentucky bluegrass you had flown in? Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe my mom was driving like Hamas was hidden <laughs> under the yard, just, <laughs> <laughs> just blasting through it. <laughs> so your father was oh. friends with Quinville and McGinnis and Pryor? Yeah, yeah like because they like we played hockey at the same club. And so like a lot of these guys played golf together. And like what helped is that my dad is a ridiculously good golfer, like absurdly mm. good. People will be like, oh, but I'm really good at golf. And then they play with my dad and he blows them out. He plays nonstop all the time. And so these guys, like when people retire from hockey, they start playing golf. And so they wanted someone good to play with them. And so they would invite him to come play. And that was that was neat. So I got to like hang around the blues. Why is it time. fun to have somebody good with you? When they're playing like triples or like a group of four or something, it's good to have someone who's really solid on there, I guess. I, I don't even know enough. Like they like in group play where like they're a group competing against other groups. I guess it was good. Oh, to have okay. them. I remember uh, Matthew and Brady Kachuk are both in the NHL right now. The, the sons of Keith Kachuk. And I remember I met Brady and Matthew Kachuk. They're both like seven they're like seven and nine years younger than me or something like that. Seven and eight years younger than me. And the, the Kachucks invited us to their box to watch a blues game when I was probably, you know, nine or no, I'm sorry, not nine, like 12. 
And mm-hmm. so these kids were like three, four. And I remember my dad like giving me a talk like the whole way up there. He was like, you behave. We are with <laughs> blues players and we're going to their box and you will behave. And I remember being like, I do behave. Like, I don't know what I'm going to be in trouble for. But like, mm-hmm. I was on my best yeah. behavior. And like every so often I would just like, because all the adults were talking behind me and I was sitting in those little chairs up a little closer to that mini glass that overlooks the ice. And then I would like get up every so often and go get a Coke because I wanted a soda. And like, that was my big, oh my God, it's a box. As many hot dogs and sodas as I, as I please. And so I was doing that the whole time. And I had to end up getting multiple sodas because I would go get a Coke. I would open it and then like drink some, put it next to me. And then it was either Matthew or Brady Kachuk, probably Matthew at the time it was like four years old. He came over and he just kept knocking my soda over. Like this little kid, he just kept going, whap. And I remember in my head being like, that's Keith Kachuk's kid. And dad said, to behave. <laughs> and so I just would like, you're like, good pick hit, up. Little yeah. <laughs> good hit, little guy. And so I just pick up the soda and throw that one away and then open up another one. And then mm-hmm. he'd come over like 10 minutes later and knock, knock my soda over again. Oh, got and another so just, one. Two points yeah. for you. <laughs> Matthew, little did I know he'd be an NHL. Hey, I'm Taylor, by the way. We should be friends for life. We should be great friends. Yeah, I, I have, I'm thinking about it. I have a bunch of good like hockey stories knowing those guys. Eric Johnson was the first overall pick by the St. Louis Blues in 2006, I want to say. So I was 15. He was 18. And he was boarding with the McInneses at Al McInneses' house, and which is pretty common if you're like a young 18-year-old first-round draft pick, first overall especially, that you're going to go to the NHL right away, more likely than not. And so they'll board you with an existing NHL family with, with people on there so that you can kind of get acclimated. And I knew Al McInnes' son at the time. And so he and I were playing shinny hockey in Al McInnes' basement, which is like a little where it's where, you know, those little tiny hockey necks, like yay big made of plastic. And then mm-hmm, those little mm-hmm. plastic uh, sticks with the the foam ball and basically you're on your shins, you're on your knees and it's one-on-one and you're trying to play hockey versus each. It's, it's so much fun. Shinny is great. And Hmm. me and uh, Al's son were playing and because I'm a goalie, it gives me a tremendous advantage in this game because second nature, I'm always keeping myself square to the net. Whereas someone who plays forward or defense isn't going to be doing that as much. They're going to leave open scoring opportunities. And so I beat, Al McKenna's his son. And then I uh, look over and Eric Johnson, first overall dra- draft pick, comes down in the basement. And he's like, what are you guys doing? Uh, at this time, Al McKenna's his son is like four years, one year younger than me. I'm three years younger than Eric Johnson. And he's like, I want to play. And he's like an 18 year old first round draft pick <laughs> in the NHL. And so he's unbelievably competitive, <laughs> unbelievably competitive. And I, one. Oh I, yeah. I beat Eric Johnson. Johnson, shout out. Shout out you, mm-hmm. Eric Johnson. Has a has a good career. Loser. He Eric loser. Johnson loser. I, you're I, lucky I, we're giving you this attention. Oh, yeah. We're late. You're <laughs> welcome, Eric. And so we were playing. And like at first it started off where he wasn't going that hard on me. And then he realized like, oh, this kid's like, and I'm also like a pretty big 15 year old. And so by the end of the game, he and I are both sweaty. And he's like, when I have possession of the puck, he's like leaning on me, like hard trying to move me. And I'm Mm -hmm. like bounce, trying to bounce it off the wall to get it into the, into the net. And I won and he got like, like he kind of got up like with a a little bit of a huff. Uh, (sighs) Fuck. Like, Mm -hmm. like mad about it. And I remember for a long time, I'm 32 now. And I still remember that and being like, hell yeah. Yeah. The, the king of shit. If you wanted. Yeah, I could have. <laughs> and by that, doing a little college football math, I should have been the first overall draft uh-huh. pick. <laughs> in yeah. the NHL. I mean, I, I bet if some of those scouts had seen that that shinny footage, they may have may have had some other ideas. They would have. I kicked ass at Shinny. So Eric Johnson, mm-hmm. invite open. You want a rematch anytime, any place. <laughs> oh, I've got I've made a hundred million dollars in one Stanley Cups. Who cares, brother? Mm-hmm. I, Dude, I took you down in Al basement, basement. In, two, in 2005 <laughs> basement champion <laughs> yeah uh, did you guys know any like professional athletes growing up or like no can, no my <laughs> father knew um Pat Croce. <laughs> I, I forget where you're from <laughs> you guys know any uh celebrities or anything as a child you know hang out with them and stuff befriend them no it's just because we're in the same, the same circles Every morning, my father ran on the boardwalk in Ocean City, New Jersey. It's nice. It's a little springy. It's better on your knees. Anyone who lives at the beach runs on the boardwalk. It's the better place to run. And uh, 
I guess he got to knowing Pat Croce, who owned the Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, nice. And uh, he was like an outrageously positive super guy. Hank Scorpio from The uh, Simpsons. Yeah, Simpsons. Yeah. He was said to be modeled on Pat Croce. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> then I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hey, if you could I guess, toss a grenade at someone on the way out, I'd really appreciate it. Like, I this guess <laughs> Pat just took a liking to my dad. He's they ran at about the right pace. He's like, you run pretty good for a big guy. And uh, so when they saw each other, they would run side by side on the boardwalk. That's my the closest yeah. I got. I can't that's, hang with Taylor. That's pretty cool. it's better than I've got. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I knew. Nah, definitely not. Greg Maddox wasn't a friend of the fam. No, he was not a friend <laughs> of the fam. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only Braves player I always remember because you mentioned him as the Hall of Famer, amazing, the great white whale pitcher. that that didn't Who's win the a rocket? championship. What's his real name? Kyle's gonna know it. He was a relief pitcher. You talking about Nolan Ryan? No, no, he was a racist dude. Relief right. pitcher. Oh, oh, not Rocket. You're, You're talking about John Rocker. That's real good. They, they never nicknamed him Rocket. That was a missed opportunity. That was no. They called him the fucking grand. The wizard. wild thing. They called him the wild <laughs> the thing, right? They, they played wild thing when he came out. It was just like, by the way, just like Major League Charlie Sheen. They played wow thing, and he'd come out. He was the closer. He had the sleeves like <laughs> cut off his jersey and shit. Mm-hmm. Like he was the bad boy closer. It's a great movie if you haven't seen it. It's comedy. It's uh, hilarious. But but John Rocker was the embodiment of that. He was you know they played the I think it was 90, 1999 uh, World Series. We played in a lot of them. <laughs> and uh, we play the Yankees, and Rocker gets up there. Rocker was, again, relief or closer. I can't remember which. Probably a closer. And he could get up there in the three digits, uh, if I remember correctly, 100, 102 miles an hour. And he was like, New York is a filthy piece of shit. just a shithole full of queers and, <laughs> and fags and, and these people and that people. And the subway looks like. And it's this whole piece that they did. <laughs> and it lo- it was a bad look. Yeah. John Rocker's been traded to the Mets. Like, oh, actually, <laughs> who's going to read this? I'll read it. The biggest thing I don't like about New York are the foreigners. You can walk an entire block in Tom's in Times Square and not hear anybody speaking English. Asians and Koreans and Vietnamese and <laughs> Indians and Russians and Spanish people and everything up there. How the hell did they get in this country? John Rocker. Dude, that's so funny to not to pick... So the he's biggest, from not very far like, from me. Uh, the biggest tourist trap in the world to talk about like too many languages, <laughs> like of all the yeah, places, right. be like Times Square, it'd be everybody's walking around taking pictures, not yeah. speaking in English. Like you know, I go to Ellis Island and there's all these foreigners here. And they're showing me their passports because they're ethnically Russian. Get out! <laughs> like, I think my mom worked with some relative of his. There's some loose connection to him. I do know that. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it was. If I, I need to text my mom tomorrow and ask her, but either I think she knew his mom or something like that. Like, like she was in the insurance business at the time and they had, they were tangentially connected in some way or another, but he's what they based. They based um, the character in Eastbound and down on John Rocker uh, and really? that, that whole HBO. Oh, well, um, then he's very serious cool because that's a hilarious show. It starts mm-hmm. off with him, you know, in his Atlanta Braves uniform in front of the media. And he, he's just like, Fuck all them queers and losers up in New York. And then whoop, now he's in a Cubs jersey. Man, this, this Chicago's even fucking worse. <laughs> and then, the, then he's in a Pirates jersey. <laughs> it's just like he, as his career diminishes from cocaine and just spending and drugs and women, like you see his, his fastball is slower and slower and he's in shittier and shittier markets. That's a fun show. Dude, That's this a- uh, this other quote from John Rocker. I've taken a lot of crap from a lot of people, probably more than anyone in the history of this sport. I know Hank Aaron and Jackie Robinson took a good deal of crap, but I guarantee it wasn't six years. I just keep thinking, how much am I supposed to take? John Rocker. Dude, this the guy The real rules. victim. Yeah, this, this guy's great. He's just <laughs> everywhere, he's got a point. Sign, everywhere that signs me fucking sucks. Like, where, where did he's he got a point. play? Well, you no, they think they that helped. he took more crap than Hank Aaron and Jackie Robinson. Oh, yeah, undoubtedly, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because because here's the thing: after Jackie Robinson, you know, got out there and they saw him run, steal a couple bases, they're like, shit. Like five, three years into Jackie, like hitting dingers or whatever, and being the the great I bet black. Every hope, away like, game, they still had something to say about the color of his skin. Well, most of the league integrated right away, right? Who was the last to integrate? I. Let's take a guess. Who was the last team to allow a black man to play for them? I got to guess. Red Sox. Do you you know the answer? I don't know the answer. 
Ah, uh, damn. I was I was thinking Red Sox too. But I'm going to pick- say White Sox because it's funny. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, no okay. way a Negro will be on the White Sox. We'll change our name before that happens. Were the Pirates a team then? The not so White Sox. <laughs> the, the not so white socks is that what you want not white socks <laughs> it was the red socks <laughs> oh damn i googled it yeah right. yeah i, I think racist as fuck. all right woody starts with one on trivia tonight <laughs> that should happen <laughs> i want a, a one point advantage god damn it what 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 creates the earth's magnetic field uh magnets aren't real a series of hmm. no iron how does your compass work then? the iron core <laughs> obviously what about the iron core you know all the magnetic it's, aspects. It's hot, so it got magnetized. Yeah, it's mag. It's well, it's what magnetized the because it's do metallic. that creates magnetism. Dude, I can't even begin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so so Name the does. one main thing the iron core of the Earth does to create the magnetic it field. It keeps us in space. Keeps it keeps us locked in. Where would we to, go? <laughs> no, what it what it does it is it's in. We're, we're moving like what a it like does. A yeah, we're moving around the iron core. It spins. It spins. It's 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 for I magnets. Yeah, I thought you'd say that it spins. It Wait, doesn't even spin doesn't that spin. fast. It spins fat. What do you mean it doesn't spin that fast? Ah, it spin. It's it's compared to what? Compared, <laughs> compared to, the, to the, the outside. Compared to the core compared of your planet. No, because it's not. It's it. It's not spin. It's spinning slower than the outside of the planet, right? No, faster. No. So the Earth spins at a thousand miles per hour. I know that at the equator. Okay, well, um, then you're right. There's funny. no way the iron core is spinning 1,000 miles an hour. That's too What if it's, it's spinning the its other speed, way? Though. Every... I don't believe the core is changing its position relative to the crust all the time. Is it? Yes. Is that why magnetic poles shift like every, how often? Every so often? <laughs> like every, I, I, Well, what I always hear is like every 100 billion years, there's a catastrophe and they invert north to south. How would that And then work? there's lots of these conspiracy theories. Uh, well, all right, so they know it happens because of the way uh, iron lines up in rock from from that long ago. It's it's aligned uh, to a different north. Um, I know well, that for sure. What would so, be a big enough catastrophe to like swip, swap? I, I don't have that information like 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 ready to go. I'm just letting you know these things are all real things. The conspiracy theory part that I always see not debatable at all mm. is that um <laughs> yes. and i always see those like crazy youtube videos the cia <laughs> knows that the cata- the, the poles are about to invert any day now a catastrophe is coming but yeah that's you know so uh, that's a different rabbit hole the well, skinwalker what, the, the rabbit hole is what i've been on lately what is the conspiracy about the iron uh, core that it's not there hollower no. perhaps no no although i also saw recently they showed some indigenous people in south america like pictures of gray aliens to like see what they'd say. Like, hey, you ever seen anything like this? And they're like, oh yeah, that's the ant people that live underground. We call them the Ununaki or some shit. I mean, I'm not going to question their truth. So now we know fucking natives are liars. <laughs> <laughs> fucking liars. <laughs> like you, you like space and all that shit. Can you enlighten me on what the hollow earth thing is? Like, what is it that they're saying is going on? Hollow How hollow? Earth. Because we've dug decently far. Actually, we haven't dug that far down. They do that zoom out that shows like the deepest borehole in Russia, and you feel like yeah. it's really deep. And then they zoom out, and it's like, oh, we're not, we're bitch made. We're barely. We're not Isn't even it like crust. sixty thousand feet or something? Yeah, like drilled. we're not even like close to the bottom of the crust. They drilled like seven or eight mental. miles or something. Like, like nothing in, insane. No, yeah, no, nowhere near like the middle of the earth. I. So I think that that's mostly just silliness. Like that's the more silly of the theories. But there are people who believe. The hollow earth theory would be that the earth is hollow and that down there, there is not just life or or caverns, but there's like an intelligent race. They often believe of dinosaur evolved people, you know, like like an intelligent race that evolved from the dinosaurs that survived the great catastrophe that took them out, continued to evolve and eventually like lived underground. And now they live Uh. under there. Some people believe those are the reptilians who would be, you know, puppeteering our government and maybe heating out creating the the global warming conspiracy and changing our environment to match something more like their Triassic origins, perhaps that for, for the reptilian uh, gains. I like that. That's kind of fun. The, I don't yeah, buy, the, I don't buy the, the reptile. Doctor part who, doctor who did that or no reptiles. Like if it was hollow in there, the theory mm-hmm. would be that they stay warm by the interior of the earth being warmer. Right. Cause they or wouldn't maybe, get, they wouldn't get any sun. Or maybe, or maybe like high tech fusion energy because they're you know they've been an intelligent race for millions of years where we've been we've only been here for like a million. 
I feel like if there was a hyper intelligent race of lizards, like we know it, we like they'd for sure have made themselves known and be like, we run shit. I, you know, I think that's there's some kooky people that believe that they're the they're the reptilian people who like help to our government. You know, the 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 Rockefeller type big table of overall kind of puppeteering new world orders type stuff. Yeah. That one's even sillier. So actually, no, it's, mm -hmm. it's not sillier than flat earth because the hollow earth people at least are on board. Like that, that it's round. round. Like that do you think round, that yeah. they make fun of the flat earth people? Like these For fucking sure. idiots, these retards, sure. how would yeah. it be flat? How is there, how are their time zones? They don't don't get into that. I hate the flat Earth. It's nonsense. It, it, I hate it. I, I hate even discussing it. it it's be, more fun. To, I'll talk about skinwalkers all fucking day because that's fun. But like, I feel like giving any energy to flat Earth is like feeding into what they want because I think a, a vast majority of those people who who talk that shit are just trolls. The classic kind of troll, not the modern troll who's like, ha ha, I threw shit in your face. Yes. Trolls, yeah. <laughs> A real troll is when you pretend like you don't know the answer to a question and let someone explain it for 10 minutes while you nod along like you're mystified and as they explain how, like, Netflix works or something. Yeah. And Ask then you then you ask frustrating questions. Time. I know how to troll. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, but you're right. But actually, no, because I, I see talking about Flat Earth, Hollow Earth the same way as, like, having fun talking about Lord of the Rings or Star Trek is, like, you're just... Having but there aren't people the out there signs of that no. reality. Mm -mm. No, well, it it would be like if there were people who believe that Captain Picard is up there, and that that they're only showing us the television show to prepare Earth for when we join the real Federation of Planets. If there was a group that believed that, I'd be I'd be totally against you know talking about fucking Star Trek. I'm like, no, don't feed into their paranoia. No, That's you can't let the flat their Earth, their idiocy asshole. poison your fun conversation. I, I will allow it. Skinwalkers, on the other hand, I had a nightmare the other night. Uh, I think I just stayed up too late watching like scary Skinwalker content. But um, the, I think it was some. It was some like maybe two two sentence horror story or some scary Eddie subreddit or some shit. But it they, it was something about you know if you see someone who looks just like you but their face doesn't doesn't work right, that's a Skinwalker coming to copy you. And I just had this nightmare where I saw a Skinwalker with like lots of hands coming up my staircase, walking on its fingers. Like it had, it was like this, it had my face on it, but it looked like a tick, how it has this undulating body. Yeah. And it's, it, it, it moves on, uh, it moved on maybe 40 sets of human hands, but it used the fingers to, to, to move. Like, like all the fingers were moving in concert as it came up the stairs. And then I woke up like drenched in sweat. So it didn't even get you. It was just a really scary lead up. <laughs> no, it didn't get me. Okay. Well, that's good. You know, because <laughs> it could have got you. You die in your dream. You die for real. That isn't in dispute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's totally in dispute. How scary would that? All right. Now, quickly imagine a world where that was reality. How Skinwalkers? Scary. That would no. be horrific. No, dying no, in your you dream. If you died in your dream, you died in your I used to intentionally die in my dreams. So yeah. You get in that in-between state. I'm like, wait, wait, I'm controlling this dream. I'm asleep but awake. I, I immediately find a tower to climb and jump. That was what yeah. I would do. Just I would find I just, a way. Like when I've died in dreams, thing. it's usually falling and it's like way too, like there's no beginning of it. Like I'm falling and I'll think like, why am I falling? I've been Ooh. falling forever. Oh, this is a dream. Like I that's remember why I'm kind of like moving forward, always falling, but not hitting the ground. Uh, it's not true. One of my oldest memories oh, okay. is a dream that I had. I must've been five uh, at, oh, at the oldest, but I dreamed that Marv and Harry from home alone were chasing me. Those were the bad guys to five-year-old me. And, uh, and so I climbed up on the bricks that surround this is dream world. I climb, I'm, I'm around our pool and I climb up on the bricks that sort of made a wall around our pool and I jump off head first off the off the and like try to break my neck to like and I wake myself up. And from then on in dreams, that's what I would do if I was having a scary dream. It's like, I got to get out of here. I would jump off something high and like try to break my neck, like like land head first. I, I've i never intentionally killed myself in a dream to wake dozens up dozens of times all the time. I don't think I don't I don't think it would wake me up. I think it would just shift to a different dream. It wakes me up. Mm. Good My dreams don't make a lot of sense. I had a, a bad dream like four nights ago 
And like the whole dream was I was shaving and then the guard fell off in between strokes and I went bare shaved on like this whole side of my face. And I was immediately like, oh no, it's Tuesday. It's only two days till the show and everyone's going <laughs> to remember how ugly I am without my beard. And I was what like, horrible oh, dream. Horrible dream. I'm like, oh, I'm going to yeah. get bullied. <laughs> yeah, you don't be nice to yourself while you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was razzing myself in my sleep and I was like, oh, you can get through this. You can do it. And yeah, I woke up and <gasps> Did a little Kevin McAllister my own and <laughs> slapped <laughs> my face and remembered, oh yeah, I didn't miscalculate a shave. How would that even happen? And then, it could happen. You know, the head falls off. I've had that happen. Or I've also weird. had I had a razor once where you well, I've had a couple of them where you know you dial it in like like instead of just switching the yeah, head. The I got that thing. I got that one. I, I think I've got the um I've got one now that has heads. I don't think I have like an attack, uh, like like the button. It's the really sl like tiny one that's not much bigger than a regular razor. You mm. just like put different heads on it. But anyway, I used to have that digital one, and I think what I did was I like press two, but because the battery had died, it had forgot my presets or something, mm. and two was no longer like my preset for 0 0.02 millimeters. It was now it was just like bald face, and I was just like I'm not looking at myself while I'm shaving. And I'm just like, rah, 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 rah. and I'm like, whoo, really, really going to town here. Look at those mess. And I'm like, look up, and it's just like, ah, <laughs> oh, that's not a good look. Oh. Oh. I did that before a Halloween party like six years ago, where I put the wrong guard on my my like one blade thing I use, like the old version that didn't have the dial, and like I got like five stripes in to my face before I realized that I had the wrong one on. And it like took me down to like the, the worst of the awkward beard growing phase where yeah. it's like, all right, I have to either. And this was like 40 minutes before people were coming over for a Halloween party. And I had to just be like, all right, you're just going to look like a fucking goob tonight who is like in the awkward phase of, of shaving of not shaving because you did this, you idiot. Because you didn't check and you put a three instead of a five or seven or whatever it was supposed to be. A five or a seven? Jesus, that is a beard you've got. I, I use a, a seven on my face. I use a two. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a two for me, that would reveal a little too much flesh. I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you're happy that, that you're growing more hair. Eventually, you'll just be like looking through a little. <laughs> I can't do that. Those ones that, well like, uh, that one you can't do. <laughs> I can't do it. That's not it. You got to come from back here. <laughs> and then you just imagine you're sucking a dick. <laughs> I can't no, do that's, it. An, that's an Arab Chewbacca. <laughs> Arab Chewbacca is more like. <laughs> Chewy, yeah. no. <laughs> Chewy, they're not it's hiding in that hospital. Chewy, <laughs> wait a goddamn minute, Chewy. What kind of vest do you have on there? Chewy, don't mm -hmm. do it. <laughs> 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 Suicide bombs the fucking Death Star. Chewy, they were just children. <laughs> then, like, were there no, any other Wookiees in this Star Wars? Uh, there should be. That'd be a big oversight. In the in the. So in the expanded universe, yeah, because he's got a. I think I think Chewie goes back home and like meets his family. I mm -hmm. think that's in the animated stuff, and there might have been something that had live action multiple Wookies. I, it could have been the the Christmas special, the holiday special that they did back in the day that had Mark Hamill and everybody. Mm. But I, I want to say I've seen some like VHS looking footage that had like a whole family of Wookies, but it's been a long time. I as much as I despise that Star Wars universe, I've I've. I know a lot about it. Not the not the latest stuff though. I I, I haven't been able to get into a. What's in your blood that I, makes you a Jedi? Uh, Midichlorians. I do, well, it depends which. I like how you <laughs> said it. Like Woody, what a fucking asshole question. I, I mean, that's, I that's knew like that one. That if this you knew is uh, Star, I knew Star Wars iceberg, uh, like at the top. Hey, everybody knows Midichlorians, right? We can like go to a real question. It's like come come on. That's that's the. Fuck the I roasting like continues. Shit, I don't I'm, need a sun tan anymore. How, <laughs> how many moves does Tatooine uh, have? Uh, seven. All right, seven. Um, Tatooine. No, they, two. Every every movie is on Tatooine. Two. No, it has two suns. It's two. It's the the twin suns of Tatooine. That's yeah. why uh, the poor uh, um, I thought he asked Kenobi aged so he much did. in like twelve years. 
he went he went from from <laughs> um what's his name to alan mcginnis or whatever the old timey actor in like 12 years he went from well, that's a good looking man i hate to fight him in a sword fight to excuse me sir do you, do you <laughs> need some soup like, like it's, it's ridiculous how badly they age on that planet the original obi-wan he was yeah. old as shit in the very first one, right? Yeah, but you know, there's a new Obi Wan mini series where we get to see the period of time before he got old. They they keep filling in the gaps uh, everywhere. They they want to make new content. I don't know where Disney stock is right now, but I keep hearing. So I get recommended a lot of YouTube videos from sort of right wing entertainment mm-hmm. YouTubers who really hate woke content and go on about it a lot. So they're just foaming at the mouth about the Kathleen Kennedy stuff and the Panderverse stuff with South Park. And they're, they're all these quotes from the Disney executives that they, they knew that it was coming, but they had no idea it was going to be like this. And people are very upset. Um, it's uh, it's really fun. To, I'm the, missing the, the some MCU. background. So yeah. South Park is doing Pandaverse. They're making fun of the left, I assume. They're making fun of Kathleen Kennedy specifically and Disney. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know who Kathleen Kennedy is. She's a Disney. Uh, she runs the Star Wars movies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Doing a bad she's and, and 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 well, she runs Disney. I think I think she's like she's on the she's the one. Uh, well, what Eric says is you know she's the one who's put a chick in it, make it lame and gay, right? Every time mm-hmm. a, a new project comes, ah, put a chick in it, make it lame and gay. Put a chick in it, make it lame and gay. That's what she keeps saying over and over. So apparently they're very mm-hmm. upset about that. But of course, all of the YouTube is loving it. They're calling it the MCU. Uh, you know, the Marvels just came out, and apparently that had like a forty-five million dollar opening weekend, which is. Like the worst. Yeah. The it's critics say the it's worst. terrible, and the box office is terrible. I haven't million. heard what people are saying, but I guess terrible. Everyone. It's going to be hard to get a real review because the people who will go to the Marvels, which is like a girl power, you know, uh, we got a brown, we got a brown girl, a black girl, and a white girl superheroes, and uh, and and I've seen some clips of it that looked like that look very silly and like they're not taking things very seriously, which is you know where I get diverted away from i don't care if they got a pussy or not you don't like she hawk um, dancing i didn't watch a second of that i you <laughs> know i either. thought no. they made meg the stat look meg, that was meg the stallion that she was dancing with who I, I don't know i didn't know who she was before i saw her uh dancing with the she hawk and she looked like one of those black chicks who's a little too heavy in that clip and mm. then i looked up what meg the stallion looks like and she is incredible I'm, I'm now I'm a Meg the Stallion fan. Wait, I don't give a fuck about She Hulk. That's that's that shit's stupid. But Meg the Stallion, mm. I, I, I'm a big fan of her. She Hulk does sound stupid. She, she, does she even do anything other than regular Hulk? She's They've already attorney. got a regular Hulk. She's an attorney, Taylor. She's She Hulk oh, at law. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, <laughs> yeah. I, I hate that. Yeah, that's what you need. An, you need an attorney when uh, Stark was, is on your team. <laughs> it was it was roasted. People said it was terrible. I didn't oh, yeah. see it. There's the dancing. Like, dude, this like is if you put too... if you put me in charge of the MCU, I don't think I could do worse as a director. Oh, you do better. And, no, I mean like because I would be trying to make it insufferable to destroy the trend. <laughs> and I don't. I think if I saw this, I'd be like, I, don't, I need to quit because my ideas are too. My bad ideas are too good. It wouldn't <laughs> have crossed my mind to be like, have She Hulk twerk. What's she supposed to be like? Six ten, green, not as I... not even as strong as regular Hulk. No, no, True. she threw regular Hulk around right away. They had to establish dominance. Oh, oh wait, are you sure about that? Because I, 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 I saw, I don't know, I saw a clip of her sure. like, 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 like somebody he got hit by a car. Maybe she hit him with a car. I didn't watch the show. I, I, what mm. I was getting at from the beginning is like, I, I'm, I haven't watched any of the most yeah, recent batch of Disney stuff or animated stuff. What I am watching, and it's wonderful, of course, is Invincible. Invincible. I've, I've seen the first two episodes of the Me season. Too. Um. They, I, I was really worried that they weren't going to keep the animation quality up to like a, a decent level because they're hour long episodes. Which no is, change as far as I can tell. I've seen little, you know, the, the fans point out mm-hmm. on the on their subreddit, like you know, little little things here and there. But it's nitpicky shit. Uh, okay. it, it's not stuff that you would notice in the grand scheme of things. Um, I hate that they're doing a multiverse thing, mm-hmm. but that's taken right from their comics. So. So be it. I'm just tired of multiverse shit. Everybody's got a fucking multiverse. I'm tired of it. Well, they got to get Iron Man back in the mix. This to... is invincible. Oh, so it's a different it's, universe. It doesn't. It has been connected to the Marvel universe in the past. What? We're not going to touch on that. That's what I it. meant. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No. Um, <laughs> Taylor is referring to a little known piece of minutia. <laughs> yeah, we once you, saw <laughs> uh, the same ping pong ball that was in Iron Man. Yeah, your like looking... knowledge is upsetting. 
<laughs> I'm looking forward to Mark dumping the black chick and starting to date the 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 pink superhero Eesh. girl. Yeah, like 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 why would you mess around? That black chick is such a fucking downer. All right, oh, yeah. Mark Mark will go like save Mount Rushmore or some shit from the si Doctor Seismic, and mm -hmm. and she'll be like, "We're supposed to be studying. I can't be your girlfriend if you're gonna be like running off at the drop of the hat and like." Being mis fighting Dr. Seismic. Like, you've got to make time for me, Mark. It's about priorities. Am I crazy? Because she did that in season one. Season two, she's been nothing but supportive. What's she no? still around for? What? Oh, she's even when he like flew her to Las Vegas, she's, she's still got that sort of like, I guess that's what it's like dating a superhero. She should be like, go get him, honey. Win for humanity. She should be, she should know that if he fails, we all die most of the time. Like, like why are you? The idea that you would prioritize your, your personal relationship or some little vacation or some trip that had been promised to you or a fucking night out on the town or a dinner date or whatever the fuck, that that trivial nonsense would even pop into my head if my girlfriend was Captain America and she needed to go fight Captain Cyclops for all of our freedom. I'd be like, good God, who cares about dinner, honey? I'll, I'll have it cooked when you get home. Just beat, beat, beat Captain Cyclops. I hate that black chick. I can't wait. She's going to die. Mark my words. Mark my words. She dies. How she that die. against her dying? She's gonna I die, and Mark's gonna go super scion and like a lovely it. like that thing where you said that. So he flew, he covered her eyes, and he flew her somewhere, and then she Thanks. finds herself on the top of the Eiffel Tower, and she's like, "Did you take me to France?" And he's like, mm -hmm. "No, not exactly. He took her to Vegas on the mini Eiffel Tower." He's like, "If I flew you that fast, your skin would fall off." And she's like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is better." <laughs> and uh, uh, and then like. 90 seconds into their date he has to leave mm -hmm. and uh she's like yeah it's okay you know that's what it's like to do a superhero so yeah. i don't remember so it like of, kyle but i might be wrong so, so the premise of this season is that in almost every other universe mark sided with his father and the viltrumites and with his father conquered the earth um for the viltrumites and uh very very rarely do you have that good mark who says no and not only disobeys his father, but doesn't really defeat him, but drives him off the planet nonetheless through, you know, like heartache or whatever, whatever sentimentalism and love. Uh, but so that's the premise of this season. And you've got this uh, this one guy who's fucked up the uh, the the multiverse. And now he's decided he's going to kill Mark. And the, the, the thing he did at the end of last episode is really neat. He went to a universe where they had evil Mark, but they beat him. He goes to the universe where, it, 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 and he finds Mark in this giant machine. He's got huge arms that hold each of his limbs, you know, like so he can't move. And, he, and, and he's like, how did they beat you? And Mark's like, oh, they ambushed Dad with some sort of experimental quantum bombs. Took out most of Europe. Me, they just wore me down. I had to sleep eventually, and there were too many of them. And he's like, interesting. Good to know. And he, like, makes his porter and leaves. Because, you know, he's trying to get the, you know, he wants to kill more Marks. He wants to kill the other good Mark that... He should just live there. More. His dream was already seen. Uh, he's already got bigger realized. dreams. He's got bigger dreams. It wasn't just to kill Mark. So you know, see the, the multiverse thing as kind of a, oh, we need we need a nice little out. I just don't... Uh, like, I, it, it can be it can be used and misused. Marvel Marvel is going to use it to bring back a bunch of white guys so that their stock price will come back up. Mark my words, Iron Man. They've already like agreed. Like like they're going to bring Robert Downey Jr. back. He was on the Rogan show, and Rogan's like, "You ever going to go back and like do another?" And he's like, "I'm dead. I'm dead." No, they must have backed the dump truck up with fucking money for Robert Downey Jr. The if he's Brinks coming truck. back. So they're going to have to use the multiverse. It's a it's a fucking and it can be the point of the show it can be all about like like sliders for example great mm -hmm. multiverse show every episode we go to a new universe rick and morty is a, is a fun multiverse show but the, but marvel i think is just going to use it as a crutch so that no one ever dies so that nothing ever matters and i hate that mm -hmm. because i like actions having consequences i like when you when iron man gave his life at the end of that movie to save everyone that was a big deal he got, I mean, they don't really like go into it, but he must, he's burnt. He's all crispy in that suit, right? He's all, it's like melted to his flesh and he's being roasted alive while he's like, Hey, nice to know you guys. Mm -hmm. Not in a lot of pain right now. So don't worry about, don't feel bad for him. It's like he's roasted. He's all I sooty. He just, uh, like, psh, like they poofed away into like geometric shapes. Yeah. And, and putting all that power through that glove because he's just a human man. Burnt no, no. Him inside Taylor's out, conflating. Like a 
the snap where everyone turned into dust. Yeah. But Iron Man did not turn into dust. Only half the people did, uh. and he was in the lucky half. Iron Man died by snapping everything back to right. Mm -hmm. But apparently that takes a lot out of a snapper. So unless you're the Incredible Hulk or Thanos, you're dead. Yeah, even I mean, even we've already Hulk, established he, it, like, he could have just snapped and doubled the number of planets, doubled the amount Thanos of Thanos could have done anything. Right. Yeah. Well, and we've also already talked about that the reason that they went through that storyline is because it's not what happens in the comics. In the comics, he doesn't snap to make extra food because he doesn't give a fuck about like the balance. He's trying to impress the female incarnation of death itself. He's trying to look, look at this. Boom. Half of creation is yours now. Like you want to suck some dick now? Like that's literally he's after some pussy. And he's trying to blow this chick's oh, mind what a like loser. half of existence. I mean, you know, mm. everybody's got their reasons. And then does death kill him? I I I don't. I hope know he gets his dick again. sucked. I hope it works out. <laughs> yeah, I hope she it, sucks. You went life. through a lot. She's of She's really hot though. Like, gives like, him the like, best mm. head ever and just sucks his soul out, and then he shuffles remember. up. It's probably like Mistress Death or something like that. It's it. She See, Taylor, like, you would do yeah, better big, than the MC. Yeah, he, he's, he, it's just Thanos going. Oh, oh, and then, <laughs> then he dissipates around. It was yeah. worth it. Yeah. His lock and load shoots a hole through the back of her brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that is yeah. that death? That, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's Thanos and his lady. Not yeah, a worth it. Pretty mid. Yeah, this is not a great uh, <laughs> um, example, uh, frankly. I would probably have used Very a modern witch, comic. Witch of the West E. Yeah, and if you, it, like, Thanos could have just. Like I snapped. drew that one. She looks worse there. That's... She does. Thanos is Indeed. uglier too. Oh, wait, is she on um, fucking Deadpool's Deadpool. lap? Yeah. Does yeah, I, there's definitely a storyline where he's involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't read comics or anything, but I watch YouTube videos about comics. And, what are her uh, tits made of in this? I don't well, know. That's a good question. Because <laughs> I was like, look at her. There's no way she has no flesh, right? So there's no tongue. There's no lips. Yeah. Her head game's terrible. And downstairs can only be worse. Yeah, that's an absolute Titty fucking nightmare. her is the only choice. And not going to get like, pregnant, at least. Those are just water mm. balloons tied up. Like there's They all there's, are. There's, yeah, I could they make all work. are. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, nice. Oh, they're titty, just water titty. balloons. What do you wish up? titties were made out of? Like, 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 if you could pick something to come out of titties when a woman wasn't pregnant, like, Jeez. like, all right, if a lady's pregnant, milk comes out. But what should come out of them when she's not pregnant? Cheese. Yeah. Uh, what he says. Uh, okay. I cheese. love cheese, but I don't know if I want a woman's titty it's cheese just curdling right, now, milk. Maybe like. Are we diet? talking about that cheese that's like it? from the can that you like? No. Ew. Cheese whiz. No, could like, you like bend the nipple and get a cracker up there? Like, tss. no, because all the good cheeses would have to be more solid, and I don't want chunks of gouda falling out of her now ruined. Nipple Imagine if talking. taking cheese out of her boobs, like, to, oh, you guys might not know this. You probably do. When a when a woman breastfeeds, she cuts a lot of fat. Like that, she is giving her fat to that baby. So women will enthusiastically breastfeed, knowing it's better than fucking hitting the gym in terms of losing the baby weight. Mm -hmm. Uh. But if this existed all the time, if every time you sucked on her nipples, she like got a little skinnier, I feel like she'd be really interested in providing this service. That's true. If it's like it's just a cholesterol dispenser, like yeah. it's just if sucking yeah. on my nipples gave me abs, I'd invite you both over. Oh, suck me up, boys! Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to do cardio. I'm trying to get my nips sucked and and be shredded. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I'd if I'm talking pure pleasure, I'd have. But you'd be. During the show, you'd hear this round, round, round. <laughs> like, I'm pumping, boys. We'd both have, we'd all have those pumps on. Because <laughs> we'd be trying to get ripped and be cool. I really uh -huh. thought somebody was going to say, like, like, coffee Pepsi out of one side and hot cocoa out of diet, the other. Diet Pepsi would be a good one. Because think about it. Now her tits are carbonated. They're even bigger. They're, like, perkier. Or if you shake diet, them up, they start, you shake her titties and they start spewing everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it'd be fun. <laughs> To be sticky, you shake them up and like they they get grow for a bit because the carbonation's yeah yeah that'd be oh, it'd be yeah. like a fountain like an old like fountain drink that needs to be refilled every once in a while and go <laughs> like where it doesn't uh, come out right. <laughs> Am I crazy yeah. or would just cold water be nice? You're crazy. No, I've got access to cold water already. Yeah, not like, in well, I guess I've got access. Like to every room in my house has some in it. You know, I just want to so. like like imagine you're hot and sweaty and just like. Shh. I want Gatorade in there. No, you like know what? Body bottle. armor. Like the better Gatorade. Body armor light. It's like never Gatorade but with better shit in it. It I've tastes never better had than Gatorade this. too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like taking it calories. Hot the, uh, the light kind has like 10 calories for like 32 yeah. ounces, but it's like, unlike Gatorade, Gatorade just has a little bit of salt in it. 
and that's it. Like mm -hmm. this has like potassium and some Dude. sodium and all the. It's got what plants the, crave. It's got what plants crave. <laughs> what plants crave is carbon, <laughs> and so we need to be encouraging all these volcanoes to just pop already, fill the world with carbon for bigger plants. Isn't that why? Yeah. It's literally what plants crave. Like it's like the, the carbon. They, don't, they don't, crave like carbon? nitrogen. Nitrogen. Yeah. They want they they pull a carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Oh, yeah, but to a less, you know, a little. I, I think really nitrogen and photosynthesis, little little sunshine. I think I think carbon dioxide hydrogen. is a part of what plants crave, right? You know, some They plant. need it. Then they turn it into oxygen for us and we get a nice lungful. I mean, mm -hmm. that is a thing. I don't mean to, to pretend extent. I've never heard that. I I just don't know nah, that there's any... If up. you want to turbocharge a plant, you don't give it more carbon dioxide. You give it more nitrogen. True. Yeah, you give it nitrogen in the... It would be grow. hard to give a plant more CO2. I wonder just what the perfect ratio it. would be for plant life because, you know, like if you had a plant in a little pressurized chamber, you could get the tent. right mixture. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I, I, I saw a thing on Reddit the other day that said that if you took a, a lung full of pure oxygen, you could hold your breath for some extended amount of time. And I was like, really? Like, how does that work? Because like, I would be afraid that if I took a lung full of pure oxygen, like maybe I'd pass out or yeah, like, you probably over oxygenate high, right? or something. But they made it seem like, all right, now you got like four minutes. So of like activity or something with that one lung. This full. warrants testing. It's easy to get oxygen. I think you can bite on the pure shelf. oxygen yes. though. Yeah. Why? What do you think I was talking about? I don't know. I bootleg I, crappy oxygen. Yeah. Maybe you're getting, <laughs> maybe you're getting like oxygen light because like the air around us has certainly isn't pure oxygen. Twenty-two percent or eighteen percent yeah. or something. No. Here I'm looking at on Amazon. You can buy it. So the reason I know a little bit about this is. Uh, paramotor people who like to go to high altitudes will wear one of those O2 meters on their finger and carry pure oxygen. And then if they get to the point where their O2 is dropping to like 86 or something bad, then they know to breathe the pure oxygen. Now that all assumes that they make good decisions with low O2 in their bloodstream, which sometimes yeah. people don't. But yeah, it's a paramotor thing. And you can get oxygen here. Look, I'll just on Amazon. Here's a link. Oh, I've seen those. They have like scented or flavored or something. I don't believe oxygen. that. I don't believe them. I want someone to take like a, a gas spectrometer, like whatever device you'd use to measure what, what's actually in Probably those cans and, and, and figure out what, how, what's in there. Because I just don't believe them. You think it's not nearly as much oxygen? I think they're just putting air in there. I think they're putting air in there. It's that guy. Oh. That guy. Has that guy ever been involved in a scam? That's the, <laughs> That's the pillow guy. <laughs> no, that's wait. The, where's the pillow guy? No, the, it's the uh, Shark Tank guy. Hmm. Boost oxygen. Huh. All right. Well, let's let's buy oxygen and see if it makes us better. Well, it at almost looks, it, it, it doesn't look like it's meant to be sprayed into your like mouth, though. You know what I mean? It looked like it, it does. There's a picture of some dude doing it. Yeah, you scroll down. Oh. Uh, the one I was looking at looked more like a Febreze can. Yeah. Like you'd be. It's like, like a it it's like a Kurt Cobain administering device where you kind oh, of just just put it in your mouth your, and pull the trigger. Put your toe on the trigger and yeah, you put your toe trigger. on the trigger of your oxygen container and it's, it, it's where you drink up. too much and then Courtney Can you show that picture over Zach? when nobody's around and I heard that I heard yeah. that from from you I think and I trust you that yeah. Courtney Love she I didn't, didn't like that. him and hmm. or did she not? Well, there are a lot of people who think Courtney Love um, did him and but who knows. You know? See, that's how you you breathe from it, and that's that's what... a lot to carry around. He should open his eyes. Yeah. Yes. One hundred percent. It's like when I'm eating a banana, eyes peeled. Like mm -hmm. you don't you don't eat a banana with your eyes closed, like some fucking weirdo. You, similarly, when you're, Wait, I'm not sure what's it. more gay. It, it, if he made eye contact with me while he did that, would it be don't less make gay? Eye contact, well, you can't see, but, but the rest of the photo is he's on his knees. <laughs> like, 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 like don't close your eyes like you're enjoying it so much you can't even he's like a dog is getting his belly scratched right do now do you think afterward you go like <sighs> like refreshed I mean, i'm really tempted to try this shit i wish it wasn't a little expensive i've i've definitely gotten a can of it before and and noticed nothing that's why I'm oh like you've so tried it. the shit on it not necessarily that brand but i've definitely ordered cans of oxygen before and um, what, what did you I feel nothing I felt how much off. did you breathe? 
I felt hurt. Advantage. I felt <laughs> lied to. <laughs> <laughs> I felt let on, cheated. Uh, so like you were you really dollars lighter? I don't remember what I was doing with. I think I was combining it with weed, like because like after you take a really hard dab, you feel like you're dying. I think I was like hitting the O2. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> That's I so do cool. not know how to smoke weed. It is incredibly difficult. I, if you just like put it in your mouth a little bit, like, then yeah. you don't get high. Yeah. If you breathe it and like, like that '70s show, then you're. Let me help you. Wait, we'll, we'll, we'll walk you down the road. I've had girl. I used to have. So I've had a girlfriend who couldn't do this as well, and I would baby bird her. You know, I would get so. Without, I'm gonna do this. I'm with my vape without using my lungs, and I'm I'm using the, the the sucky part, but I'm filling the back of my throat and like back here. I'm imagining this part of my like throat filling, and I'm. So I so I've got a lot of vapor that I've got, but I, it's trapped like in my mouth and you know like the back of my throat, and then I inhale that, and it by doing that I don't just straight to my lung hot. This is a vape, so it wouldn't matter. But if you're like smoking a bowl, like marijuana, or you're hitting well, a, even a, vapes a joint, are harsh. If you they like, can be. So you what know, you need but, to do to reduce the harshness there is because you were talking about like just holding the joint or whatever, and then like sucking on it to get it in, or like breathing straight to your lungs. Don't yeah. seal your lips around the joint or the blunt entirely to where all the air you're getting is through the blunt. Leave like a crack in your lips on either side so that you're hitting it and you're also getting oxygen at the same time. So like it's not a lip sealed around the blunt. There's kind of, you know, blunts here and you're inhaling off it, but there's also a little space in your lips here to where it's being joined by regular air. It dilutes it a mm. bit. You might need to smoke a little more, but you won't cough as much and then finish every hit by continuing to be like <gasps> just with regular air. And that that will help because if you just take a rip, with no nothing but weed, like it's it's gonna be. You ever shot? You're gonna cough with somebody. Have. Like have them blow the other side. I had. Oh little... no, I haven't done that. I had a shotgun in college. One of those t glass tubes that you load the bowl on top and you put your hand here on it and then you Ooh. fill it up and then you remove your hand. It's like a bong, but with no water to cool it, and so it's the absolute worst experience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's terrible. In movies, I've seen them like blow on the hot part while the other person sucks on, and I'm like. Are y'all just trying to like apply gayness? Is that what I'm supposed to get from this? Because there's no way I'm doing this with another dude. Like we're we all want to get high here, but not that bad. Come on. Yeah, no, just smoke like an adult. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's how you do it. You and even with the vape, like leave a little more space in your in your lips so that you're not just getting the vape juice, you're getting the vape plus some regular good old. I never oxygen. considered that. Yeah. It'll help. I a lot of like smoky, vapey things. Because we have all these sponsors. And I always hit the gummies and I never hit anything else. And now I have oh. a drawer full filled with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it is. Gummies are, are strong as shit. Man, I'm excited for trivia again tonight. Oh, me too. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to string together see? another win. I got a winning franchise. As long as you guys mm -hmm. keep asterisk, way asterisk. too much. No asterisk at all. Oh, at every, all. What, Woody, asterisk, right? We all agreed. Oh, asterisk! Oh, yeah, dude. Kyle and I outvoted you. Ch Chiz said asterisk, and Woody and I both went like added like thumbs up, double thumbs up, and Taylor Taylor didn't reply for a day and a half after that. He took it so seriously. Did I? Did I? No, I made no. all that up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about either. <laughs> God, you're, you're like. I was like, damn, me? did I sometimes I miss conversations? I guess I missed that one. <laughs> no, no, no asterisk. That, that one's you, locked you in the books. Fair and square. Locked, lock and key, <laughs> sealed in the record books. Victory. <laughs> did you see that uh that little white dude get stomped to death uh by that giant crowd of black people? I did see that. Like mm, it was yeah. uh they charged eight of them with murder. Yeah. Thirteen it, to it, 17, 13 to eighteen in the ages. Seems like um, the right call. They they did murder him. They did murder him. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I, I will say this, and I, I don't want you to take this the wrong way or anything, but I'm going to say, mm. if I see a, a mob's the wrong word, if I see a gaggle, a, a gaggle of black folks who are agitated, who have been stolen from allegedly, and they are like, hey, did you steal from us to this, this third party? Man, I'm not going to run away, but I'm definitely walking away. 
And if I hear anything about a mayo monkey or a honky or a cracker, then I'm going to start running. I know they're faster, but I've got a good lead, you know? And I'm- <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't try and be like, yeah, don't get me started. I He robbed me too. We're yeah. all in this together, gang. Don't kill me. What, what I'm never doing is injecting myself into that scenario because i know what will happen yes. um there's something about and i and i learned this early in school if you get into a fight with a black person their friends will jump in immediately and beat you <laughs> senseless if you get into a fight with a white person we will all watch for the outcome and cheer we're like Amer- we're like american fans in the ufc we don't cheer for the flag we cheer for the fighter okay that's how white people view altercations Black folks, are, they root for the home team, okay? And there ain't nothing wrong with that, all right? I wish we were more like you, okay? I wish it. I wish I could count on three dudes that look like Taylor just jumping in for no fucking reason if I were to get, you know, someone's beating me up in the street. Mm. Not going to happen, though. However, mm. if, you know, if a brown person's getting their rights trounced upon or, oh, heaven forbid, their face, a bunch of his friends will just show up. They'll just coalesce. Um, and that's what happened. These guys coalesced, <laughs> coalesced. all over. <laughs> they coalesced like all phantoms. over this, <laughs> Just this, this. this poor kid. And he doesn't, I'll say this, and, and he's dead, so it's awful to say, but like he didn't look like the type to have been able to hold his own against, uh, against one ten or people? two or yeah. three opponents. Like one would have been plenty, but they used like 12. And they just stomped him out like something in a movie until he was dead. That, you know, yeah, you got, you that's got a lot of stomping. They took him all the way to death. I mean, he must have been in bad shape and still getting hit. There's a video. Yeah, yeah they beat him to death. Like, so you gotta you gotta lock those guys up. You can't have people beating people to death. What you Hillary called society? Deplorables. Super predators. Oh, super. You gotta predators. go back to when she was. Saying that's what that's the, what Jeffrey Epstein was. A super predator. Just hmm. preying on children. What was his <laughs> Just, superpower? His superpower was getting away with it. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I can control physics. I can hang myself off of a bunk bed with tearaway clothes. You'll never <laughs> catch me. Yeah. I can make cameras turn off anytime I want. <laughs> I can summon jacked cops who hate me into my cell. A lot of bad powers he had at the end. <laughs> Poor yeah. Jeffrey Epstein. We'll never know what happened to him. We'll, we'll never know what happened. And I think they got him. I think they got him. I think, too. I think he was about is, to I think start they, singing like a bird, and they shut that right down. Yeah, they shut him up. That's the that's the way to put it. Because saying they got him, it's like you can almost root for that. But no, like we we wanted this guy to. We wanted a Nuremberg type situation yeah. where we put him on in the middle of a room, and we started, everybody gets a turn at asking him some questions. Yeah, we wanted some, <laughs> we some wanted names that. named. Because the powers didn't want that. His, his girl's still alive, and she's not saying mm-hmm. a word. She's yeah. not saying nothing. I and bet, she's I, just, is she just chilling, or is she in jail? In they jail. got her. Maxwell. Yeah. She's in jail, and I, as far as I know, she hasn't told on anybody. Mm, or she even, if she, I want, even, if they, even if she did tell... We might not even hear about it. Might be some real powerful folks got their fingers in the media, keeping us from knowing. Like the same people that got Carol Baskins. The maybe even more powerful. No, I don't <laughs> think anyone got her. That's possible. <laughs> cap out. That's cap out. That's ST when you get the Carol Baskins. Remember when that that guy ran for senator or something like like um the the real Tiger King. I feel bad for him every presidential election because he'll have like a limo sent to the prison in case the president pardons him at the, because usually at the end of their term, you do some last minute pardons. It's weird to me that they wait to the end. It's, it's like you're admitting that what you're doing is kind of a weird, ho ho, I'm out the door and you can't say anything bad about this, that, and the other. Hoo, hoo, see you later. Right. And there's a lot of other news to cover, right? A new president like getting his night. job today. Yeah. yeah absolutely. They shroud it. Mr. President, did you have, did you pardon these people because you weren't? proud of the of, of the of the actions themselves like why why not do this three months ago when we could have shined the light on it it could have been the whole week's story that you pardoned yeah. the tiger king or whoever well, well i think the real question is is my successor democrat uh he also would have pardoned the pedophile island woman it's mm-hmm. like oh okay now it's, we're doing it's, this the, the pardons are always really weird to me it, it's like we're okay with you pardoning it no one ever says boo about it like can you believe that this person was pardoned because both teams do it they pardon people but they do it at the end. Why not do it at the beginning? That's what I. That's what I foresee. That, uh, Remember I when the Joker about- freed everybody in the prison, or maybe it was Bane, whatever one of those movies, and he, he's like, 
now you are my soldiers. Like something yeah. like that. That's that's what the president needs to do. Trump gets in again and he's like, I'm releasing every felon from Maine to Florida, from Oregon to California in exchange for your service. And then he's got a Washington's like, what the guys. fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, why'd you start at Oregon, you <laughs> asshole? <laughs> you know, it's, it's not those yeah. Washington folks. We're not releasing them. It's not going to happen. They're despicable. The They're Northwest. disgusting. Ask anyone. <laughs> Yeah. I think he said he was going to pardon pardon the people from January sixth, but he didn't. I was just thinking about yeah, he didn't that. even like, do why, that. But like he, when he's president again, he should have. Yeah, I'm sure he'll say that, but I don't know if he will. Like it, it's a real one sided loyalty with Trump. Can he yeah. pardon them before they've been charged with crimes? Yes, you can preemptively pardon. Man, them. that's such a good. How skill. does that work? Or ability. Uh, you literally I can you. give like blanket pardons for shit. Matt Gates tried to get one too. He's like, you know, I was kind of on your side on this. Can you give me a pardon for anything that might be coming up? I wonder if you can like spend them, like hold on to that pardon a little bit. How could that work though? There's no way that it has to be for something specific. There's no way that you can just be like, hey, uh, Woody, <laughs> I'm president. I'm, 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 today's my last day. Woody's good. What do you mean? For what? Whatever. Whatever what comes. Do? Whatever, yeah, whatever he did, does, will do, ever did, he's good on that. I'm going to read no this. Way it's like that. A federal pardon can be issued prior to the start of a legal case or inquiry, prior to any indictments being issued for unspecified offenses, and prior to or after a conviction for a federal crime. The unspecified offense part, like, damn. Yeah, they can just do anything. That's Here, pretty cool. Ford pardoned. Nixon for all offenses against the United States, which he has committed or may have committed. Like that's blanket pardon shit. No. Yeah. Okay. No, that's different. Uh, like, like anything he did against America or may do. Like, okay. So Trump could have done that. Anything they do against, and it would be smart wording to use this, the same wording that had previously been used. That yeah, that's the move. See, but he doesn't think like that. He's such a goober. God damn it. I wish he were smarter. Who do you think? He I wish he was as smart as we pretend he is, because it's funny. That's what, like, <laughs> really that was did. the DeSantis appeal. It was like I'm Trump, but better at this job. Like I, I'm, I, president wouldn't be DeSantis's first job in politics. Like yeah. he wouldn't. You know, he would know more players. He would get loyalists right away. Stuff he's like just, that. He's just so not charismatic. The yeah. the boots like lifts thing like that shit matters like when you optically look like a fucking goober idiot like that. Did you see his tongue smile? In. Did you did you see the? Attention <laughs> yeah, there? I was just doing doing his awkward. What what yeah. do you do? <laughs> when he smiles, he accidentally sticks his tongue out, so it looks a little like this. Yeah. Oh, no, bring up a picture of Desantis. This guy's an the idiot. This guy's a fucking a loser. You need a gif of you it. You need a gif of the Desantis though, because. Smile. Because here's what it is. I like, like that Ramus Swammy guy more than DeSantis. And I don't know anything about Ramus. When you're on camera, like especially when like there's a bunch of cameras around the room and more than likely all of them are on you, you're kind of on your guard to like put your best face forward to everyone. And like there's this moment where he realizes it's it's like a self-awareness moment that, oh yeah, that camera's that good one. Let's give him a little let's give him a little blue steel. <laughs> 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 and it's this man, it comes off as it's one of the clips that people use and they're like lizard person much <laughs> it's just a little awkward you know and, and look why does he look I, like I he's would... hurting did someone just because he's him? been standing on his toes oh. for an hour and a half <laughs> his calves are burning <laughs> man and my toes so that's the that one that zach found is a great one by the way i know it exactly it was from the presidential debates look at this one from a random interview uh zach can you bring it up and play it uh, it, it, he just adds four times as much tongue. It's a weird little tick. Did you see it? Yeah, he's he's really licking his lips. Oh shit, he's a reptilian for sure. <laughs> he's a, he's definitely a reptile person. He's like a dog. Like after they drink, when they have to like collect the bits off of their their <laughs> lips. Yeah, that it, it's like that guy just that. sucks. I just I can't even look at that guy without being like viscerally embarrassed. Like he I mean, just a, he sucks at running for president. My issues are more fundamental. Like he took some sort of trendy window dressing issues like woke and trans and made it the foundation of what he wants to do as president of America. Oh, yeah. 
And I'm like, nah, I would really wish you ran on something more substantial than like boys in skirts. Yeah. He seems just like a normal neocon. I'm pretty happy with the boys in skirts uh, camp platform. Let's, let's, okay. Oh okay. yeah. Let, let's 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 do that one. The Finster platform. Oh, if Donald picks fi- it, like a fin boy for his uh, uh, running mate, I was actually talking about this last night. Like the, who the ideal running mate for Donald oh, would Finster. be. Yeah. Um. Well, not a U.S. citizen. North is. He'll get Bud Light. Yeah, but um, he oh, would get Bud Don- Light. <laughs> no, no, Don- I don't think Donald can get Bud Lighted. Dude, you got a bunch I- of Kentucky guys suddenly be like, "Yeah, I, g- I guess I'd fuck her." Like they, <laughs> asked- <laughs> him. they, they asked Donald Trump. They're, they're like, "Donald, uh, Donald, Caitlyn Jenner staying at your at your house tonight? Which uh, which restroom would you would would you think that that Caitlyn should use? You know, trying to fuck him up. He's like, whichever one she fucking wants to." Or something like he just basically said that he's like whatever what she wants to use why would I care or it's yeah. for Caitlyn Jenner's peeing tonight like you people yeah. are crazy he's like at the it's end great. of the day I'm a what New is... York liberal I don't care absolutely <laughs> <is>. yeah <laughs> that would be what is Finster up to what's what's that that fella is he just still making buku bucks on OnlyFans uh, I haven't checked in in a while I haven't seen any content um, I was getting recommended that icky person's um like uh that's 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 finster's girlfriend's name icky um i was getting recommended her content a bunch on reddit and like i hate the new reddit app that i'm forced to use because if you click one link it now thinks that's your jam and i I have to go in and mute all of these subreddits i'm getting all this shit from india and pakistan like cricket stuff because like (laughs) i clicked one thing and now it thinks i love cricket so of course it thinks I love icky. So it's giving me all this icky content. Um, I had to get rid of that as well. I don't need that in my life. Corrupting me, lead me yes. astray. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was uh-huh. seeing a bunch of interactions between Finster and Icky, and I watched them. And I guess, oh, you know what? It, I make a new Reddit account all the time. I don't want anyone to like catch up and be like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Into like paramotors, reef tankings, and pegging. <laughs> Yes. So, <laughs> so, so I'm like, I need to do a count all the time. I don't want anyone following me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I, I don't get Finster content anymore. I guess. Man, I never like use or like I I don't I can't remember the last time I commented on Reddit or even had an account. But I think it would be fun to make an account and just like shit post like misinformation. Like that's just, what Twitter's for. I've got yeah, a true social can- account. Yeah, but I don't think anybody's over on Truth Social. Not really. I only made it because Biden made one, and they were saying that Biden's was doing better than Trump's, and that was a lie. I went over there, and there's like, he's got a few followers, but it's not as many as Trump. Who said obviously. that? You have to be retarded to believe that news. Biden did better than Trump. Followers or the fucking I, news I don't know is... how that could be. Yeah, the news sucks. The, the, the news is full of lies. The, the one that I, I said a few weeks ago, I, I had the idea that Harvard was getting $3 billion a year from the federal government. And you go to the Fox News website, and it amounts to three billion, but it's not just direct money, and it's over three year period or something. And it's like, come on, you could totally misconstrued that, you know? You you made it seem like they're getting a three billion dollar check every year, but no, over the course of three years, including like I, I don't remember all the verbiage, but like tax incentives and grants. There was some weird and, COVID one time additions too. Yeah, and I think there was another college that got even more. It could have been Penn. Mm. What if we um, used oh. our military to like pull off a heist to, to mm. fix our financial woes where we just agreed like not your fucking day, Nigeria, and we rob them <laughs> blind. Like, and, and then we're the American, we're the United States. I'll so be honest Nigeria you. is like, you stole all our shit and our money. And we're like, that's not the way we see it. What if we it's, just told China we weren't paying them back? Uh, no, let's no. I don't know how, know how that would pan out. I'll tell you company. what I would do. Like, like we've got this whole military, and we've got this problem. Like the leading, one of the leading for sure causes of death in America, right? Is fentanyl Bad caused people. by these? Oh, fentanyl, like yeah. that's flowing through these Mexican drug cartels. I think the border needs to be about fifty miles further south, just for security purpose, for national security purposes. I think we need to commandeer about make a DMZ between us and uh, the main cause of American death right now. So I would use the American military to invade mexico and take Mm -hmm. you know set up a dmz on the other side of the rio grande and you know the whole the whole perimeter so take take the whole thing to end that yucatan peninsula thing i've always thought we should have that but this time no no bullshit slat walls is is that what you call that thing off cali what do you you would know better than me i 
I, it might be called that. I call it Baja California. Okay, but I want all that. Name for that? I, well, that I'm do, wrong. Do we do we own the whole thing? The the, the whole peninsula no, that comes down? No, no there's a bit we don't own. That's, we should get that. Yeah, I would want. I've that. been saying that for a while. I, you know, like if you look at the map and you just steal that much um, of California, you can sorry, Cancun is, Mexican coastline. Look how much shorter our border could be. And that, how that's a great idea. I love that, Woody. And <laughs> how much? How much of Canada would we need to take in order for us to be the new biggest country? Oh, instead far of too much. No, far can't much. Get, get real. Like, I love you, Canadians. I love your sport, your national pastime. Great country, second best country, but you're not doing anything with a lot of that land. We could use that, and now we dominate Russia in, because we want to be the bigger country. Why? Because it's cool. Oh, look, look, look. So, I don't know what you're talking about. To, no, so you're what is that body of water to the <laughs> east of Baja? Canada, California, the Gulf of California, the Gulf of California, right? Draw a straight line up there and look at how much less border we'd have to defend. Yeah, Boom. that's Not there. Zach. That get more ambitious. No, Take it to no. the right a little bit. Come on down. Come on Our down. Well, you went too far right, my friend. At the top of uh, Gulf of California, right Come near, on. right north of Sonora, near Nogales. I guess I'm not communicating. Yeah, start at Nogales and uh and, and, and go and west. Go, yeah, go west. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. All and now it. we save a huge we get look at how much more beach line. We get like a whole small Florida worth and of here's more the beaches. Thing. Here's what's beautiful mm -hmm. about that. We cut off that the whole peninsula to land travel. All of their goods have that from Mexico now have to come in through water. And if they want to go through us, they have to pay a some sort of uh little tariff. A fee. Little tariff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't oh, see how sorry, this Mexico. You're they not. You're just sending to their own people into our country. Them. I'd like no, that. We're, we're playing with. We're playing. How about we go? We want a real small border. How about we just draw it right north of Mexico City? <laughs> we just <laughs> take. You don't want to. No. Then we got to look after all those awful people that we, that live in wall. A uh -oh. second wall. <laughs> a second wall up near the <laughs> below them. And then we keep the Guatemala because we don't want Guatemalans in our new in our New Mexico. Oh, heaven forbid. No, yeah, that's what we call it. We call it New New Mexico. I was just thinking, you beat, we're racing yeah. to that. <laughs> <laughs> new yeah. New Mexico, yeah. And I think we need a lot more land than that in order for us to compete in biggest country with Russia. I think Russia we, has we us beat by the, a lot. We, Actually, Canada uh, has us beat, which country? is, un, yeah, they're the biggest Are by you sure far. Canada's bigger than America? Canada, yeah, it goes Russia, Canada, us, and then China right after us. So yeah, Canada has us beat in landmass. And so if for nothing other than like we should be the biggest because we're the best. That's like if we froze a big chunk of the Pacific Ocean and claimed it, you know, we'd be big too. All that shit they have is useless. You look at the population density map of Canada and you'll quickly realize there's a lot of useless Canada. Yeah, they're not using it. We could find something to do They there. can't use it. It's drill, Eskimo drill, territory. Drill. It's not useless Canada. It's useless Canadians with no imagination. If that was America, that'd be productive land. We'd be drilling. You've seen Montana? <laughs> I yeah. have seen Montana. In Mon what are they There's doing in Montana? Montana? Hey, yeah. They're trying to drill. They're trying to get you shit. Seen North Dakota? Like, come on! Like, we've got big ter big swaths of. Kyle's right. Land. I've we been to these places and there's nothing there. Dude, you're a fucking communist, Kyle. You don't want us to be the biggest country. You uh, want Taylor's winning me over. Yeah, Kyle Steve. Is a commie. You I want us to be pinko I, bitch. I heard of it a Russian accent. <laughs> I want us. I want some better property. You're wanting some frozen tundra. I'm saying let's take some of those Caribbean Isles. Cuba looks juicy. Why are we putting up oh, with a communist regime 10, 90 miles of off the Adam. coast of Miami? Bomb them. We could kill every Cuban that exists in a nightfall. You know, if we just use some some of our advanced weaponry, we maybe a ruin bunch. Cuba. We don't want to rule no, over the no, ashes. We ruin, we, no, no, no. We use a virus bomb. That's I, that's going to go ruin wrong? Cuba. No, it's going to ruin Cubans. Yeah, but it's then gonna how are we save gonna go Cuba. In there. <laughs> Cuba. We're here to save you from the communists. We're in gas. We're in the whole problem with Cuba is the Cubans. Oh, we are. Wait, I have an idea. Um, yes. Shit. Does it involve genocide? 90. And... It's a hundred. Shit. A hundred miles. A hundred miles from the Key West to Cuba. If you were to attack it by paramotors, and the wind was right, some of you would make it. 
Oh. Huh? Just a, a Bay of Pigs fiasco. <laughs> just a bunch of men drowning in their own twine <laughs> in the sea. A bunch of men with range anxiety barely making it. To They're Cuba. calling it and, the and Bay it's of Flying <laughs> Pigs. It's, it's the U.S. We military, so every American single paraloader. Drown in the water is just <laughs> offshore. Every paramotor costs us a billion dollars because it's our military. My friend is a paramotor trainer. He's trained the U.S. Army. Like they come in. I have a couple of guys who've done this and uh, they pay a lot for the training. And to them, one of the beauties is that paramotors are so cheap. You can just leave them there. Mm. And I'm like, it's like 15 grand to equip a paramotor with a reserve chute and a wing that you just leave behind. Mm -hmm. But 15 grand in the military is. His goggles just, cost way more than that. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. like something you'd leave on the yeah. beach. Yeah. I, I saw the Navy SEALs have this new fucking like craft. It, it can be like a sup. First of all, you're, you're sitting in it. It looks like an amusement park ride. You know what I mean? Like you're, it kind of comes up to your waist and you're you know sticking what it's called? Out the top. If you search Navy SEAL um, personal submersible, you, you might find it. There's like six or eight guys in this thing and it can like, it can turn into a full submarine, but they're in there with scuba on. Like just like blah, 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 looking at each other as they cruise under the water, but it can also be like partially submerged or it can be on the water. I think that they, I don't know what it comes out of, but it's like a landing craft or a traveling craft for seals. A seal delivery vehicle. Oh, my link isn't going to work, but that's what I want. I think that's it. I, I, yeah, that, that looks similar to what I saw when I saw it. There were like six guys in it, and they were showing it from the side, so it kind of looks different. shitty. What are you talking about? Like it doesn't. I, maybe I'm not getting the full picture. What does it, it get me? No, nope, there's like the full picture. A little handheld propeller that scuba divers have. Yeah, yeah. you hold on. Does that, that make thing? sense? Yeah, yeah. Taylor, you see it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's well, like a little range. propeller. Man, maybe you're right. Yeah, but maybe if they're like uh, looking for range, they'd probably want a real submarine. Well, they, they it comes out of a real submarine. So so we're all in our wow. real submarine, part, like hidden under the water, and we're like, all right, we're gonna send the boys in. Get them in the little sub, and then they inject them into the water, and it beep, 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 comes up. And then they're, we're, now we're like cruising in our stealthy. I bet it's quiet and has range and stuff. Yeah, or I bet. yeah, it's probably. It neat. must feel so good to be a Navy SEAL and be like, they just spent a stupid amount of money to get me into this place. Yeah, like, and, you don't, would... and you don't have to shave. Yeah. And then... Oh, that's a big. That's a big plus. <laughs> I could never make it in the other branches. <laughs> yeah. I'd look like real. a bitch of a Marine. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do that. I'd have definitely Just, been uh, what about realized you? we are over. I got to do a little <laughs> advertisement. A little ad. Oh, yeah. Ads, ads, <laughs> yeah. Advertisements. We're just having a good time. Palling around. So, all right. Calling all PKA fans, get 20% off your favorite products at ferrodistro.com. If you're into smoking flour, you'll want to check out our brand new THCA buds and pre-rolls. Be on the lookout for new strains and sizes coming soon. And if you're all about dabs, don't miss our DabX Go and premium dabs. We've also got a jaw-dropping array of high-quality, high-milligram edibles for you to choose from. For those who seek holistic wellness, explore our selection of CBD products and therapeutic mushrooms. And here's the cherry on top. Use the code PKA20 for 20% off your order. That's right. PKA20 for 20% off your order. When it comes to quality you can trust, it's ferrodistro.com. Grab this deal before it disappears. PKA20 for 20% off. That's PKA20 at ferrodistro.com. Get yourself any and all products that they have available over there. They've got a lot of new THCA exotic buds that are going to be available soon and the same THC exotic buds that they've had available, but they're just expanding that offering for all of you wonderful folks who want to get high. So check it out. Uh, again, the DabX Go is the rig that uh, Kyle and I have been using constantly to smoke dabs. It is so much fucking easier than those giant glass uh, mechanical monstrosities that are just annoying. They take up so much space on your coffee table. You got to clean them out and it's annoying to clean. You got multiple things plugged in there. You got to take your your heat gun, your 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 torch, and then you got to heat up the, the nail and it's just a mm. fucking ordeal. This is the way you take dabs in the future. The DabX Go. So much more uh, convenient. It's got like the footprint of a can of soda and you'll get big hits out of it as well. And uh, if you have a DabX Go, after a couple weeks of using it, be sure to open it up and clean it and lift the, the little nail thing out because then you see the little silicone cup down there that's been collecting 
all of the stuff that wasn't getting smoked the first time through. And so you get more bang for your buck in the dabs that you're buying. It's just a better solution for taking dabs, folks. The Dab Expo, PKA20 for 20% off of that. And if you're looking to get high as shit, the most powerful strain of stuff they have, uh, the HHC is great. The Delta 8 is great. That Delta 8 is the weakest. But the THCA is bananas. It is. It feels just like smoking weed. So uh, mm-hmm. just check out the THCA if you're looking for the strongest hits from uh, uh, from flour and stuff like that. So check it out. Ferrodistro.com. Code PKA20 for 20% off. And as always with the edibles, don't be a fool. Start off slow. If you think you have 100 milligram tolerance because you've eaten eaten gas station garbage, don't start with 100 milligrams of this stuff. Start with 50. Uh, If that's your tolerance, obviously meet that down as needed depending on what you've been taking because it's better to have to take a little more in an hour than to get an hour in and be like, oh my God, I'm phasing through walls and I'm I'm going to die someday. (laughs) Oh, I'm mortal. Oh, this can't be Uh, all there is. So don't do that. Get yourself. (laughs) yourself, Hypothetically, uh, that'd be horrible. Hypothetically, that would not be fun. So don't, uh, don't take a bite of that nerd rope unless you're ready to, to uh, live among the stars. Cause that shit is so strong. Yeah. Woody took some and it was a little much. Oh my God. Too high. Yeah. So take it, take it easy. Uh, this episode also brought to you by lock and load, lock and load, the premium, premium ejaculation, increasing supplement, taking the world by storm. Everyone's talking about it. Brandon Buckingham last week, he had two bottles of it sitting there because he likes to come. He likes to come hard. He likes to come, uh, voluminously. And that's the way you want to bust. You want to impress your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. We don't care who your partner is, who you're having fun busting with. If it's, if, Hey, if you're gay, buy two bottles. And you can both be coming on each other a lot. That's that's better for us. More products sold. <laughs> so all the gay guys out there who are insecure because you're busting like a bitch, check out mm-hmm. Lock and Load. Code PKA. Mm-hmm. Code Jizz for ten percent off everything. It's fantastic. It's gonna have you. It's gonna have you coming harder than you ever thought possible. And when you come more, your orgasms better. You fucking idiots. Why would I want to <laughs> come more? Because you want to come harder. Mm-hmm. You want to come harder. You want it to feel better. You want more oozing out of you. You want more shooting out of you. That's what you need. Plus, you Lock want your load. partner to feel good about him or herself. Exactly. You want them You're being looking at what they did. by giving them your tiny little bitch loads. hundred. They're like, well, I guess I'm okay at sex, but there's really no evidence. Yeah. No, drown that whore, and then she'll be like, I'm really good. Yeah. Get that bitch wet with your <laughs> seed. You know, mm-hmm, she's sitting there mm-hmm. already wet because you've been fucking and then you're busting all over. She's coated. She it looks like the next day there's a, it looks like is there a Ghostbusters joke in there somewhere? I haven't even <laughs> seen that movie, but I know there's something to do with like ectoplasm she all over it. Yes. Yeah, she's going to look like she's got ghostly ectoplasm all over her pearl <laughs> ectoplasm, by the way, because it's going to pearl up that that load of yours. Make it look nice and aesthetically pleasing for whatever lady or guy you're having fun with. And also, it's not just cum pills dumbasses. It's protein powders. It's energy drinks. It's weight loss supplements. It's helping you sleep. It's supplements to help you sleep and dream better. Gorilla Dream. Uh, all sorts of stuff that I'm looking over right there. I actually need to text him and get some more stuff because that is my last tub of protein, I believe. So I'm down to one and a half tubs of protein. I need to get on the line and have them refill my supply. So check it out. If you're getting the protein, I recommend uh, the cookies and cream is a new flavor that is really, really good. I like it a lot. And if you're looking for just a basic one that also tastes good, get the vanilla. Chocolate's also good, but vanilla is, I don't know. Just, I think it's easier to guzzle down a vanilla shake because it's less I like rich. vanilla too, yeah. yeah Always I, vanilla. It's, and it's here's what I do preference. in case anybody cares about the Derek uh, method of protein shake delivery. I uh, I use orange juice as the liquid with vanilla protein powder, and I add. What do I add to it? That's that's enough. Just just the orange. Mm-hmm. Something about the glucose Spoonful levels and absorbing trend. protein and making it making all, all the good things better. You know, um, yep. every one of my protein shakes had orange juice in it, and that's because he told me to. That's that's crazy to me. That I, I can't <laughs> imagine orange juice and vanilla tasting delicious good together. Delicious. It's, it's, it's like try. orange oh, cream. I don't cycle. doubt that. Yeah, I bet it tastes great. Okay. It's just the extra calories that catch my attention. That's true. There's so much sugar in OJ. Yeah, that's why that's, you're, we, you we want talked the sugar. about this. Like you guys all went through a phase where you thought OJ was healthy too. Like I remember in college, <laughs> I, used to, I would like start off my day, like sophomore year, junior year of college with like a 20, 
two ounce giant glass of, of orange <laughs> juice and be like, ah, health. And it's like, yes. no, it's not at all. <laughs> um, this is part of getting a cold somehow. Sugar yeah, <laughs> part of the vitamins. Part of the vertical diet is a good bit of orange juice, like every day. Um, maybe 16 or 20 ounces a day, like spread out over the shake and the meals. But um, definitely, yeah, yeah. That or orange slices. I think I was supposed to be doing huge amounts of raw orange slices, but I was like, I was like, can I, can I just, I just drink juice? <laughs> I don't want to be peeling oranges every day. Did you at least have like- it with uh, like the pulp in it, so you're getting some of the fiber? Or are you like one of those no, no pulp people? I like it to be chewy, but um, it's going in a shake, so you know you're not gonna be able to tell anyway. I'm guzzling it down. I it was always the most it. delicious thing I ate because it's orange juice and vanilla uh, protein powder. I can lose a ton of weight in one night. All I need is a good um, Instagram filter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a bunch of what? Uh, fuck, I'm, I'm spacing. What What makes you shit? Oh, Zempic? No. Fucking oh, lax- uh, stool soft. Lax- laxative. Lax- my God. I cannot believe yeah. I forgot the word laxative. Hey, welcome to my world. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I forgot the word diurnal. Like Kyle mentioned it like uh, two months ago. And I was like, I laughed because it was such an unknown word. And then once he explains it's the opposite of nocturnal, I was like, I am so embarrassed. I don't know this word. I didn't know that word temporarily. It happens. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about, I think about getting a new VR system. I, I got the original uh, oh, HTC yeah. Vive. Uh, like, like you the, really liked it yeah. back in the day. Yeah, I really did. But there weren't enough games, and the resolution wasn't quite high enough, and PCs in general weren't all that I think I had a 1080 Ti. I think that was like the cutting edge card then. And now we're up to the 4090. So obviously mm. a lot more power. Um, but the new HTC is around a grand again. There's a game, Woody, called Ghosts of Tabor. It's Escape from Tarkov in VR. And the gunplay, really? dude, the gunplay looks really fun. The but guys like get wrecked by people who don't have VR. Everybody's got VR. It's a VR only game. So everybody is like fucking pop, pop with their little pistol and like fucking leaning. I watched a guy playing today and he's got like an AK and he's in a firefight down a hallway, you know, which happens all the time. And and it's just, he's like, oh shit, fucking changing the mag. Fucking, oh, I got him through the locker. You see the guy fall over and it was like, man, that looks fun. Um, I need to watch more content to see and talk to somebody who's played to see if it's like super janky yeah. and how the movement works. How do you move? Um, the guy he was fighting down the hallway jumped from one ha- end of the hall side of the hallway to the other, like from like a cr- and I'm like, can, did the is this player jump like a, or did he hit the jump button? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> this would be dangerous if you're just leaping around your living room. Oh, for sure. So what? I, I would uh, I would make a perimeter around my walls with like foam noodles that were like projected, you know, a foot away from the walls in every direction, uh, like pool noodles um, so that you don't because I've punched a wall before and there's some, you know how you bite your finger accidentally. You're like, wow, I didn't know I was biting that hard yes. in the mashed fucking mm-hmm. potatoes. Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's Are a different- mashed potatoes with your what, hands. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll use a spoon. All right, <laughs> I animal. take it back. It was really soup. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like when you punch a wall that you didn't know was there, it's a different feeling. I I, I took all the skin off my knuckles one time because I don't remember what I was playing. I was punching fucking blocks or music's notes or some shit. I knocked the shit out of the wall, and it was I didn't want to play anymore after that. Or like Dude, after I, that it, it fucking the same thing happens when up. you stand up and hit your head into something. Like imagine you're under a bunker yeah. or something. You stand up and hit that. You're like Jesus Christ! Does everyone stand up with the force of ten men? Like, yeah. <laughs> why do I stand up with excessive amounts of force? You don't really realize you stand up angrily every time, mm. just banging your head on the underside of a bunk bed. That brings me back to being a kid. Just mm-hmm. slamming your head on the underside like little girder of, of bunk beds. That was no fun. Bunk yeah. beds really lost their their like fun allure after maybe the age of eight. We're nah, trust me, I was in a... it's better. What was in better? In prison or in real life? <laughs> Both. Uh, top bunk, I think, because I don't mind getting up there and it's fresher air and uh, nobody can fall on you. Nobody's stepping over you. And if you it's know, above the height of a regular person, I feel like it gives privacy. Mm-hmm. Like if, if you have bit. to stand on your tippy toes to see me, and I can like go to the far side, I feel like I can hide from your view. I need it's the bottom bunk. Privacy we'll roll right pre- out of that top bunk. 
it's the opposite of privacy mm. in, in in prison because you now you're up here where everybody can't you can see over the walls like you're you're kind of lying. When I lie down, the wall that separates me from the cell next door is only comes up about this much higher than my bed. So like oh, so I it can, is I, higher than your bed. Yeah, I can like put my elbow on it. Like when you're driving a car, you put your elbow on the window. It's, mm -hmm. it's about like that. And I I can I can sit up and talk to the the guy who's in the cell next to me who's there for cocaine distribution. Uh, so I can chat with him and then you know lay down. So when you're both sleeping on top bunks, there's not much between you. You know, there, there's he's on the opposite side of the wall. Like like you're you're not side by side. Like he's on the opposite side of his cell. But mm -hmm. like you lean up, you can totally see each other real well. You're on the same level, and there's nothing between you. But yeah, that yeah. game looks sick. I've uh. I I don't know. I'm hoping there's not lag and cheaters and I don't know what the movement is like. I'm worried about the movement more it's than it's going to suck. Ever. But it's that's okay, right? It's VR. It's, it sucks for everyone and it's something different. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. The movement in uh previous games you would sort of there was there was walking like you mm -hmm. you walk around and your character walks around, but if you wanted to move beyond the room, you sort of have to do like a a mini teleport thing for you sort of point where you want to be and your character kind of slides forward. So I don't know how that's going to work when we're in a combat situation. We're both shooting at each other. But from what I saw, it really looked like he could tuck his elbows in and lean out just a little and peck at the guy with his pistol and stuff. The Tarkov community simultaneously loves their game and hates their developer. They just mm -hmm. really want a better version of Tarkov. Lots of And no one has... Have. I've seen some content about it. Like there's new bosses, they're expanding streets a little bit. I guess you're going to new go recoil system, new map, Ooh. new a armor new map? system. Yeah, new map, um, arenas in called? beta. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's essentially a map that's locked to players level 15 and below. Uh, for, so, so it's like the inter it's it's supposed to be if there was a storyline to the game, which eventually they're trying to get to like it feeling that way. This is where you start. And I think it's based in like, like the some headquarters for like the uh, the USAC or whatever that's blown out, and you like leave there, and it's like a again like a low loot area, but there won't be Chad zooming around that are like that's fifty interesting. fucking long. I misunderstood. I was um casually paying attention to a noise sky video, and I thought he was saying that there was an area for levels fifteen and below that was an in-game flea market that your character could go to, but. I have low confidence in this. I'm not trying to say you're wrong. I'm, mm -hmm. This yeah, is just it's, what it, I thought. Yeah, it's new map. And then arena's out in mm. beta form. They said that like people would get notified if they're like invited to go to the arena. But that's like Call of Duty multiplayer mode now. But with Tarkov game gameplay, I don't know if you lose your kits to each other or how that works exactly. But it looked right. fun. I saw some people doing it. And then they they finally introduced the armor system so that Formally, if you're wearing an armor vest, every inch of it has the bulletproofness level of bullet protection, um, regardless of if, if there's actually a plate there. So, for example, in a slick plate carrier, the straps that go over your shoulders are just straps. There's not armor in those straps. But if you shoot me in the strap in the video game, it's going to give me the same protection as if you'd hit where the plate would be in real life. No longer. Now you only get protection where the plates would be in the armor that you're wearing so something like a slick is not nearly as good it only it's a really small area if you've ever seen where the plates are mm. and uh so some of the armor systems like the 6b23 i think like you've got multiple plates in there so when you go to repair it later you'll look and ah oh, the plate in the top back got hurt or the top center plate is fucked up it's at 60 percent and so they finally introduced that system which i think is going to change the way gunplay works a lot you know uh pieces of armor like that big Fort armor with the shoulder pads and the crotch mm -hmm. carrot crotch protection one called the defender that's really bulky if i recall correctly yeah there's a bunch now they've added so many like just mm. backpacks rigs and armor systems that are sometimes redundant but nice to have because you're not seeing the same fucking backpack on everybody it's nice to just have uh, a variety but i go back to the cheater thing man I, I i won't spend that much time in a game where there are cheaters if it was cod which also has cheaters it's like yeah who cares would my KD go down? Did mm -hmm. I not get my kill streak? But in Tarkov, you know, you know the deal. I don't, I don't want. I do care, and the something. things that you said mockingly are really frustrating for me at the time. Like it, if I am at an eight kill streak and I need nine, and some cheater gets me, that ruins my game. Yeah, but if, in Tarkov, if you like take my fucking million and a half ruble kit and like fuck up my quest, so I got to redo it again, 
I'm I might get off for the night and have bad dreams about this. <laughs> yeah, right. The stakes are higher. The stakes are yeah. Higher. And I love the high stakes. So I, I'm I'm I'd say I'm 60% sure I'm gonna buy that Vive uh later tonight and uh and 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 play that game some. I'm gonna do some more research to see if it's worth it. But all the gameplay I've seen just looks so fun. It looks so fun. It looks like me, VR Tarkov. Me and some buddies are I just got a text from them where we're gonna start playing AoE two again a bit. If you wanna jump into the finest RTS game ever constructed. I won't have this conversation again about how we have these <laughs> hot rod fucking cutting edge p- gaming PCs that we're blessed to be able to afford. And like I see people online like it's with their right. shitty PCs and they can't play most good games. And here you are wanting to play this old ass game that you could play on a fucking laptop from 1998. No, because it's incredibly poorly optimized. (laughs) (laughs) And it's fine. Not everyone has a mind for strategy. I I don't, clearly. clearly (laughs) Um, You will not be coaxed into this snafu. Damn. Here's what I'll play with you, because I love playing games with you and just love hanging out with you in general. Any fighting game on on console or or I you know now we can play on PC. I'll try the Microsoft. UFC thing with you, but do you I've never played experience? it. You, you have no experience. None. I, all right, I have. I am as bad as you can as you can be. Like I'm like your girlfriend will beat me. That's how bad I am. I never played these games growing up, um, but I played a little like with my roommates. You know, occasionally I have five hours lifetime in fighting games. Like I am complete noob. But I do, I am a big UFC fan, so I'm hoping that, that the helps. idea and this is actually be a funny like video idea we could make or even a live stream or whatever. Like me getting to pick the fighters, like 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 you have to like blindly just pick one based on their physique, not knowing the record yeah. or anything, and I get to pick my fighter. I'll pick one of the Russian Muslims with the scary beards because they know what they're doing. They're not all yeah, but some of. Okay, and I won't know which ones are good though. But I bet they have ratings next to them. I'll pick the highest. And and how do you wrestle it in a video game? I don't know what that. I bet that's harder to to like string some combos uh, together. You have Game Pass, right, on the Xbox? If I don't, I get it. You know. Yeah, it. uh, UFC Four comes with Game Pass. Yeah, and I I wanted to play UFC Four before I invested seventy dollars in UFC Five because that's pretty ridiculous, and I'm sure it's the same game. Is there only one game, or does? Are there are there two games for the UFC or is there just one? I I, I really don't follow it. When know. I looked it up, it just said UFC four and UFC like five. EA make one, and I think like, it was EA. Like it's whatever. It's the big one. Like it's got okay. all the licensing and everything. So I'll try that with you. I'm totally down. I need to buy See, a headset for Xbox Live. I don't even have one. Or we could just do Discord, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was going to just play probably on my PC. I mean, I have an Xbox Series X. Anyway, um, I would be interested into that because. I don't know, it's kind of fun to play as a fighter that I I like, and like try to use their moves the the way that they use them. Try to fight like the guy that. Well, know, I can. I'll set my Maybe Xbox neat. up in here, in because I have it set up to my TV in my living room right now. But I'll set it up in here, and then we can like t- try it out in the Discord. I bet there's someone in the 50 Discord that's fucking incredible at it. That will be like, I can show you the ropes, and then they'll just brutalize us. My uh my my friend ZT God rest his soul he went on that uh you know he died in that motorcycle accident not too yeah. long ago but he went on that Colorado trip with us and he was such a Smash Bros savant that he one v two everyone there weren't two players in the room good enough to beat him yeah those that and that's a game, game where two v one means two v one like there are three characters on the screen fighting mm-hmm. and he. He, he's keeping one of them constantly off the map, like trying to recover yeah. and get back up on the map. <laughs> he's like, wow, you go away. And while I beat the shit out of you. And then when the <laughs> other guy got back, he's like, actually, you get off the map too. And he beat the shit out of the other one. It was so cool. Dude, it's so I'm hard awful. to be good at. Like, that's one of those games that, like, among casuals, like when I'd have people over and we'd all play on my Switch, like, I'd dominate in that circle because i just know all the moves like at least how to do them and and like that that gives you an edge and then every once in a while you play against someone who like really knows what they're doing one of my buddies won like he got really into it and in like 2007 2008 when it was big he went to a tournament and he played like there were s tier characters then like a b c just like any fighting game and so like everybody at the time was like it was just Fox versus Falco from Star Fox or Fox versus Fox or Falco versus Falco because they were fast, had lasers, were really, really good. 
and like a D list guy was Luigi. Nobody fucks with Luigi because he didn't jump normally. Like everybody else goes like jump and then they come back down. You jump with Luigi and he goes on like a journey, like a wahoo and just kind of floats around <laughs> a bit. And he was butt fucking people with Luigi and he got a little, what looked like 3d printed, but they didn't have 3d printers back then statue of like a champion of, you know, St. Louis with like a little Luigi on the top. Like they customized right. it. And so, yeah, then someone like him comes over and suddenly I'm like, Oh, you're, I'm not good at all. Hmm. Like I'm really bad. Like all I had was an advantage of my friends were drunk and they don't know the buttons. So yeah, that, which does Zach says there's a guy in the, there's a guy in, in our discord who, who plays competitively with Luigi. That's hilarious. Yeah. I need to play <laughs> with him then because yeah, that that's another really fun fighting game. Super smash right. bros. It's real okay. fun. So, so that one's not for me. I don't yeah. like the aesthetic of that one. And I don't care about those characters. Mortal Kombat, on the other hand, I guess the iconic Mortal Kombat characters I'm into a little bit, Raiden and fucking Sub-Zero and Scorpion and all those guys. But the way they've gotten all these other things licensed, and you can be RoboCop and Rambo and the Terminator and Omni-Man, and that's cool to me. And, you know, There's so many things you can play as that I actually try that like. Too. I never I really played that, those sure. fighting games, so I don't know the buttons and how to, and the combos and everything. It's all, it's all the same, you know. If we could, you know, a little button back. mashing. But I, I will definitely yeah. play UFC with you. I, I don't know what style of fighter I'd want to play as. I imagine ground stuff is going to be difficult, so maybe like a boxer or a kickboxer. I definitely want to do like a kickboxer guy. I want something like Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, or I mean, obviously saying John Jones is is, is like, yeah, I want to. I'm a, I'm a Georgia fan, but <laughs> I, want, I want someone who's like long and lanky and can like jab. I want, I want, I want like three moves that work, right? I, I want to know like that teep kick, like that front kick. I want to know like a good jab. And then I want when they're like dizzy or whatever, and they start glowing. I need like the big haymaker. Like I, I think that's enough to carry me against an amateur. Dude, I was when I tried that one match against the computer that was trying to, you know, help me out when I played UFC four, I just, like the only thing I was getting that was landing on my opponent were like little wimpy leg kicks. And meanwhile, this guy is just feeding me my own teeth with jabs. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was it was rough. Dude, there was yeah. a uh, there was a clip from the NHL. Like usually when they get their teeth knocked out, it's like not a lot of them at the same time. And it's like closer to the bench somehow. Like it's not there was a guy on the Nashville Predators that had so many of his teeth knocked out that he was like skating around. Like, you know, that scene from Saving Private Ryan where the guy like is bending down, picking his arm up like he was the Predators player was on his knees because it's hard to find teeth on the ice. Nice. And so he's like picking them up and then he's feeling his mouth to be like, how many more are gone? And then he's picking up more. And the opposing team's goalie is skating over, like trying to help him look for his teeth. And I was like, this is hockey rules in the like, UFC. <laughs> in, in the UFC guy did he leave the game? Uh, I think he, well, he had to bounce out to get his mouth stopped bleeding and then he was right back. Ah, yeah, they, awesome. they don't, if you get your teeth knocked out clean, you can just stick it back in, in yeah. some cases, and it will heal, like, and fuse yeah. back. Like, if it's a shattered tooth, of course not, but like. That's if interesting, it, it is a broken it bone. It makes sense that it yeah. might, you know, just. It's just weird, you don't think of it that way. That it, No, it no, work. but broken bones heal nicely. But mm -hmm. broken bones don't bother. Well, I mean, it sucks that you have to like sit still for a while, but you typically recover a hundred percent from broken bones. Joints and shit are a bigger problem. Yeah, yeah. I imagine part of getting like old that's going to suck is like your tendons just being shit, where oh. just regular movements hurt now. So that would suck. Bring it up. I got to bring it up again. Tony Ferguson again, the thirty-eight year old UFC fighter fight, training to fight Patty the Batty, Patty the Pimblet. He's uh, Patty's six uh, on a six-fight win streak. Tony's on a six fight losing streak. Tony's been trading with David Goggins. Yeah, but Patty's schedule is like fucking Michigan's. Not he's I fighting mean, local bouncers, right? Well, we'll see. Um, he, I mean, he he lost to um, he lost his last fight. I thought was it Jared Gordon? Doesn't matter. Uh, what what matters is this David Goggins training routine that Tony's on cannot be good. Like I'm just thinking, like my knees would be would be burnt would be hurt. Like I, I think we, I might need some sort of or, uh, a fucking doctor to look at my knee after I trained with it's... David Goggins. He did hours of walking lunges, Taylors. 
Taylor, multiple miles of walking lunges, multiple miles of them. And, and I'm not talking about, all right, we're done for the day. That's like one of the awful things we'll do today. Like now we'll do 20 mile run. Now we'll do six hours on the bicycle. Now we'll do sit-ups for eight hours. Like, do you need to sleep? No. Like, he, like, he's I about wonder, to learn why fighters don't train that way. I want to know from a fighter, really, not any of us can answer it. When you're that good, when you're Tony Ferguson, when you're Joe Lozon or whatever, and you know you have a fight coming up, do you train to develop skills for that guy? Or do you know how to fight already? You know, like, like if I'm going up against a wrestler, I might be like, all right, I'm going to specifically train stuffing wrestlers takedowns. And yeah. if I fail to stuff it, I'm going to train getting out from this mess because this is what I anticipate from him. It definitely or varies. Cause maybe Turner Ferguson is like, I, I know how to fight. I just need to get, be motivated and in shape. I, I, I see, I see people doing really different training and the, the training that I respect or that as a complete non-practitioner from the outside looking in the, the one that seems to be the way to go to me, seems like sparring needs to be done at some point. It seems like hard sparring needs to be done at some point because if they're not ready, if they're not in that that mode of getting hit by another man, being ready to be hit, like, yeah, I got hit yesterday. I got hit the day before. Harder than that. Fucking come on. Like, if, if you've got that sort of Sean Strickland, that's what he does. That's how he trains. He spars. He doesn't, he's not over there hitting pads. He's not doing sit-ups. He mm. just, he's just fighting people every day. He comes in and has a couple fights. Um, I, li I, I like that, and that seems to make a lot of sense because you're doing what you're training for. You know, like, like like baseball camp isn't going in a room and just getting strong at swinging a stick. You know, it's it's hand eye coordination and like playing the sport. Like just to play at. devil's advocate, Conor McGregor, while I'm sure he spars, also works really hard not to spar. You know, he calls mm. it upgrading the software without damaging the hardware. That's his yeah. thing. So he does all kinds of like touch sparring and like half speed sparring where he can upgrade the software without damaging the hardware. Not much of a record to speak right. for, though. Um, you know, I, I it's it's not. I I, I don't want to hear anything about Connor until he comes back and beats somebody up. That right. I give a shit about. No, you don't want to hear me hear... talk about how great longevity is when you do it the Connor way. You get like five fights in your whole fucking career. I I, I you yesterday you or the day before you you were like yeah Connor's coach says this. And that. I'm like, I don't believe anything John Kavanaugh says. He's Connor's mouth. John Kavanaugh. Like, 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 <laughs> 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 Connor's gonna have to come back and beat somebody no, no, up. He, Connor's gonna fight Michael Chandler next. Uh, he has to. He's contractually obligated to. And I think Chandler's gonna fuck him up. I think Chandler's gonna fuck him up. I don't think Connor can sleep Chandler. That's the problem. Connor can hit Chandler, but I don't think he can sleep him. He doesn't have. He had all that power against those little guys. If you look at who he was like flipping that switch on, it's Jose Aldo. It's Chad Mendez. It's um, what's what's the other guy who's like sh the short wrestler guy who's um. It's, it's smaller guys at 145 and small 155 pounders. But now with guys like Chandler, who probably walks around at like 190 goddamn pounds, like he's a big boy. Uh, Justin he's like a Poirier guy. might be here looking for. He's Poirier's like, also a big guy. Like, of course, like, he got cool. beat by Poirier twice. So. No. Is it one? He beat again? Poirier the first time. Um, they fought early in their careers, and then he came back and lost the fight to Poirier, where he broke his leg, and then he had, and then he came back and um, didn't fight Poirier a second time. Am a I third wrong? Time, they right? only fought once or twice. They fought. They fought twice, but once in recent history, and once long ago when it didn't matter. And Connor beat him. Oh, like bald headed reason, Connor beat him up. I'm gonna look this up. I have it stuck in my head. He lost the early fight, and then he came back and Poirier beat him twice. But I'm gonna look it up and see if I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, Really, twice. Yeah, I don't remember that. Well, I try to block out those Connor losses. They, you, you know, <laughs> I, I'm a fan. I like him. I want him to win these fights. When he was Mystic Mac, and they're like, Connor, you said this and that were going to happen. They all fucking happen. He's like, Oh, I see these things. I'm like, I think he sees them. And he was talking <laughs> about, he was talking about, you know, like visualizing things and like making them happen. I'm like, this guy might be one of the few guys who can. Like, maybe he is magical in some little way. He's doing crazy things. But then you yeah. know, he just started doing a lot of cocaine and fucking whores and. And just losing fights, and all I care about is you—you got to win some of them fights. You got to win some of them. Most recent two fights are getting knocked the fuck out by Dustin Poirier both times. Yeah, it, well, the the leg thing, right? He broke the leg. TKOs is what it says, but you're right. It is a 
doctor stoppage on this. On but he was losing that fight. He was losing that fight. He, it's not like it was an even fight. He was losing that fight. He'd lost the first. I think the leg like, break happened in the second, which he was also losing. Um, I don't think he's a good fucking fighter. And it's crazy to me when people, oh, maybe Connor should fight for the belt. What belt? What belt? Who? Who? Maybe Bellator. Like, like, like he's just <laughs> not on the same level as anybody in the fucking top five. But he'll Darius fuck him up. Why am I even talking about 155 pounders? He can't even cut, get to 155 anymore. Like, like, you know what I mean? What 170 pounder can't destroy him? Only the old 170 pounders who are really 155 pounders, and they're gonna smoke him too. There's nobody he can beat in the professional organization that you'd even put across from him. Shit, I don't disagree with any of that. There's but nobody. wait, Chandler fights at 55, right? Chandler fights it. They're gonna. They don't even see. That's the thing. They're they're gonna fight. They're like. We haven't agreed on the weight yet. It'll be 170. Watch. It'll be 170 at least. They may even do a catch weight because Connor doesn't want to cut a couple pounds and do it 175, 178 or something. There's no way Connor ever does 155 again. And I'd be shocked if Chandler did either. Chandler's such a big 55 pounder. He's short though, no? I didn't think he was, but I, I have these I'm mental sure. images of athletes sometimes that sort of ambiguous, roughly 5'10", five, 5'6". Five to six He's feet jacked. Tall. Yeah, they all are. He's probably on on something too. I think they're all about to be on steroids, which I'm excited for. I hope we're getting to a new steroid era in uh, in the UFC where we start seeing a lot of physiques get crazy. Uh, I hope we see a super uh, jacked up female fighter like a Gabby Garcia, <laughs> but for the UFC, someone who's <laughs> like roided out. Taylor, do you know that every um, um, women's track record was set in the '80s and hasn't been touched uh, since? It's because they were juicing. That's when track That's was one good, theory. baby. Name one name one female track star. Flo Jo, right? Like that's the only one you know? Oh, uh, the Marcy. nails and everything. I have no idea who Flo Jo is. Flo Jo set every fucking record there was because Lawrence Griffith jacked Joyner, up out of maybe? her mind on goofballs and testosterone. It was during, oh. it was the it was the height is of the Is she cold still war. alive? Boom. The Flo Jo? Sure. One of the women's track greats died at like 42. She died of prostate cancer. She had testicle cancer. She, she, you were right. She died in 1998, age 38. There you go. Um, yeah. Hide uh, the Cold War. Uh, what do you Live mean? Live fast, how? die young. In, no, I was saying, yeah. how did she die? In her sleep. Yeah. Uh, a that's, severe that's epileptic said. seizure. Yeah, I'm sure it's not um, drug related. If you look at look at like the 800 meter women's record, but look at that lady's body, and it, it reminds me of Bruce Jenner. Like, like it's crazy. 400 meter women's, uh, like all those records are set in the 80s because they were just pounding testosterone. Mm. You know, those, those ladies look like men. The East Germans used to come with like big manly bodies and armpit hair and deep voices. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad though if you think about it because you know those athletes love their sport. They didn't sign up necessarily for a, a clip bigger than my dick and a and a beard better than Taylor's, you know. They yeah. they just wanted to be old. They wanted the gold shot though. Footer. Kyle, you're not looking at the upsides. Belly button hair. Yeah, you're you're so yeah. weird about that body hair, man. <laughs> Rogan yeah. said that shit too. Like, like I, man, I hate when Rogan. Wait, what Rogan that, say? Rogan says he likes some hairy. He's like, oh yeah, I like hairy women. Like armpit hair, yeah, no problem. That's just his no simian heritage. <laughs> like he's he's he's, uh, he's very. Yeah, the, yeah, the Rock English. on this week. Oh, that was pretty cool. The yeah. Rock. Yeah, the Rock's got to be one of the biggest celebrities in the world. He is. He's he had he's Elon in the Musk Jumanji's on the, now. Yeah, I'd had Elon and, Musk and on the week before. What yeah, Elon Musk, doing? another big one. I said, yeah, he like he was in Jumanji. That was huge. Oh yeah, and he's still in a bunch of stuff. You're you're talking about like Russian drugs, uh, in the KHL, the Continental Hockey League, the second largest hockey league in the world, the second top like behind the NHL. It's the most skilled league, and really? Ryan Whitney, who's a host on Spit and Chicklets, like, and a lot of the players they have on for interviews talk about something called Russian gas. Which apparently there's a drug that they used to like doctors for teams used to inject into you when you played in the KHL or they would let you breathe. They'd put a mask over your face and you would just breathe stuff in a while before the game. And this was like the end of Ryan Whitney's career where he was playing in the KHL and he was like, oh, my God, like, I don't know what the fuck was in that Russian gas, but you're unstoppable. You're unbeatable. 
Like I was out on the ice telling myself like, your career's not wrapped up. You got another shot at the NHL. You're flying out here. And then he's like, the next day I woke up with the, like a Russian gas hangover of like, Oh, feeling horrible. And so I guess like they, they just juice up all of their guys just anytime they want. They'll just gas them up with gas or injections. Like there's no, nobody gives a fuck over there. So imagine the eighties. They so were just using was, bull hormones on people. So I was thinking it was Clint Buterol at first. That was my first mm-hmm. thought. Um, Clint, Clint is opting. Please be Tran. Well, <laughs> certainly not Tran. Uh, that, Come that on. Be, um, you know, Kyle, I feel like you're not even trying to win. <laughs> uh, but Toradol, apparently is what it is. It's, uh, it's used in combination with an amphetamine. Uh, it, it would give them a psychological lift. Uh, there's a long history of the drug being used on the QT by NHL teams. Sean Avery mentions it. It's used by teams in his book, Offside, My Life in Hockey. Uh, mm. Basically, Toradol, the brand name for the chemical, uh, Ketorilac, is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory and pain reliever. Uh, it's practical use of it. would be. It, there's a lot of them, apparently. Uh, but anyway, I think it's given them that psychological lift you're talking about. It would make the player feel invincible on the ice. And yes, it really does work to aff- achieve this effect quite effectively and predictably within minutes um and then yeah you know they're saying they're, they're saying that along with an amphetamine for you know energy and like pep and, mm-hmm. and drive and focus would be a ridiculously good combination and you could inhale it you could inhale all that yeah well that's what they're doing over there in in the k sucking up brushing gas Sounds I bet it makes awesome. you feel, I, that makes you feel great i'd try it yeah for sure i mean look w- whenever you're ready to begin your biohacking journey and freeze a little <laughs> freeze a little jism Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's time. I was trying to, when I was talking to Harley and um, his business partner, um, his name escapes me. I'm sorry, buddy. I forgot your name. We talked for like four fucking hours last night. Mm-hmm. Um, I was telling him, I was like, yeah, dude, get on the steroids. I was like, how's your hair? He's like, it's gone. I was like, Let's go. What are we waiting <laughs> on? What are we waiting on? Um, and, and he said the same thing you always say, you know, it's, it's that fertility thing. You want to, you want to be prepared to, to make babies. Yeah. But here's the thing, Taylor, we're getting very close to those Gattaca years. So very soon, I think it's going to be common practice for like middle class, upper middle class people to submit a a sperm sample, maybe even a few different eggs and have the doctor go in and be like, perfect. This is the if not, this is the ideal one. Like this is your this is your winner. Like not just we're not we're not doing a foot race to determine who gets the the mm-hmm. share of DNA? But maybe that's not the best. Be like, yeah, this Kyle one's gonna have Faye, normal cholesterol Taylor, and no shoulder hair. <laughs> Taylor, you're not gonna have ideal children, but this is the best you can do. Yeah, this is <laughs> the best. I can Even do. better. They go like, in there, like, they remove the the hairy gene, put in the yeah, nah, genuinely yeah. make me tall. Genuinely, that's what Gattaca is. You know, it's 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 that one brother was just prior to that technological breakthrough, or it being common practice and acceptable, and the other is like. Um, I mean, if you're gonna play football, you gotta wear a helmet, of course. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, blue eyes, uh, six foot one to six three, maybe no taller, no taller, right? And no bum, Dumbo feet, size ten and a half, eleven. That looks good, in, uh, uh, Paisley. Uh, what else? What else? What else? <laughs> His skin. Not, not too much amazing. body hair. Like you go through this whole Sorry. fucking thing, like skin tone. Like, oh, definitely the no, definitely no. In, yeah, high insulin resistance. Um, yeah, propensity for for muscle. Well, not too much. We're not. Hey, he's not gonna be uh using his. He's not gonna be digging ditches for a living. We're 180 IQ. Well, no, that's too. That's that's our platinum package, man. 160 really gets you far these days. Oh yeah, 160 is more for most bang for your buck, right? Yeah. That's coming. So I'm telling you, forget that's about cool. going wild hog and shooting all natural jism into some 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 lady. Um, freeze yeah, yourself this, some freeze eight? some of these young cummies today because I don't know if if jism it has has that uh that long tail, but I know eggs don't like if there's a prime time eggs that a lady makes, you know, yeah. like her first egg isn't it's necessarily as good as her last. And I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure there's like a sweet zone where like, ah, oh, yeah, we want to get that over yeah. them right there. You want you want that 25 year old egg or whatever. Yeah, so the, what I'm saying the peak of get some of those 30, 32 year old uh, uh, sperm, 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 spermazoids. Uh, yeah. fr- freeze them up. And then, you know, in a year, five years, whenever. 25 years now, when you want your eighth child, when you're on your fourth wife, you can be like, hey, <laughs> unfreeze some of my gummies and make me a blue-eyed NHL assassin. And they'll be like, right away, sir. That's okay. You're selling me. But it's going to 
the initial wave of that is going to be a lot like the first plasma screen TVs where you're going to be getting a lot of fucked up children of thalidomide, like that kind of shit. You want like 20 years into that technology when they've hammered out all the dents, right. all the Why nonsense. We're not experimenting on me. We're making experimental babies. All right. Yeah. I'm, and I don't want to have some, edge, like, baby. some like eight armed kid look like he's a god in India. Nah, like, just no. don't do it in Missouri. We kill those right? in utero. Pick a nice blue state where the day before it's born and you know what you're going to get, you can still abort. No, yeah. that's ghastly. I <laughs> 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 can't, can't be doing that. But, but, but yeah, I was, but you've got so much potential to unlock. You're, could. You, you, you could. You could be the key huge. master. The key master? Dude, you have a cool do you name think it's kind. too late for me to make the NHL? <laughs> Dude, 32, making my I way I don't think in. it's too late for you to play for a team um, that, that that's on television. I bet I bet if you went full bore biohack, you went you made it your life's mission, you spent five days a week training with a, with a trainer, we got you on all the drugs. You could definitely play no, in if, some if sort I make of league it, that's on television. If I make it on the NHL ice at this point in my life, Not it's, the because, NHL it's, it's because ice. I've had a, a total what? mental breakdown. Like that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, bang, bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> you cocksucker! Bang, bang. The Fuck draft, you Blackhawk piece of shit! Yeah. Bang, bang. The draft is rigged. <laughs> Listen mm-hmm. to me. You can either join the Blues or you can <laughs> you can quit hockey forever. I got a beanbag gun. What are his Aiming demands? for knees. <laughs> trying to end their the he wants Gretzky Chicago to come down here and sign his jersey. Yeah. What's his yes. name? Brigard or something? Connor oh, Bedard. Bedard. Yeah. He should play for St. Louis. It's not fucking fair that Chicago got him. Where, uh, where is uh, Game Master uh, Grand Wizard Chiz? We need to, uh, Game Wizard Chiz. We need him awesome. for, for trivia. I'm excited. Hopefully, was, he gives a hard, a nice. A nice ten point Pokemon option for me, because if we get quotes from movies made when their movies were still called talkies again, <laughs> I'm gonna be. I didn't like that. Uh, I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh, you guys both were like, "This is so hard," and I'm like, "Maybe they'll fail too." And then you held up your boards, and you're like, "I only got seven of ten points," and Woody got like nine of ten. Woody killed yeah. that category. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just need to. I just need. It was, to I don't know nearly as much on. about movies as Kyle, but that category was about a bunch of movies I did know. I hadn't seen most of those. I I just kind of I know about them. I haven't seen the culture. waterfront either. I just know about it. I just I know don't it's even the know one about where, it. Yeah. I you've heard the the quote like I could have been a contender. I guess what that movie is about and I've never seen it is you have this guy who's a gangster, like a 1920s gangster, and another guy who's his brother who was a top boxer. And the top boxer had to like throw fights because they were fixed and that would help his brother get out of a jam. Mm-hmm. And at the end, his brother, I guess was kind of putting him down the boxer. And he's like, you don't get it. Like I gave up everything for you. I had a future. I could have been a contender, but I had to throw this fight and throw away what could have, where I could have been for you. And that's mm-hmm. what that, that thing that could have been a contender is about. Yeah. yeah. I, have I, not seen come up with I hadn't seen a single one of the movies that was in that question. I, I really expected the movies to be in the color age. You know, that, that's all I ask. Yeah. Yeah. Name even, all even nine the, companions in Lord of the Rings. Yes. When you go, I don't know anything about movies made before the 60s. I like, I like, like, like mm-hmm. I know like the, the absolute base minimum. So, but, but as you get closer to, as you get into the 70s, 80s, and 90s and early 2000s, like, I get kind of encyclopedic about the fucking seventies and eighties. Certainly the eighties. Like I love that shit, so, mm. but I didn't know anything about that stuff. I mean, I just pop culture reference. I didn't know what I was talking about. We did figure out that we need to do the whiteboards the whole time, so it's not a how fast can you click competition. Oh, oh no, we we're doing it wrong. Here's how you do that. It's like, oh, you buzzed in. What's the answer? Oh, and you lose a point. She should have been. You take points if they buzz in too quickly. Well, the problem fine. with that, Kyle, is we can all read the question. Yeah, right? can't do that either. You have to. Yeah, like, it needs to be like you need to be reading the question to me. And if you see me buzz, be like, okay, fuck wit. Now you don't get the rest of the question. Don't buzz it unless you think you can answer it based on what you've heard so far. But what would happen is you'd have to buzz early, knowing you're going to get the whole question. And if you don't buzz early, then someone else will. Yeah, yeah. That's why th- these are the way to do it. Where like you all, we all have to do it. It's not a race to click. It's 
yeah you know we have to write and i want to use my whiteboard more i was i'm having fun with the whiteboard i'm enjoying mm-hmm. that part i just got a smaller one that's not so much to maintain <laughs> if only and where do we got the the link oh Ooh, link is here all right all right Sorry about Some that. I'm really blowing my mic. I'm trying to get this board clean. I know. I liked it. <laughs> I always like the thing Rush Limbaugh would do, where he'd have the the paper. You know, he'd be uh, he'd be reading the news, and he'd be like, right, "Let me let me show what I got here." Actually, let me show what I have here. It seems the Democrats. And it's like, <laughs> it had some weight to it. It's like, yeah, he's got he's got it right there on the page. He's reading he's it, tapping through. it on he, the man, desk. It, it you know he wrote. He's there's probably nothing on the page. And if there is, he mm-hmm. wrote it. But it added something to it. It was like, this is official. It's on. It's written right there. And he's he's holding it. You can hear it. Actually, we don't need this buzzer app if we're doing the, the whole. Yeah, I wasn't thing. sure how we were going to use it. Yeah, because okay. the, the buzzer thing doesn't work well when you can just click and to Woody's point be like, da, 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 da. well, we just explained oh, it's like, the, how to fix oh, that though. Yeah, but then you're going to have to have Chiz pulling the question faster than we can read and finish the question. Which I want to mm. pump our tires here. We're great readers. Like we're going to be able to read it very quickly. We just don't flash it on the screen. We just don't flash it on the screen. So he has to. Yeah, but then we don't get to. We have to read the question to us. We'll see. We'll we'll see. I want to use uh. I want to use the whiteboards more. <laughs> it's fun. I got it. See, I got Taylor's a good just flexing thing. all his spelling ability. Oh, you know, yeah. we should write all answers. Spelling matters. Spelling counts. Yes, dude. I, I was so French impressed. Words. Zach wrote in the chat that Chris Helmworth resigned with the MCU, and I'm like, I can't tell if that's resigned or resigned. Taylor, spell check. <laughs> Taylor, with full confidence, knew it. Those are spelled the same. And I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> crazy. And it, I was like, I got a pocket brain right here. I can pull them out, point them you at spelling got questions. Mild spelling questions. I'm in the mix. I'm, I'm always, <laughs> always knowing, usually knowing. But yeah, Chiz, you're in here with audio now, right? I believe so. Can you hear me? Yes. We can hear you. You sound okay. better than last time. We were, well, we were thinking about maybe just doing the whiteboards instead of the buzzer and holding I heard them up. that and it's a really simple rule you don't it's like jeopardy you don't buzz in until i finish reading the question and i can lock you out and prevent you from doing that anyway so there'll be none of this kibosh jumping in buzzing in and then reading it later stuff and if it gets real out of hand really out of hand we'll start deducting points Okay. I mean, okay. If you want to go full whiteboard, if you want to go full whiteboard next week, we can do that. But I like to change that I now. Do. It would extend past the time limit of PKA because the whiteboard takes way longer for all of you to answer. Okay, what? but I'm fine doing the whiteboard thing anyway. It'll take like an extra five minutes overall, right? Oh, there's whiteboard questions. There You're are. Have, right. So we're gonna okay. We'll call this the Myers rule for all the times you clicked aggressively yeah. for the Myers rule. Jesus what he yeah. started it. And I, I fucking answered <laughs> I my own never... mis- this is like, this is like Russia getting shit on for the Cuban missile crisis. Like we didn't have missiles in Hungary or whatever. Mm-hmm. The Myers rule. I like it. Yeah. The Myers ruling. It's like the bro <laughs> rule. Cause someone was just uh-huh. not playing by the spirit of the game. And we can also do exactly. We can always just you do the fucking whiteboards. Dude, I spent eight dollars on Amazon for this whiteboard. <laughs> and I want to get my use. Hang on a goddamn minute. Ooh, you got a little. Is everyone locked out of the buzzer? Yes, it's locked for now. <laughs> I thought it was. Personal. Ah, he, is he going to unlock it when he finishes reading the question? If I so, have locked you out from buzzing, yes. Yes. Well, the question right. hasn't been. But not just asked. me. What's the top right category? That could be the mystery category under the sponsor. <laughs> we don't. We don't know what that one is. Three hundred and sixty center of gravities. Cogs. Cogs. I don't know. That's what you got out of cogs. That's interesting. Cogs. Center Cogs. Of gravities. Okay. Uh, who won the last Woody. game again? I believe it was. I did. Taylor. Uh, Woody got the most questions. Taylor won the game. Taylor won the game though with that bet at the end, right? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh well, you guys blew all your points. That's what happened. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I was shocked. shocked. <laughs> okay, I, I, Taylor. We'll come from behind victory, an underdog story. Okay, Taylor, then go ahead and pick your category. Let's do what we did last time where we kind of just snake on through. Let's do movie on the left. Okay, I like it. I like it. Which two Marvel superhero actors are in Scott Pilgrim versus the world? 
the actors names correct fuck uh, i haven't seen either, either of these movies um uh, i haven't seen it is what's his name is the guy from super bad in the marvel world john I cena no not john cena michael sarah <laughs> so scott pilgrim versus the world is a movie and yes he's uh, you said either of these movies. I got the impression you didn't. It's gonna know be a no go, oh, Chiz. The Marvel ones. Wow. Hold I on. We can surprised. we can we can fire out here. Let's Not even go. a guess. The uh, Marvel superhero. I think okay. incorrect we're gonna we're gonna go. Can I just? Doesn't it make sense to have incorrect guesses be a negative point? No. You guys would be in the negative pretty high if we're being honest. <laughs> I, I give everyone a shot to I guess no, on these things. I mean, if it was really I, one and gun at hardcore, you would all be in the red. If, Let's if be real. Nobody would answer. One, if the winner's negative one and the losers are negative two and three, I'm perfectly fine with that. We've still we've still figured it out. It would be hilariously game. incompetent. Wait, so we this carry is... over negative some previous win totals. But 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 I don't want to. It seems silly. Just I don't know the answer. I'm, I'm I, I redact my guess because I think that I'm thinking of Juno with Alan Page and Michael Sarah. I, I mean, you're really so. on a Michael Sarah kick. You're definitely right. He is in the film. Uh, the answer is Chris Evans and Brie Larson wow, made up Captain never. America and obviously Captain Marvel. Fuck. That's OK. That's all right. Okay. Let's do uh, that's good for me getting through movies with nobody getting a point. Let's do comic. This particular comic is a Pete that Hollywood has tried so hard to make happen for success, given so many chances with his own show named after him, as well as things like HBO's crashing. Who is this? Is a Pete. Uh, I'm still locked out. Apologies, Taylor. Is it Pete Davidson? That is incorrect. Fuck. Negative one. That's the only Pete I know. I will give you a hint. Artie Lang is related. He's in HBO's Crashing, so don't know if that helps Kyle or anyone. No, the no idea what those things are. Good God, these questions are hard. They wow, are. I didn't think they were that hard. He's made fun of all the time. It's Pete Holmes. Come on, he's had so many opportunities, so many shows over the years. I don't Pete know. Pete Holmes. Is. He just oh, keeps. Comic. Yeah, he just keeps dropping the ball. I, don't I, know, I, never, I couldn't take him out of the lineup. I don't know who that Fire is. Fire us off with the U.S. history. We'll win one okay. of these. Okay. okay. Now we're all on the same team. We this was the site of the first major battle during the American Revolution. Woody. Gettysburg? Fuck. That is incorrect. That is the That's Civil the War. war. Um, Taylor, go ahead. Fuck. Antietam is also the Civil War, isn't it? I don't even know what you said. Kyle, last to guess. Ah, uh, Boston. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? This doesn't count for anything. Is it really Bunker Hill? The answer is Bunker Hill, oh. Mr. Woodward. <laughs> Man. I, I just guessed saying. too quickly. Uh, fuck. I'm sort of you were a. Uh, about a hundred years off. All right, yeah. uh, Taylor. All right, Gen Y TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're burning through this be, fast. Major in zero. <laughs> Who famously said a baby's gonna do what a baby's gotta do? And what's what? We are in the uh, category of millennial television. Millennial television. A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. I feel like Kyle. I know, but I don't know. Rugrats. Oh no! I will He's... give it to you. The answer is Tommy Pickles. It is Rugrats. I, I could have given you Tommy Pickles. I, that's the only character I and um, his. Uh, the I, I give it to you. Kyle is on the board. Mm. Thank, uh, more TV. More oh, TV to win. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, this TV game show famously one. had contestants picking giant noses and sliding around in giant ice cream sundaes, looking for flags so that they and their family could win an all the rage DVD VHS combo machine. Kyle, you're a bit early there, but I will give it to you since nobody else came in. Was it? What would you do? That is incorrect, though it is in the same realm. You're in is the it, right realm. Taylor, you're up. Double Dare 2000? We were looking for Double Dare slash Double Dare 2000. <laughs> oh, strong. strong, Taylor. There we go. There we go. One to one, I believe, mm -hmm. score with a big old goose egg for everyone else. Everyone being right. Woody. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean that uh, to come it? off so rude it really Just did sports. it's going to be a fucking basketball <laughs> <laughs> in various sports what is it called when a pass leads to a pass leads to another pass which results in scoring pass pass score 
Uh, Woody and Taylor, you both jumped the gun. I'm going to reset the buzzer now. No, no, no. No. Still Woody won. still beat Taylor, so <laughs> go ahead, Woody. An assist. I'm going to need a more specific answer. I need clarification. I need I know, uh, yeah. a particular kind of an assist, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is it a... I don't. It's an assist. You suck because you're not giving me credit for that. <laughs> no. This assist. is very specific. Pass, pass, score. All right. Can I answer now? I'm going to have to give it, move on to Taylor. Taylor? It's a secondary assist. Okay. That is the correct term in hockey. It is a hockey assist. That is what oh. it's called, though, specifically in hockey. I didn't write it. It's secondary assist. I didn't like that question. Secondary assist. Assist. It's a secondary assist, baby. <laughs> Did you give him credit <laughs> for that? Yeah, I got credit. Yes, because it was secondary assist slash hockey assist. I just didn't write secondary. I really didn't think anyone was going to say that proper term. I just, everybody hears hockey assist in different sports. Uh -huh. I love it. Excellent <laughs> job, Kamish. I specifically <laughs> wrote in parentheses, pass, pass, no, score. Roger Goodell no moment right there. You are <laughs> killing it. Oh, All right, get us with, uh, with a movie slash TV. One of us will get the movie TV. What Oscar-winning Spielberg movie was Jerry Seinfeld making out with his girlfriend with while a pesky neighbor caught them? <laughs> Kyle. Chandler's List. Yeah, I fucked that one up, but that is correct, and you buzzed in right on time. Thank you, Kyle, oh. for being on the board. For being uh, on the board. <laughs> geography. Geography. Hit us with there the geography. Goes, the geography. This okay. geometric region of Moscow was partly looked over by the Kremlin and the Nikosilaka Tower. Kyle. Red Square. And the answer is the Red Square. Kyle on a heater of two in a row. <laughs> heater, an absolute heater. I just have Let's to wait go for the three people at Georgia much. with military. Oh, taking us out of the... Please of the correctly list. say these letters in the NATO phonetic alphabet, P-K-A-R-S-K. -K. Woody, wow, just got it in right on time. Go for it. I need a second. Um... Papa Kilo Alpha Romeo Sierra Kilo. That is correct. You know your worthless stuff. Someone's got a ham radio license around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. It's better than just playing Call of Duty. We just have most people know those. He's certified. In, God damn it. <laughs> you made the w military question about like what kind of all they use to make wooden ships. <laughs> be my category. Uh, Woody. Woody is on the board, I believe now. <laughs> uh, Rando. What was the mascot for Toys R Us, and what was his name? Woody. It was a giraffe, and his name was Jerry. Oh my God, that's what I was gonna say. It was Jerry the giraffe. <laughs> yeah, it's Jerry. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't sure about the Jerry. I wasn't part, either, but I thought, is it Jerry the giraffe? Dude, this sucks actually knowing them and, and clicking into oh, it. Imagine actually getting them right and them still giving them to somebody else. Oh. I'll take places. Places. Very distinct from geography. Using the historically <laughs> accurate original location name, where may you have found Jack Nicholson sitting in a folding chair enjoying himself? Historically accurate original. Think about it. Okay. I'm going to have to work backward from The Shining. That's what I think of. I would have but thought he didn't do a lot of relaxing. Isn't this... This is a real location. This is really Jack Nicholson himself, not a character. This is real oh, life. Is... Oh. In real oh. life, where do I find Jack Nicholson in a folding chair? Taylor, you have buzzed in first. Yeah, really? He's, he's sitting courtside yeah. on at a basketball game. Hang on, he needs to. Tell I need you a specific Lakers, answer. Lakers, Lakers. It says right there, using the historically. I'm gonna have to go on to Kyle. You said Lakers court. That's not the answer, Kyle. Is it the Staples Center? It is in fact the Staples Center. Fuck you. Oh, that's how you this do is it. Rigged. That's how you do it. You read and would you place. really expect the quiz game to accept the place where the Lakers play when it says <laughs> you see these sportly accurate yeah, original ah, location ah, names? They play fucking... all over the country. God. <laughs> Everyone throw a tantrum in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> the Lakers play in Boston before. Get out of here with that bullshit. Man. You got your hockey assist question, which was made the fuck up. That's okay, the what name of it. Everyone went, knows that specific. was nonsense. Yeah, you asterisk boy. Off. Uh, Kyle, Kyle is, is your real Kobe. 
burnt and destroyed. What are you going for, Kyle? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just being bored. I was like, is that a category? Um, what, whatever's like literally next in line. Is it rando history. again? Okay. It's history. 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 What year did Hawaii and Alaska officially become U.S. states? Kyle. 1937. That is incorrect. Taylor, you were next on the buzz in. 1948. That is also incorrect. What do you got a 50-50 shot here? I do, but I already knew it was one of those. Um... <laughs> I thought it was 48 so hard. <laughs> we fought uh... World War II and it wasn't even a state? <laughs> I'm gonna say... That's correct, Kyle. <laughs> Damn, we, got, we got hoodwinked 59. on that one. Yeah, That's it's pretty good. recent. <laughs> We're getting out of here. What did this you say, is Woody? Even our problem. D. It is, in fact, 1959. It was that recent. Son of a bitch. Uh, Rando oh, again. Award. Rando again. What is the forbidden word not allowed to be said in a theater for fear of superstitious bad luck? Kyle, you buzzed in too early. I'm going to have to give it to Taylor. I'm... Fire. <laughs> what? No, that is no, so no. wrong. No, uh, I'm it... sorry. Is it good luck? What do you were next? What did you good say? Luck. Good luck. It is not good luck. Kyle, Break back to you. Break a leg. Kyle. Break a leg? That's not a word. It is dude. not break I mean, a leg. I have no idea. Well, I thought it was fire. So I'm just like in the wind. Oh, now. really? Oh, no, I know. Yeah, the word, bring bad luck I, I know the word, just... but I don't think I can say I it on say YouTube. It. I got I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will give you all a hint. I spelled theater like a British person for a reason. Ah, Cunt. Uh, You're in the right realm. That person loved to use those words. The forbidden word not allowed uh, to be said in the a theater. <laughs> uh, I think he's not He's not just leading us to racial I, I slurs. Hold on. I, I, know. Con- I, I don't bad. even know what that's in reference to. In a theater. No, nah, it's a. You're not supposed to say the name of the anything. play. It's a fucking. You might as well tell me that you don't wear panties. Like you are, yeah, yeah, you know you don't wear well panties known. on no, in Zach, November. Give us all a point for that one. <laughs> <laughs> <Have it. laughs> uh, who's? Is it my turn? Uh, it uh, is. Kyle got the last one again. Sectors. Oh, Woody, Woody, you got 1959, right? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Yeah, he gave him the point. Sectors is fine. Okay. What industry is synonymous with and arguably the capital of these cities? New York, London, Paris, and Milan. Oh, I would have buzzed in too early. Taylor. No, I didn't. Fashion. I did not. The fashion industry. I have oh, to what? finish reading the question. I finished reading the question. That's why I hard scoped <laughs> it. I waited till he finished Milan. Fashion. I always supposed to know everyone's being fair at their own reading comprehension level. It's when I finish reading the question, you're allowed to buzz in. Yeah, because the listeners got to hear him ask it. It's fashion, yeah. right? It is, in fact, is it fashion? fashion. Is it fashion? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fashion. You're packing my good grace. One of my correct answers question. they've given Taylor. Excellent question and a good job keeping the riffraff out. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's too What are you on? I don't know who's good grace is, but uh, or Taylor. Uh, I think Kyle skipped ahead and did military already, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's do olden history. All right. What ancient figure was known as the Great Macedonian? Taylor. Alexander. Can we be Alexander a little the more Great? Specific? All right. Alexander the Great, Alexander the Third. That is correct. You were the only one that buzzed in. Yes. All right. Really? Next. All right. Hit us with game time up on the right. What are Excuse these? Are multiple wonder? choice ones? Or wait, wonder, wonder. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is the only still standing ancient wonder of the world? Kyle buzzed in first. The the Great Pyramid. It is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Yes. I would have liked a little more specificity there. I was going to ask for it, but it felt a little nitpicky. <laughs> I can name any other ancient wonders. If it was me, he would have said name, no. I, I, I could probably get all the ancient pyramid wonders. Pyramid of Giza. Giza. <laughs> like, <laughs> the tertiary pyramid. <laughs> all right, well, Kyle, it's your board. Well done, Kyle. Uh, let's see. Let's go to whiteboard time. Okay. No, whiteboard don't spoil time. whiteboard time. Let's uh, save okay. It for the game end. time. It's, it is game time. Des- it is whiteboard time. Is dessert. That's what we get after finishing dinner. What was the name of the company that created the portal gun? Was it Black Mesa, Aperture Science, Glados AI, or Gemin, Freeman, and Travel? Uh, Taylor, you did uh, buzz in first. It's Aperture Science. 
is in fact yeah. Aperture Science. I will say I had to make up that a couple other names, and I, I'm a big fan of G-Man and Freeman Travel. Those that know those <laughs> games, and free man you get a giggle out of that one. GLaDOS AI was a good one. That that's a good Thank throw-off you. one. You're bored. Uh, do the one hidden by the lock and load and Pharaoh Distrial. Uh, okay, 360 Cogs. Not trying to bring a plague your way. Just tell me what was the name of the original enemy race in the first Gears of War game? Kyle. I didn't, play, didn't play any of these games. Is in fact the locust. Uh, I, 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 I have a cog hanging from my rear view mirror to this day. I have the cog tags. Like it's just like two of them, and it says like, Whoa, that's, that's cool. cool. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm no trying to share a little million dollars. I mean, I have my graduation tassel, but that's cool, too. You're doing, you're doing a little uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Slumdog Millionaire thing. Let's let you know how these are coming to me. And you got to be a fan. <laughs> uh, movie stuffs. Uh, trivia is fun. What film franchise did a stunt woman end up losing her arm due to a catastrophic stunt failure? Bonus for the exact film. Kyle. Was it Resident Evil? It was Resident Evil, so you win that point. Can you tell me which film it was in the franchise? Take a stab was at Resident it. Evil, was it Resident Evil Apocalypse? It was not. That's, in fact, the second film in the franchise. I, I, just, uh, I knew it was one of them. You know, they're, they yeah. have stupid names. No, it was I'm good gonna, that you got one. I'm going to say it was Resident Evil 3. That's not a film. Um, what do you want Resident to throw against? Resident Evil 1. <laughs> Thing. No, it is oh, not. The first one. No, there was definitely the a last first one. chapter. Was, there was there, a first one. <laughs> there was a first one. You, that you is said true. the just... last one. You'd have got. <laughs> is it the secondary Resident Evil? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's the last one. It's literally Ooh. called the last chapter. I get a point for that, right? No. Yeah, you got the first part. <laughs> yeah. Just making sure. I, I didn't know mm. if I was at seven or eight before. It's not. Oh, I lost my board. Where's the board? All right. Where do you it's want back. to go? Uh, we'll, we'll just keep going in order, you know, never get it, I believe. Okay, no, you're never oh, going to yeah, get this one. Sense. Actually, you might be the only person that does get this. Well, oh, In my fair. favorite really episode nice. of The Twilight Zone, it's a simple story, just a man and his hunting dog walking through the woods. Not revealed until later, the dog saves the man from something. What is it? Kyle. Oh, well, he's saving him from the devil luring him to hell, but of course dogs aren't allowed in hell, so the dog starts barking, and the man says, if there aren't uh, dogs allowed in heaven. I don't even want to go. And so he kept, continues down the path where he meets the real angel who takes him, or St. Peter probably, who takes him to heaven where dogs are, of course, loud. I'm sorry, but we were looking for the exact correct answer. You nailed it Ooh, above and beyond. Going to you hell, were... no dogs. Damn. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. I wrote the other stuff he did too. I just figured it wasn't necessary. I didn't think anyone would get it but him, maybe. No. It's also All my right. favorite episode of The Twilight Zone. I cry every time. Woody and I are going to so make funny. a union <laughs> against these. Kyle I don't Sanders. think so. You stole two of his questions from him. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we're we're a strong allegiance when it needs to happen. All right, oh, name that go flag. Name that flag. Everybody, buzzer's ready. As soon as it pops up. Oh, whoops! I hit the wrong button. I what closed my eyes. I closed <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> I'm a good sport. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is that country's flag? Woody. It. Argentina. It is Argentina. It is, in fact, Argentina. How slow was I? Can you tell? You were. You just came in like a millisecond after him. Mm. All I right. I was like, I want name to that name flag too. Everybody ready? Buzzers ready. ready. What country's flag is this? Woody. Netherlands. That is incorrect. Taylor, you were next. It is the fucking the Falkland Islands. That's even further away. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Kyle, you want to throw a guess out there? All right. Work backwards. It's nope. not Sweden. <laughs> Sweden. It might be Japan. Oh. It's a non-zero chance. Uh, I, I'm going to guess uh, that's Sweden. I'm sorry. It was, in fact, Iceland. Very close. Uh, close. I picked a tricky close. one. Close. Mm -hmm. You were the closest. The Falkland Islands aren't even the right Right. Country. Woody... We're going to... Where am I? It was Falkland Islands. Oh. I panicked. You should lose a point. What country would you find this dish in? Shrimp and lemon? Fucking anywhere, dude. I don't know. Uh, Kyle has buzzed in. Italy. That is incorrect. Taylor, you were next. I'm going to go Spain. The answer is, in fact, Spain. Does anyone oh. want to take a guess at what that is? 
That is... Bonus point. Shrimp a la magnifique. I'm surprised Kyle didn't get this. He's the cooking guy. No, it's paella. Paella. Okay. Yep. Oh, is that, All that's right. way better than any paella I've ever had. Here we go. What country would you find this dish in? Ugh. The Kyle fun. has buzzed in. Uh, Scotland. It is in fact Scotland. Uh, oh, Kyle, bonus point. What is that? That's uh, known as haggis. Yeah, he knew that. That is one. correct, I guess. Well done. All right. We're going to go to the whiteboard now. All right. Kyle, go ahead and pick your category. Huh. Oh, shit. Out to break it out. Um, how about... it out. <laughs> Do it. Uh, no balls. I, I'm, I'm not. I, I, I this is for all of you, by the way. It is a whiteboard. These are whiteboard questions. Sorry. Dude, so did you make us do that yeah, and make me look retarded? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I have more on the line. I don't claim to suck at math, but I yeah, like I, I do claim to do to do so. Um, I'm gonna go with wasted thinking because that seems right up my fucking alley. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right. The name the three man, great man. ancient Greek philosophers. All of you do this, and when you're ready. Get, you know, let us know you're ready. All right, I'm good. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I'm missing one. I'm missing two. Oh, oh, might get a little point on this one if you can't remember. Maybe I'm taking for granted my one philosophy class in fucking community college. I thought this wasn't that hard. It's not. I pull things like this from fucking pop culture and movies because I didn't go to college. <laughs> well, there's a very famous movie that talks about one of them. All right. You should get one. How many squirrels did Kyle kill in 1996? 1996, folks. That'd be the kind of question. Oh, I see Kyle thinking. Taylor, did you get all three? Yeah. What, what would you put down? <laughs> what would you put down? <laughs> Taylor, you're, Taylor, you're gonna. I'm gonna have you reveal last, Taylor, since I, I know you know it. So you reveal last. Okay. I think we're gonna have to wrap up pretty soon. I'll, I'll here, give, yeah, I'll give in. I'll give in. I'm, I, I have two. All right, Kyle. Uh, what did you say? You got one, or you got two? Um, who knows? I wrote <laughs> three. Right, let's see your board then. I put Plato, Socrates, and Archimedes. Okay. Okay. Okay, noted. Uh, Kyle? Only only Socrates and Plato. Yours is backwards. Okay, Socrates and Plato. Socrates. And Plato and Aristotle. Uh, and there's Taylor with it. Yes. yes. Taylor, what order did they go in? Uh, it went Socrates, Plato, Plato and then Aristotle. Correct. No. That doesn't mean anything, no. but... Oh, yeah, no, correct. what? That's... <laughs> You positive. Right. I, you I, have to write it down. You didn't write it in the right order. It kind of disappointed me, to be honest. I said I just said the ones I thought of, and then I I listed it correctly. So one. Because I so know three, the, two, one, three uh, two one uh, on the points. So no Travis. credit, I assume. You get one. No, you get a point for each person. So you and got two. Woody, get, Kyle got uh, two, and Taylor got three. I don't get a fourth for saying it correctly. No. No, you're doing mm -hmm. fine. Shut up. Oh, uh, you're gonna Taylor. do better than anyone, probably. My heart. You don't need the help. Right. Hit me so, with Taylor. Uh, Taylor, you 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 pick. You got more right. All right. I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, but let's go heart of the cards. The fact that you knew that was Yu-Gi-Oh puts you at a significant advantage already. Massive, massive, <laughs> massive. Enjoy this one, viewers and listeners. Hey guys, just simply write down five Yu-Gi-Oh characters, monsters, cards from the oh, show fuck? slash card game. That's it. You got a huge selection. That's all we need. So Is everyone I, at home can have I, fun. I a a protest to the commissioner, <laughs> the board, mm, every coach. This is a Pokemon question. No, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it's a Yu-Gi-Oh. It says Yu-Gi-Oh. It's more obscure card game. Wait, Yu-Gi-Oh is not Pokemon. What is it? It's a new game, a whole totally separate entity of game. It's a it's a also a game about little creatures that you make fight. Has nothing to do with Pokemon. It's a whole other universe. It's Marvel and DC. These characters have it's a whole card game I've ne I don't know shit. shit about. Not fucking shit. It's okay. I gave you the option to just name pretty much anything from the show or the card game okay. that's over 25 okay. years old at this point. Can you put the question back up?
Um, everyone at home can feel really smart right now because everyone at home in the comments will blow this away. I think I might have some. I, I'm really curious how Taylor's, he has the most chance of hitting anything here. I'm just going to, I'm curious what you come up with. Fuck, what's the name of that fucking, the wizard? Hey, don't give it away to your opponents. They need help. Uh, okay. <laughs> Trying to picture scenes from that show and the monsters that would pop up. What? I didn't really watch that show, so that's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but, all right, in the commercials I saw. How much time I, do you need to not know right. or know something? I don't know. Kyle right, wrote got, a whole book. I'm really curious about his. So I've got, um, so there's Dragon, uh, there's Dino, Rocky, Electro, there's Yugi ho um, <laughs> uh, Wizard Man, and uh, the Sexy Jap Girl. All right, that's that, not bad. I, that came off a little racist, but. Did uh, he get any? points uh no but he got close with one in describing it accurately Yippee. i have you gi oh <laughs> <and girl. laughs> honestly woody you, you could have gotten close if you just used some of those letters in the different <laughs> <combination>. <laughs> I, I just, okay. in fact now, woody if you just took the first two you did and didn't separate them that would have been an answer all right, oh, come on, me, it. Are good. Is it Yugi, Kaiba, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Kari, Karibo, and Dark Magician? Is that holy a, is, shit? Taylor with an extra one, six for six, but only gets five points. Nailed them all. Uh, huh. I will give Kyle a point for saying the Wizard Man, so he because he identified something no. correctly. No. And I will give. Well, don't give him I, a Wizard Man clue. That's trash. I got. I worked hard for this, Taylor. This was not their what? question by a mile. I knew it wasn't <laughs> going to be. It was for entertainment purposes. Oh, and and Woody, you also get a point for, you know, if you for had Gurgle. you and then Guy, if you just put those together, that was one. So they were All really right, close. Right, right. So you both, Kyle and Woody get a point. No, Taylor, five. Woody, Woody point. does not get a point for the, for you, oh, Guy. He gets a, Woody, Woody gets a point for Gurgle. That's what his <laughs> point is. For. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Does these things sound like to me? <laughs> oh man! Oh, that was a big round, friends. That was, that was a big round. Uh, you uh, there you go, Taylor. Band. Yeah, some of those are memes. Here's something went up. All right, as Taylor. I remember still... the dragon one? I was like, oh, I'm in the mix with those two. Yeah, just change the color of the eyes. All right, still your board. All right, growing in biology. Growing. All in right. Biology. Name all the life stages of a butterfly. A point for each, and bonus points if you can tell me the different named part of a moth cycle, because they're very, they're pretty much the same, except one is named differently, and then it turns into a, you know, moth. So, point for each part of the cycle. Be very specific. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh... You guys didn't have that, like, elementary oh, school thing yeah. where you raise monarch butterflies or something? We did not. I'm trying to oh. remember. Okay, I know a couple. Two of animals. these are uh, also, I believe, Pokemon and also Yu-Gi-Oh creatures. So if that helps anyone. Oh, uh, no you know, more. let's see a Pokemon. I just... <laughs> Dude, Gurgle kills me. That's so funny. <laughs> Just writing gurgle. I'm glad you got a point for that. <laughs> Zach, are these points accurate? Kyle's at 14 and Taylor's at 15. Oh yeah, that's that was crazy. a big ass round. Wow, that's crazy. All right, I I I, I don't know much about this, so I've just got. Some I don't words. know either. Yeah, I just wrote uh, a couple. So I said mm -hmm. egg, pupa, caterpillar, cocoon, and butterfly. Hmm. Okay. No, the phase. Oh, I put. Chrysalis, cocoon, and rebirth. <laughs> Chrysalis. All right, this was not Taylor's round. I, I didn't know. I put larvae, caterpillar, chrysalis, adult butterfly. Okay, I think Taylor and uh, what do you get to? I think Kyle got the most. We're looking for egg, caterpillar, or larva. Same thing. Chrysalis is specific to butterflies, and then butterfly, and a cocoon is specific to moths. So it's a chrysalis for a butterfly, it's a cocoon for a moth. So I think, uh, Zach, if you tally them, I think Kyle did the best in naming the most parts. Dude, two I got points, three. Two points there is not bad. I'm staying, I'm in the mix. 
Unless you give me two points for caterpillar and larvae. So I, I do not because as I had them in parentheses, they are the same thing. Well, then I got a three. I only got two right. All right. And well, it Kyle is Kyle's uh, Kyle Kyle's Well, it's time for Hoop Dreams. Let's hope it's about the movie <laughs> White Man Can't Jump. Starring Wesley related. and Woody Harrelson. <laughs> List the NBA team no! with the number of NBA championships with the number of victories. And I will use my discretion to see how close you were to the total or award points. So a point for the team, point for the number. Teams is in parentheses. I don't know if that throws you off or not, but you know, use your discretion. Oh my God! Who? Okay, uh, basketball teams. Wait, it was top five. No, this is yeah. Keep it up, Zach. It's just the number that list the NBA team with the highest. They they have won the most championships, oh, and then the won. number of championships they've won. Or if they're tied, then it'd be two teams. Okay, okay, okay. That's possible. I don't know this one. Okay, I'm good. I, I'm I fuck. All right, back. I know you fuck. You slay, man. But did you, you finish slay. writing on the whiteboard? I'm done with. I'm done on the whiteboard. I I, I don't know. Would you? All right, let's go with Kyle first. Fourteen. Celtics, Celtics 14. fourteen. All right, good guess, Taylor. But Lakers six. All right, I've got no comment. Uh, Woody, you're up. I'm guessing. I put Celtics and Lakers thirteen. All right, I'm going to award. Kyle, what was your number again? 14. I think I said 14, but I erased. Okay. I'm going to give two points to Kyle because he got the Celtics and he got 14. Uh, Taylor, you get one point. Oh. And I believe Woody gets four points right here because, it's in fact, the LA Lakers and Boston Celtics at 17 each. They are tied right now. So mm. oh, I, I was surprised Kyle got as close as he did. So. <laughs> All right, I'll take uh, a point. Four? Oh, I Miller thought I won. nailed the number, too. Oh, I was like, I guessed the number. <laughs> you got fucking pretty damn were... close for not knowing I anything. Gonna... I was like, they're going to accuse me of cheating now. I didn't. <laughs> I guessed the number? Because like, <laughs> I didn't know if the number should be 8 or 28. I just picked a number that sounded right. I have no idea about basketball. There's yeah, only one was... left, right? Algebraic it out? And as yeah, in fact, algebraic it out, we're going to leave on a heater for sure. What the fuck is this question going to be? What do each of these basic algebraic equations mean? So just tell me, what is that formula doing? Uh, length times width times height, base times height divided by 2, pi r squared, and 2 pi r. Fuck Google, it wouldn't let me show the pi symbol. Okay. It kept changing it into a fucking staples, like a staple. So... And then obviously we have the final question at the end. Wait, what's the second one? Base the second height. one is base times height divided by two or half oh, div- times base times height. Same thing. Oh, fuck. This well. is embarrassing. Uh, Thank you, Jack. This hasn't been relevant in my life in a long time. Yeah. I know, but I feel like these are just pounded into your head so much that the you'd be wrong. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone knew PEMDAS last time, so pi r squared. Oh, I think I might know that. The pi symbol kept dying. Thank you for putting that stuff in there. Two All right. Um, I'm as close as I'm going to get because, like, yeah, I wrote my yeah. answers. They're not going to change. So we'll see what I get. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Kyle seems pretty confident. So, I, Zach, no, don't, 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 don't take that from this. Um, I, th- I thought the first one was the area of a square, the second was the area of a triangle, uh, then area of a circle, and then volume of a sphere. Okay. 
Uh, Woody? <laughs> oh, I don't That's like right. that. <laughs> well, I don't have it up. I have to remember correctly myself how many you I got right. The first one was to find the volume of a rectangle, but I was going for some sort of cube that didn't have Okay. To be a yeah. Circle. Yeah. The next one is find the area of a triangle. The last one is find the area of a circle and the circumference of a circle. Okay, Woody and Taylor. Oh, I don't think I got any. I put area of a cube, area of a triangle, area of a circle, and volume oh of a. Uh, so I was going to put just, sphere, but then I wrote square like an idiot. So I, I believe Kyle know. got two, Taylor got three, and Woody got four. Here are the answers. The first one is volume of rectangle. A cube would also work. Uh, area of a triangle for the second one. Area of a circle for the third one. And circumference of a circle for the last Out one. I, think, I got all I think four. Woody got them all. I misread the first one. I sh- if I'd read a little bit more, I would... Yeah right. I, yeah, you're like that's not two dimensions. I know that. When I remember, when I when I remembered that one, I thought it also area of a square. I punched into Google to be safe, and I was like, oh right, there's th- you would just do it's a height rectangle. Time. It's a, height times width. There is no yeah. there's no third dimension. Exactly. It's the same. Wait. Yep. So Woody got all four, and then how yes. many did Kyle get? He got two, two. I and I got and three. You got three. So I'm, yep. I'm tied up with Kyle in the the runnings. The cooler on Yeah, I don't know what the point totals are. It says 19 gurgles for Woody, 22 for <laughs> Kyle, and 22 for Taylor. This is anyone's Ooh. game, so... It's anyone's uh, game. I'm going to be the fucking problem. Yeah, that wasn't ideal, but I guess we... So last question, I will uh, give the... I want. I will tell you the category. It is about famous artists, okay? Famous artists. Famous mm-hmm. artists. So, so we write a number of points that we want to... Uh, Wager? wager now, yes. Right, whether it's none, you line them up, I'll knock them down. You wager them. Just keep the wager somewhere in the top right, top of your screen, and then you'll write your answer when the question comes, and we'll do the big reveal afterwards. Okay, ready to go. You wager them in the top right. Okay. Oh, I may not want to do. A famous art. Modern artist? Just famous artist. Famous? Well, you don't know any modern artists. Is Banksy? Yeah, I, I, that's I, the I, only I, yeah, that's the only one I know too. Exactly. Kanye. Oh. Hunter Biden. Oh, and uh, Cancer. Tell me whose work is going for more than Hunter Biden's right now. Huh? Huh? I don't think anybody wants his work. Probably smells weird. Oh, please. It sells for hundreds of thousands. Of yeah, that's true. Awesome. <laughs> Only to <the> government. <laughs> My dad loves these paintings. You wouldn't believe what he pays. Defense contractors eat his shit up. Oh, they love it. <laughs> How funny would be to see Zelensky, his art. Zelensky is giving like an address and you see like eight original Bidens <laughs> in the background on the walls. Just the whole blowing. palace is decorated with these crummy <laughs> fucking paintings. <laughs> this is terrible paintings. This is an original Biden. That would be hilarious. And then uh, I'm you all have your uh, you all have your wagers. Yeah. I've got well, my wager right. down. Here is the question: This famous artist was exhumed in 2017 to settle a paternity suit. His mustache had preserved its classic ten past ten position, according to the Spanish press. Wow, I think Kyle knows this. This Kyle, is, do you know this? Yeah. There's a lot of clues in there to. Whittle down a couple guesses, I think, if you just know some names. So, and I think I got out. But by the way, I should, I should like, I think it's clear that I'm not like altering my, my wager, because <laughs> that would be shitty. If I if I went now, and went, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not changing. Wager, my, uh, and I might be wrong, but I think I got it. I got it. I don't you know. definitely. You all have your answers. I'm like 90% yeah. sure that... All right, well, Kyle's most probably. confident. He'll go last. He'll go last. You're most confident. So, well, you're the big reveal if you know it, you know. All right, uh, Woody, let's go with you. <laughs> I only know one artist with the famous mustache. Is it Hitler? <laughs> okay, get off that screen. Wipe his... Over. I saw four he points. You just points. everything. I just lost four points. Hey, hey, that five. might be eight points. They might be... <laughs> <laughs> An original Ooh, Hitler. We're talking about original Bidens. Uh, no, all right, I like move on to Taylor. I say let him keep his points. Twelve o'clock, even. I, I can't hear you, Kyle. Don't show your wager. Show your answer. Okay. All right, Taylor, reveal yours. 
Oh, okay. Salvador. He went with Salvador Dali, Spanish painter. That's a good guess. Okay. I also oh. went with Salvador Dali. All right. Let's reveal the answer. It's Picasso. No, of course. It's Salvador Dali. He had the mustache. Come on. Taylor, what did you wager? I wagered seven. Well, then I lose. I, I wagered nothing. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> another <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 this, this this franchise is unstoppable we can't be stopped Salvatore Dali killing it felt Seven a lot more points. legit than your first win that Although was some of those points were probably supposed to be mine mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised well, I just gotta say how close that's that game big. was with some of those whiteboard questions where Taylor just ran away with it Kudos to both of you. I mean, Kyle was tied with Taylor for like the whole game, which is insane because he went six for six on a goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh question, and I gave <laughs> Kyle one. Okay, <laughs> for describing one properly. So that's yeah. crazy. Good job. And Woody got a we got one for gurgles. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then he lost it with Hitler. I mean, you know, bad and good, yin and yang. No, I, I like it. Zoomed he, him. He, he, they he zoomed him. They exhumed Salvador Dali. Yes, he was not the yeah. father, in fact. I didn't have a better guest. Yeah, yeah. I know, but the yeah. mustache, I mean, Hitler's mustache is like 12 o'clock dead center. You know, it doesn't, it's straight up and Heck, down. Heck, what winner down there? Nine and three. I was going to, I couldn't wager anything into artists. I don't know anything, really. It's a miracle I knew that. Yeah, so, I didn't. I, I'm, I was surprised when I knew that also. I thought his name was Salvatore, like Salvatore, uh, not Salvador. It may hmm. be. How's it correctly spelled, Chiz? Because that I was. It's Salvador. It's Salvador. It's well it's spelled anyway. Salvador. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> it's well, already in the, the guy, record books. He spelled the guy's name wrong. We're gonna it's already we're gonna in the record that? books, folks. It's already. He in. said Salvador Dali. Yeah. And what is he Portuguese? Said, no, it's said Spanish. Said West, assist, Taylor. And that Come wasn't on. good enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when he says assist, and that ain't good enough. It's got to be a hockey assist, like hot. Like we couldn't have just said sports assist. Like that wasn't good enough. We had a specific sport. But all of a sudden, hey, look and misspell the guy's name. Chiz, you are killing it. You've done a wonderful job. With, with <laughs> I didn't hear this earlier. This, in, this, this was results orientated. Comment. Everybody in the comments. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe we just uh, hey, job. I'm gonna just write a bunch of letters and and people let ask me. They say, who do, I write? who do I want to run? Chiz, what's this look like? What's this look like? I wrote. Ah, looks like you wrote Leonardo da Vinci. Yep, sure is. <laughs> what do you wager? How much do you think I wager? Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Asterisk. No, no they're just, you, you hate us because hey, they ain't people us. out there, you saw it. You saw what he wrote. You saw one of us spelled the man's name right. One of us did not. I shouldn't have even brought that did up. Did you have <laughs> the accent over the eye, Kyle? No, he didn't. Like a fucking Okay. Big, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, then. It was incorrect as well. I'm sorry. Yes, it's a draw. We win. Thank with Hitler. What do you want with Hitler? Yeah, I spelled Hitler reason. correctly. Yeah, you killed it with Hitler. Hey, but I practiced through his K through 12 education, <laughs> writing it over and over. All right, next next time, have a category that's about Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that way, we can let Woody shine. An entire category category called the Third Reich. That would be mm. this misunderstood from. genius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just wanted to paint German shepherds. Uh, falsely accused. <laughs> that Asterisk. would be funny, man. That's a big win. That's a huge win, folks. I, People are Asterisk. saying it. Everywhere. Everybody out there. Everybody out Asterisk. there was saying, Taylor, you got to win one for the little guys. You got to win one for the for those of us out there who are with hairy shoulders. With hairy shoulders, <laughs> that's who you need to win it for. And I brought it home for you guys. I was more than happy to. And next time we do it, we're going three and zero. We're going three and zero. We can't be mm. stopped. The money line for me is crazy good. I, I'm like a I'm like a minus five hundred for the next one. I don't know so how I feel about this final Jeopardy like like wagering thing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm just gonna I wager seven every time, and I keep. I wagered it all the first time. Seven, the number of no. Christ. By the way, when so. Kyle knew the answer, and I was like, "Well, I I know that I'm going to fifteen, and no matter what he wagered, if since he knew the answer, he was ahead of me. I knew I wasn't winning. Yeah." yeah. Yeah, you game I was, just, I was hoping yeah. that you also didn't wager anything and I was just going to win by default. But you were ahead, I think, anyway, so it didn't matter. No, you were tied at 22. Oh, were we? That would have been... Oh, we were. So. We were tied at 22 and I was surprised you wagered nothing given that I probably 
you know, had as good a chance as you have, as knowing. It. I thought Kyle bet it all because he was so happy that he knew the answer. He didn't want anyone to think that he changed his like the. He's like, I know this, but I'm not going to let anyone. I, I don't want you to think that I changed the amount I wagered. Meanwhile, it's the worst possible number. Yeah, I'm trying to entertain <laughs> here. I want the people on bated breath. Yes, yeah, and, and that was that's why I'm having Taylor like like reveal his wager and everything. You know, that's why I mean that was very honorable of you. Like that was mm. respectful, respectable. Let's get give a I hand in the comments for for second place, first loser, Kyle for being honorable for not yep. changing his wager because yeah. it would be easy as shit to cheat <laughs> with the wager part. Add a new uh, number there. Oh, oh, Kyle's got forty five points. Oh, how that happen? How'd that happen? Do that to you. Oh, that's big. That's big for confidence. You know, someone's ordering themselves a pizza after this. <laughs> <laughs> you treat yourself, King. What are you gonna get? What are you gonna get, King? Tell me um, about how about I'm gonna try. I'm gonna actually try not to. Actually, you know what? I did just win a big match. Shaq has his get. own pizza now. Is it like cheaper than like LeBron's pizza? I think it's, a, I think it's enormous and it's covered with like way too much pepperoni. I saw the commercial and he's like, "Nah, fam," and he like grabs a Shaq size handful of pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, then I would like that because if I get a pizza tonight, it's going to be pep, always pep. So it's, yeah. it's the number one topping for a reason. Pineapples and jalapenos. Jalapenos are great. Pineapples. We've had this discussion, and I won't. I won't relitigate. Sweet and it. spicy. That's how I do it. Yeah. Well, you're not a winner in my book, but hey, uh, uh, Kyle, you said earlier <laughs> I don't get to write name... the book. <laughs> you, you're not you said a winner earlier. in my book. <laughs> do you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You said earlier you could name the other ancient wonders of the world. Oh, I think there's six more. You want to try them? Um, I think I can the, get some. What's the, uh, the, is it the... Are we going to write them down or are we just saying? So the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the, um, what is it of Rhodes? It's Colossus. Like the, uh, the Colossus of Rhodes. The uh, Stonehenge one? No, that's not an no. ancient wonder, I don't believe. Oh. Um, there's... Fuck, these are harder than I thought. Obviously, the, the Great Pyramid Giza. Oh, uh, isn't the Pyramid of like Teclohitian or whatever that like Aztec one? Is that in there? I don't, I didn't nope. think so. I, I think we so you got Colossus of Rhodes, Great Pyramid of Giza, and Hang Gardens of Babylon. Hang Gardens of Babylon. The other oh, ones, oh, are... Great Wall of China. Mm -hmm. uh, nope. What? That's not an ancient wonder of the world? No, nope. nah, only white wonders. Oh, well, damn. Yes, most of these are in Europe. Oh, the Colosseum. No. Nope. How about the Parthenon? Parthenon. Nope. That's got to be in there, right? Well, shit, uh, man. I, you know, I only got the some. White House of Alexandria. Oh, that's it. Hey, that's one. Yeah. What do you got? Okay. One. Yeah. The Mausoleum. Get the of fuck off the internet. Right 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 <laughs> the Ma hey, on, hang on. He's <laughs> because he's. I know it because he said the Mausoleum. It's the Mausoleum of like Hernaculus or something, right? Or for, yeah. Of, uh -huh, uh -huh. Hernaculus. Yeah. Just, yeah. just thinking. I remember that from the Statue of Zeus. <laughs> I love that. What he's like, oh, the mausoleum. Of... I was like, all right, a Lighthouse of Alexandria, library. Maybe he made that. And then he went right into the mausoleum. I'm like, all right, no, no, no. We're reading Wikipedia uh, right now. It's come to me as if in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, big win, big win. <laughs> yeah, dude. Congratulations, Stan. Well done. Thank you. For me. You're, thank you thank I'm happy you. I got the math one. It was the one I had my ego tied to. Whew. Yeah, I'm glad that I, I I wish I had read that question like a little bit more thoroughly. I I I I, I looked at it and I was like, all right, square. Let's move. You know on. what? I had that too. I erased it and fixed it. Like I caught it, but I also said area of a rectangle it took, at first. It had been so long. They teach you how to find the area of a triangle in like first grade, dude. I had it's to early. think about that one for because I haven't needed to find the area of a triangle for a while. I don't do a lot of roofing or like upholstery, which I suppose are the practical reasons I might. Yeah. So it took me a minute to remember that. And then the, it was the circumference. The first two I locked in, the circle ones, I was only pretty sure I got right. Like area versus circumference. Yeah. I don't remember yeah, that I got shit the at all. One wrong. Yeah. Math. Let's, let's not, let's not lean into that. I yeah. remember my, uh, my algebra. I haven't got math, math one wrong yet. Uh, yeah. yeah what say, Woody's pretty flawless on the math quest. Okay. So more math, more square roots, things like that. Got it. All right. Please, we got to no. even this a game huge, out. a huge amount. No, you can't over stress this. More Pokemon than you think is appropriate. <laughs> 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 when I saw Yu Gi Oh, I was legitimately kind of like annoyed. Like it, it, just, it would be, that I'm was trying intended. to think of the parallel. It would be like asking, 
Name four surfboard brands. Is it, I don't know. I, I, I even now I I'm not one, sure. But what is you might Yu-Gi-Oh have a character in Mario Kart? No. Okay. No, this is so no. fucking funny. I, I'm gonna ex- one more time. And listening All to right. Kyle try to explain it beforehand was also funny because he was still very wrong. So let's go, Kyle. Explain Yu-Gi-Oh. It seems that Yu-Gi-Oh is probably some gay ass Japanese cartoon or video game ding, ding. and movie. He's right so far. Probably- yeah. It's all three or four of those things. It's the whole empire of gay ass, like 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 fucking Pokemon ripoff characters. It probably came before Pokemon, but it wasn't financed after as Pokemon. well as Pokemon OG. After, it's it, it's just a Pokemon ripoff. It's a bunch of make believe mm. card characters that we trade and like fight against each other, right? Yeah, those I, are the ones I got. I got the, yeah, he got the all dragons those. and the wizard. The Jesus dark. Christ! Magician. I've never seen this image before. I, 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 none but, of these things ring a bell, nor the name Yu Gi Oh! Zero. I Shout know that to my youngest brother for me <laughs> for watching Yu Gi Oh! and me seeing Is there some definitely of that. no Yu Gi Oh!'s in Mario Kart at all? Nothing very similar to Yu Gi Oh! Uh, there's Yoshi. Man, this is like right. asking is LeBron James and Mario Kart like you couldn't be further off. They're not related <laughs> in any way that, that they both come from Japan. No, Kyle oh. made mm. his, his position known way less Yu Gi Oh!, way more Pokemon. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll have Digimon on the next one. That'll be good. Let's brush up, everybody. Oh, fuck. I don't know anything about I was this. Can we mix it up and do some like 1980s cartoons that maybe I'd know somehow? Some I'm not the bullshit. Oh, oh. I'm just a I'm... humble champion. <laughs> <laughs> some Ninja Turtles lore would have been fine. You could ask, like, like you know, how the where the Shredder came from or where Master Splinter came from or some shit like that. Like, I'd be okay with that. But Yu Gi Oh! I swear to God, like, it might as well be another language when you ask a Yu-Gi-Oh question. <laughs> yeah, I answered Girdle. Come on, man. Like, Girdle. I don't know. <laughs> Bzz, Girdle, Girdle was a good answer. <laughs> Girdle was so funny. This is in Girdle. <laughs> Dude, I love that. Keep asking questions that Woody has to make up answers to. And if it makes me laugh, he gets a point. <laughs> That's pretty good. Minus 15 Gurgles for Woody. Hey, Kyle. Next time, do a topic, do, do a, a category called Things in Kyle's Pockets. <laughs> Ooh, this is hey, big. Kyle, Twilight Zone the, Kyle, the, the reigning champion of things in Kyle's pocket. <laughs> what do you, you get it right? Blown out you get it right, and I'd be like, nah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, you I'm just hear him emptying his pockets on like, the desk. <laughs> you hear change falling all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, car keys. Ooh, you're I like you're like looking yeah. down. I say car keys, and you're looking down like unfortunate, like jingling. Unfortunately, yeah. it is only My alarm. car keys. keys. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's the show. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, if you're Patreon doing our hangout uh, coming up, make sure you check your email. Gonna all hang out and play some code names, which I won't get furious and scream at anybody this time. I, I'm. I, I, I will feel like I didn't get my money's worth if you don't get furious and scream at somebody. I, I felt bad it. that I yelled at the black guy after I saw he was in that Klansman uniform. That yeah, was. It didn't that help was, you were wearing I one. Too. Back. <laughs> I always wear one. It's my goddamn First Amendment right. I think my civil right. Mm. Yeah, we won that at the Battle of Bunker Hill. Mm-hmm. All right, the, PKA, fighting the, 